Hello and welcome back, everyone. Hello and welcome back. We're going to be doing a brand new Conan Exiles playthrough of the Age of War. We're going to be jumping onto a very busy server. We're playing on an official server. And I've already done all this because we build the same character every single time. So there's no, there's no point in us going through all this. We do that every single time. So we're just going to jump right in. These are always new, though. They always make it more interesting. So let's see what we're doing. Zeldor Sumerian, condemned to death and exile for crimes including lewd behavior with corpses. Oh, jeez. Destruction of property, breaking a pinky promise. <gasps> oh, my goodness. This is clearly the worst out of the whole bunch, for sure. Most definitely. Any who remove this body, living or dead, from the cross will be flayed alive along with all members of their family. Let's get in here. How's it going, Shilling? How are you doing today? How's it going, official? How are you doing? How are you all doing today? Oh, we can skip that. We never... We've listened to that too many times. All right, so it's the Age of War. Things are totally different, and yet they're still the same. Wait, did, were we just floating a second ago? Might have been. So everything's the same. Everything's different. So the journey system is something we played with last time, and we learned a bunch about, and we have an idea on what we want to do. There's uh, supposedly new combat nonsense. Uh, there's new clan stuff as well. I'm excited to kind of figure out what we're going to be doing. Uh, first point, we'll put the first point in expertise. We're going to need some carrying capacity for sure. We'll probably get up to, what, efficient harvest? And then switch to something else? Then go to strength? Probably what we'll do. We need to start grinding some stuff and running. Let's see, what are we looking at map-wise? Okay, so we've got a couple of clusters of... There's a cluster of people up here. There's one down... That's an interesting spot to build. That's not a common place to build. Okay, all right. Uh, this guy's going to be on a cliff base. And so this was one of the spots we were looking at last time when we were looking at moving, when instead we started building down here. This is a very interesting spot to build at because it's really, really high up. Trebuchets would be really tough to do anything. You know? And then uh, over here is standard filler base. Okay, so there's a good spread of people, but there's no one, at least with tier 3 altars, in any of the northern territory. Or on the... This, there has to be someone on the aqueduct, yeah? But there's no one on the aqueduct. Very peculiar. Interesting. Okay, we'll have to see how this goes on the server. So let's go and run through the basic journey steps here. Get ourselves over to water. Drink water. We'll grab some basic supplies. We'll build ourselves up a, a small set of equipment. And we'll get going. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's right. We're currently in the the time where apparently like harvesting is like significantly more... <laughs> than normal right now because of all of the issues that happened with the release of the Age of War. So, yeah, resources... Okay, we're going to do significantly less... Um, like that. We're going to be doing significantly less harvesting, it seems, because of just how much we get per, per pickup with just our bare hands. Eat and drink. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll put water here. We'll put food here. We'll go ahead and eat. We'll go ahead and drink. Now, gather plant fiber. I was already doing that. We can do that again. They must know about your Cult of the Lamb run. Oh my goodness, the Cult of the Lamb runs. I'm having a lot of fun with that game. Alright, we've, we've got enough for a level. I need to go ahead and make some clothing. So we'll make a full suit here. Just so we're wearing something. Spend an attribute point. We did level. We can go ahead and do that again. Oh my goodness, level twice. Wait, did I just level up from... Okay. I thought one when we were coming in. It just took a minute. All right, we're, we just need some rocks and some sticks. There's some sticks. There's some rocks. Perfect. All right, so our plan is we're going to get set up here. We're going to go and do some big scouting today. I want to do some big scouting. I want us to do, track down some clans. Hopefully none that are like, you know, 10 people in a clan. But I want to go track down some clans. The goal is for us to go and do some pretty aggressive raiding. I'm usually a kind raider. I only raid people that are like well established, have multiple bases, uh, bases that are decaying because that person has stopped playing, or anything along those lines. And we're gonna we're gonna try and not do that. I didn't get that rock. We're gonna try and be a little more aggressive this time. That's our goal. Maybe even set up some. Uh, let's see, uh, gathering five of these. Okay. Uh, maybe even set ourselves up with a, a little. A little feud with someone. That's our goal. I'm usually the resident nice guy on the server, but I'm gonna try and not do that. Oh, unconscious man. There's nothing on him. 
know, I remember it used to say the name of who was unconscious, but I don't know when that got changed. It didn't happen with the Age of War. I think that was Age of Sorcery, maybe, that that happened, when you can no, you no longer see the name of the people that are unconscious. Which is a little unfortunate. I'd like to be able to see the names. Just so you can decide if you want to, you know, steal from them or not. I know you know, but expertise, uh, the funny expertise is really good. Oh, yeah. Wow, why? Did they make it where I'm not allowed to just use a... I'm not allowed to just use a pick. Uh, a, a hatch, a hatch for my pick. Is that a change? It's not stick. Is that a change they made? That would seem really weird if that was a change they made. It kind of makes sense if they do, but... Still. And have a kiln recipe? Well, it sounds like the this server is pretty nice so far. We've already got people asking questions. Oh my goodness. Squash is still on the server. <laughs> we restarted our character on the same server, but it looks like Squash has not left the server. Amazing, he's still here. He's still here from our last playthrough. That's amazing. It's been, what, like three months? Oh my goodness, there's even a... Um... Who, who put this here? We need some wood to find out. I don't know, we can find out because it's an interactable object. Who put this here? Spice Boys. Spicy Boys. I don't know who that is. But they... All of these chests are open. Wow, okay. It seems as though the server's become very kind. Alright. We splunking with uh, Liam right now? Splunking in... Uh, what's, what's Liam doing right now? Oh, is he currently playing on Conan XLs on, uh, on that server as well? They're showing you two playing on the same server. Alright. We've got a couple of buildings already set up here. Let's go ahead and get a... Oh, we need a crafting hammer. Alright, let's get a construction hammer. Or no, a repair hammer. That's what we want. The repair hammer going. We can also go ahead and we can get a pick. Actually, we'll care more about some of the skinning knife. Go. And now we can start tracking people down. Alright, so that's, that's decaying in no time at all. We won't go like that. We're not going to mark it on the map. This looks like an actual established base. Let's go check this out. Oh, this is also a moderately established base. Same people. Probably have the same decay timer. Not quite. A little bit longer, but not much longer. Let's see. Wow, there's a bunch of bases here. If he wants to fight, I'll fight him. Although we should probably build a... Oh yeah, we only do one damage per. <laughs> do we do more damage with our fists? Yeah, we do. I mean, I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I believe that's the way it should be. Doing more damage with your fists than a than a tool. It feels like you should get more out of the out of your fists. But I'll take that high. That's good. If we can get some bark, we need a pick for that. Let's get a bark. Uh, let's go collect a little bit of bark here. We can just use this tannery right here and we can start working on some leather. Get that going. We can come back to that in a minute. Let's go and grab our upgraded tools. Oh! It looks like that's a thrall with the way he's acting. Doesn't look like a person. Is this more of the same people? No, different person. Yeah, oh, nope, that's an NPC, okay. I don't know what's up with this base. Can we get inside? Yeah, we can. I don't know what's up with this build here. We'll check it out. Anything in note? No, there's nothing in here. It's a very adorable attempt at a building. <laughs> nothing we have to worry about. Is, uh, you're taking place? Oh, nice. So you two are playing? That's awesome. Alright, we'll come back and we'll pick up that leather on our way back. We might be able to use it to build something. I don't know if there was a... I didn't see a... armor station out there, so there's nothing we can build off of that. So far, everything we found here seems to be abandoned. Or, at least, they've moved. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Aloe. Maple. I don't know, it was recently. What else do we have over here? He's, this is a standard NPC that spawns here. He's always here. Oh, here we go. We all just open everything from unbroken. Interesting. I don't know if this is just 
up for grabs crafting station? Kind of feels like it. We can just... Alright, cool. Well, we'll just use this. I don't know if they had a base around this and it's decayed or blown up. But everything here does have damage on it. There's thrall wheels here. Wild. <laughs> We've got, got a tanner's table in the water. Okay. Is that for this base? It seems really bizarre. Who's this? Oh, something mm. completely different. Is there anything in here? No. There's a chest. Some hide and some wood in it, which we don't really need right now. Now we can get the hide and we can make a bedroll. That'll work. We can do that much. Take the hide. Bring it with us. How's it going, Promachus? How are you doing today? How are you? How are you? Go ahead, let's make ourselves a bedroll. We'll make this one that we got on the last battle pass, which is pretty awesome. Haven't used it yet. Go ahead and we'll... It's currently playing. Let's just come over here and we'll dump that right there. Just so that we don't have to run all the way back. You're doing toasty. Is it at least calming down over there? Is it at least no longer, you know, what was it, 30 degrees Celsius at night? The forecast is 100 and 118 Fahrenheit? Holy... All right, I don't know how you're going to survive it, but I believe in you. I believe in you, Provarkus. You can do this. I don't know how you're going to do it, but I believe in you. Grab some yellow lotus while we're out here. Yeah, look at all these interesting little tiny shacks all over the place. They're clearly not big enough to actually house anything. Which makes me think they're all new players. Like, brand new players that just bought the game. With the new update. Because they're too small. This is big enough for... Okay, this is probably too big, honestly. This is, this is a little too big, guys. Wow, our stamina recovery is insane. The stamina changes in this game. That's intense. Alright, so someone already blew into this. I'm assuming there's nothing of note in here that we couldn't... Yeah, this place is completely empty. There's nothing, there's nothing in here. I'm not surprised. They were probably just getting started. Someone blew in from the top. That's fine. We've got that. Uh, we've got that like location with all of the crafting stations we can play around in, so that's pretty good. At night, you had 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That is absolutely unbearable. I would go crazy in that weather. I'm over here and I'm like, it's a little warm, and it's like 75, 75 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Two dollars. This also two dollars. It is. Can we see inside here? Ah, they're sleeping. One, two, there's two players. How many players are there? Looks like just two. Right, only two players. They seem new. Though they don't have any crafting stations, which is always weird to me. I don't know, there's some crafting stations. It's like they came on and spent like 30 minutes at most. Hmm. You'll say this. You don't want aircon on when you sleep. It dries out your throat. Well, you gotta really chill it down before you go to bed. Or you need to get a humidifier to go along with it. Get a humidifier to go with the aircon. Alright, we're just gonna run in here. We're gonna grab the tools. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and grab the Defari weapons. This is it a very good one to have. Also, it looks like we still need to pick up sticks. Let's go pick up the stick. Branch is done. Harvest stone with your stone pick. Okay. Do that. Craft a stone weapon. Okay, so we can do a stone weapon now. Alright. Well, we want to do these Defari ones, which we can do now. We can get the clubs and the like. Uh, we can't get the, the sword because that requires teeth. But we can get the rest going. At least angle our way back down the river. Um, oh, we have to unlock knowledge. Oh, oh these icons are new. They're much crisper. They're significantly, they've like, it's almost as if they doubled the amount of poly, or pixels. If they doubled the pixels. That's pretty good. We like that. Um, sure, we'll just make a stone sword, because we can just toss it to the wayside after it's good. So you woke up in 30 liters of sweat, consumed ungodly amounts of water, is the reason for not drinking water, I guess. I mean, if you're drinking all the water, that'd be why there's no drinkable water left. How dare you? T-Mobile, okay. And T-Mobile hasn't been here in a while. 
This is definitely a brand new base. I hope they do come back online and keep playing. Yeah, they weren't raided, they just didn't finish their base. I do hope they come back online and keep playing. They've only got 17 hours until this thing decays. Because they just don't have enough foundations to increase the decay timer. You need to have, a, like, the, the more foundations you have, the longer the decay timer is. Some more aloe. There's that... I think there was an alchemy table that we saw on that island. Or, yeah, it's not. Is that an island? Nope. It's not a peninsula. I think there was a... I, I think there was. I'm pretty sure there was an alchemy table over here. There's definitely fireball cauldrons, but if there's an alchemy table, we can go ahead and use that. We'll go ahead and make some aloe potions, some, like, some regular ones as opposed to the basic. Actually, I don't know if we have the level to do that. We're only level 6. Uh, speaking of which, let's get ourselves up to 5. Should we start putting things in strength now? I mean, efficient harvest would be nice, but I'd like to be able to hit a little harder. I don't know how the stamina... Th we're going to have to figure out how this... We're going to go up to 10. I don't know how this the build's going to go. We're going to have to figure out how to do our build going forward. Because it's likely going to be very different than before. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Knowledges... What can we grab? Let's go this first. Okay. What can we grab here? Uh, we're definitely going to need... Cooking. I want box making. Uh, we really need stair making. Are we really blocked out from the rest right now? Oh my goodness. It's too low level. Too low level to do anything, okay. Um, so I'd like to do alchemy. Armor is level 10. Yeah, so we just need to go and murder stuff. Okay, we can go do that. That's fine. Right, Tinker's Bench is something we can do here right now. We can't do Aldrin yet. Go back to Knowledge and type in Elk. Yeah, level 15 is needed for that. Wow, okay, I'm, I'm way, ahead of, way ahead of schedule. We're going to need to go and kill some stuff. Let's make this easier on ourselves, and let's go ahead and get the Defari Axe, because I do prefer this one. Uh, we need to craft a bedroll. I've already done that, but I guess I can make another one. We have what we need to do so, so we'll just make another one. We'll go ahead and put this here. There we go. Let's go ahead and get our bedroll. Now, we can't really check it here. This is all built up, but we could put this just right next door. There we go. Perfect. That way, if we end up... If the other bed will die, but that's fine. Slay an enemy. Alright, let's go slay an enemy. Alright, where do we want to start searching? We want to level... I kind of want to stay in this area, so I guess we should just make a, a small little encampment here. Oh my goodness, my stamina is just gone immediately. So we might go and just build right there where we put our bedroll, honestly. <laughs> might be where we want to go. So we could just use this little place. Oh, yeah, there was a tanning table, wasn't there? Do that. Go ahead and let's get some wood. And let's go ahead and get some bark. And then we might just go and wail on some trees and whatnot to level up. Oh, it's a person. We've got nothing on. And cool bodies just lying around. By the way, your body rejects all other drinks besides water. Wait, really? At least yours does. Non alcohol and soda. Interesting. Okay. You're you're stuck with being healthy. You've got no choice. It's it's forced upon you. You must be healthy or else. Go ahead and we'll drop this off. Get that leather going. Uh let's see. Hopefully Unbreakable's perfectly fine with us using this. I'm assuming so, because it's just out, all out in the open. We don't have anything we need to use the furnace for yet. We need to go get some iron, which... We're just like the nearest deposit of iron for us. I think there's some iron right here. Or otherwise, we'd have to go up here for the iron. Not too far, but not too close. Not too far, but not too close. Okay. So that's going on. We don't... There's no blacksmith here. That's unfortunate. But there is an armor bench. That's good. We can at least do armor. We can also dry some stuff. And is there anything in here? There's nothing we can use. 
We've got no no need for that right now. Let's get some medium armor off this guy. Oh my goodness, the stamina. I'm gonna have to learn. I'm gonna have to relearn how to play this game. For combat, one, two, we get three heavy swings and we're completely tapped out of energy. Oh my. Oh wow, look at this guy. Seems to be a little bit of lag going on. I keep trying to open it up. It takes just long enough that I hit open again and it instantly closes it. We can lose where this tacit. So that's good. I don't want leggings anymore. A little bit more armor, a little more carrying capacity. It's always nice. I'll keep this going. Um, yeah, carrying capacity. Making sure they didn't change that too. Expertise. All right, we need to go get some food. So let's go and track down one of the turtles. Go track down a turtle over here somewhere. What person we can go take down? Let's explore this base real quick while we're over here. Just the density of basic bases in this region is incredibly high. Noble. Oh, there's actually stuff in here. Oh, this place got raided, it looks like. Either that or they just didn't finish the build. No, they just... No, no, there's damage in here. Not a lot of damage, though, mind you. But everything's been cleared. Oh, well, hold on. This stuff's running. Is there someone here? Wait a second. Is someone... Is, are they online right now? I think they are. Noble. Bound Icy. Okay, Icy is the person. All these boxes are open. Um... Let's go outside before they put a door on here and we're, and we're stuck in there forever. Interesting. So I think there is someone online over here. Oh. Howdy, neighbor. Hello? Can you hear me? He's very wary. Oh, ah, uh, over-encumbered, I see. Totally over-encumbered. Can't do anything. Let's see if we can, can we get a wave. Greetings. Give him a bow. Hello. <laughs> He's at least decent level. He's got 300 health. He's got iron tools, which isn't too bad. I don't see him talking, so we'll leave him be. But uh, he needs to put a door on his house. <laughs> he needs to go put a door on his house. Again, this is me being super nice. I don't know if that guy's brand new. I, I'm pretty sure he's brand new at the game, looking at the design of his house. I, so I, I feel really bad about you know, attacking people that are brand new to the game. I don't want to discourage them from playing. It's a great game, and it could always use more people. Joining on in. Looks like that was raided. I think that turtle was his turtle, so I didn't attack it. I'm going to go find a different turtle. Yeah, we'll just keep taking down these guys in the meantime. Give us some levels. Oh, jeez, that hurt a lot. Jeez, they hit much harder than I remember. Oh my goodness, they hit so much harder than I remember. Oh my good gracious. Okay, duly noted. Wow. I'm glad we're not playing an Iron Man playthrough right now, because that would have been embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so our attack, so we use more stamina than I'm used to, and we take significantly more damage than I'm used to. Like, wow, 200 health? Us having 200 health is nothing. Whoa. All right, that is very good news. Uh, that's, or very good to know, not necessarily, well, that might be good news, I don't know. I don't know if that means we do more damage. Oh, that's not good. There we go. Alright, got it. Oh, he's crippled us. Oh, run! Run for it. Oh my god! They hit so hard! Oh my good gracious. <laughs> Zig and zag. Zig and zag. Go ahead and let's pick up our stuff here. We dropped this stuff off earlier. I'm repossessing this. I need it. Holy. Oh my goodness, they're all... Uh, uh, player, uh, not players. Um, NPCs hit a whole lot harder. How's it going, Liam? How are you doing today? 
Yeah, players slash thralls feel a bit glass cannon compared to before. Yeah, before we used to be, like, the hero of the story. We could take on anyone and anything. Um, I am very wary now. I am very wary. I'm <laughs> very wary now. Oh my goodness. Okay, so armor is incredibly important. Uh, we're going to need to get that armor going. Now, our current armor is giving us... Uh, that's good stats. What's our armor giving us right now? Our armor is giving us 8% damage reduction, so we could definitely use more. Alright, let's go see if we can find a turtle. I can at least defeat a turtle. I know I can do that much. There's some baby turtles. Alright, there's a small turtle. Okay. Please don't kill me immediately. That would be great, thanks. Back up. We're gonna lock on. Oh! That's the second turtle. Uh oh, can I take on two turtles? I don't know how hard they're gonna hit. Okay, I cannot. I can't attack like I'm used to. I can only really attack once or twice if I want to be able to get my my dodge in after. We still get some bigger weapons when we hit harder. One, two, three. Luckily, these turtles' AI is still pretty poor. Luckily, the, the AI on this, uh, they're still not, still not the best. Um, go. Let's grab this. Let's get some good meats. Some savory meats. Okay, I got way more savory meats than I need. Peace. A little overkill, honestly. Right, let's head back over here. We're gonna need to get some rough wraps going. Two and three of those. Chuck that. Right. Rough wraps completed. Oh, heal yourself. We actually needed to do that for the journey. I keep forgetting to look at the journey. Doing good? Excellent. Chilling and enjoying your stream? I appreciate that. Very happy to see you revisiting Conan. Oh, yeah, I love this game. I love this game. And every time there's an update, I always want to jump back and play a little more. Harvest meat from a course. I just did that, though. Game. I really wish we could do these uh, journeys out of order. I really do. It'd be, it'd be very convenient if we could. Right, let's just take a look at the journey. So what do we have to do in order? Um, get meat, skin. This is already unlocked. We have to place one, cook raw meat, and eat a meal. Okay. Let's go kill another thing. Go we'll harvest another meat from another corpse. I want to get this done because this journey gives us supply materials. Which is nice. Hopefully it's something useful. I don't know. I mean, honestly, I don't think it's particular. So we don't really need to focus on journeys. We're going to want a bunch of aloe down the line. We'll just have to, unfortunately, take out the baby. Because uh, there's there's no one else here. Go ahead and harvest meat. Here we go. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. We got a shell. Can I get another shell? We get three shells, we can make that really cool shell shield. I like that shell shield. It looks awesome. Especially if we just use it for, for illusions. Just so that whatever shield we're carrying looks like it. I'm a fan. Alright. Another one in here. Two more levels, and then we'll start putting points in strength. Maybe we'll put points in vitality. Well, he's dead. I don't know if I want to fight the croc. I think fighting is the fastest way to level in this game. In terms of how much experience you get. You get a lot of experience from killing stuff. Yeah. Out of the way. Scrape him. Get some bleeds on this guy. Right. We're gonna get ourselves set with a little more health and then we'll go jump off and go get some iron. Yeah, that was a lot of experience there. Go ahead and pick up that rock tile hide as well. Perfect. Very nice. Uh, but Liam, Shilling was telling me that you were playing some Conan. Are you back on the uh, the OG server? Alright, so what's next? F refill water skin, so we'll do that. Refill the water skin. Now we just need to place a campfire of our own. So we can go do that. Put a fire bed over here. Which is kind of funny now that I know that there's a guy who's actively playing over there. That's fine. We can we can hang out. It's no big deal. 
I'm not worried about him. If he attacks us, we'll probably win the fight. If if we do, I feel bad. If we don't, that's fine. I'm not really gonna be missing out on anything. Cooked, good, and then eat a Philly meal and die. There we go. Nice. Now we can go ahead and claim the reward. And we can find out what it is. Uh, we're gonna do heavies first. This just makes it easier. Alright, what do we get? Stone and fiber. Okay, that's fine. Saves us from having to hit stone. Alright, we'll go ahead and we'll start doing this. So we'll have meat, so that's good. Uh, we're level 9. We need level 10 for armor. So we need a little bit more leveling here. Uh, we can try and get some fish. Go ahead and just put this in here. Let's get some fish going. That works. Um... Those guys haven't spawned back yet, so it takes 15 minutes. Let's go see, has he put a door on his house yet? No, he still hasn't put a door on his house. <laughs> Got nothing in the altar of Ymir. Interesting I, I don't know what this I don't know what's going on with the house build here, to be honest. I don't know what the goal is. I like that he's got torches. It's always nice. He's got his walls inside and outside. I don't know what he's doing. Let's go check out this base over here. Maybe he's using this. Like this shell over here. Oh, wait. Wait, is that him? No, that's a different guy. A different beard. Ah, here we go. Another turtle. Trying to get leveled up here. Yeah, we definitely need to get some strength. We do not hit hard at all. He hit like a wet blanket. We, we gotta sort this out. We're definitely going to put some points into strength once we get our next point in expertise. Since that will, again, save us on having to harvest as much. We'll get twice as much from harvesting resources. Ooh, they've got the clan banner thing in here. The the clan banner creator. Take a look at this thing. We're not in a clan. Chaos Order. That's right, we don't have this in our inventory now. Nope. Okay, recently online, or at least recently interacted with. This one blew this up recently. It's completely empty. Everything's been taken. All the sandstone bases are, as, as per usual, completely blasted through. With nothing left in any of them. Classic. Standard. Not a member of this clan. Oh, I have to be part of... Interesting, I have to be part of this clan to look at it. Weird. Okay. Um, how do we get six to get this way? Oh, come on now. Oh, I whipped it. That's fine. Can we get up from the top this way? Yeah, we can at least get up over here. Yeah, we can get up from here. That door is open. Nah, the door is not open. Darn. Oh, oh. We touched the fence. Oh no. Alright. Come back up here. Let's go down a bit. Nope, don't do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll go up this way. Fine. This way will get us up there. You can start healing. That sated buff. Just a bed. Nothing else up here. Okay. Alright, Chaos Rises is the player name. Chaos Order is the clan name. Okay. Let's take out these turtles here. And that should be enough to level us up to 10. And then we can go and start making armor. Because we are making hides right now. How's it going, Dalkit? We're definitely putting points in grit. <laughs> what stamina we have? Okay, these turtles are very much not doing so hot right now. They're, they are not fighting back, like, at all. Oh, this one? Oh? Oh? I don't know, it just be a bunch of server lag, I don't know. There shouldn't be. We have under 100 ping on this, uh, to the server. I think we can just blast through them here. 
Your car battery just died again? Oh, that's no good. <laughs> You need to replace the battery, or is it just not really getting a good charge? Multiple journeys have been unlocked. Okay, we're gonna die if I just... Oh, jeez. Just clipping. Alright. Or rubber banding, rather. It's the proper term. Oh, hello. Stamina. Hey, fighting turtles is a lot more dangerous than it used to be. These guys used to just be like, ah, you just, you just fight the turtles, don't worry about it. Now, actually, you fight the turtles, you might have to worry about it. Uh, we'll go ahead and we get efficient, because we want to get uh, twice as much on the last hit. It saves us time. This also gives us significantly more carrying capacity here. Get some bone off this guy. Yeah, it's good. I don't know if we're going to need any, but we'll just grab it. Grab more hide. Flesh. Hopefully we don't become over encumbered. Alright, let's head on back to that encampment. We can go ahead and we can finally make some armor for ourselves. Let's go grab some. The aloe too. That's good. Alright, knowledge is knowledge is we can learn. We're level 10, we can finally start learning some decent things here. Let's go ahead and get armor. Blacksmithing, carpenting, iron, tanning, brawling. I also want torches. We should go get that boy too. We're gonna want these. Most definitely. And we're out of points. <laughs> we're all out of points, but hey, it's pretty good. Don't mind me, I'm just auto walking. Yeah, there's like nothing else we can buy with the amount of points we have. That's fine. We're good though. How's it going, Amphibenby? How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. You're going to be saying there's a leak issue somewhere? Oh, that's no good. You replaced the battery not even a year ago? Wait, really? And it's already having issues? Yeah, that's, that is a very bad sign. You don't, don't want that. That's a bad sign. If it's leaking after just a year, that's not good. Happy it's the weekend? Aw, oh, yeah. Made it, made it all the way through the week? It is time for the weekend. Finally. Oh, we're definitely going to want to upgrade our, our wraps to the the standard healing wraps. Just to make it faster. Do we have any fish in here? That's some fish in here. That's pretty good. We can grab it later if we want. Mostly it would just be for cooking for a meal. But, we can now make armor. Where's that? There's the tanner. All that. Oh no! Over encumbered! My worst nightmare! Oh, come on. All right, we'll go ahead and drop you off, you off, um, and we need to make medium armor. Probably what we'll do. We need some twine. All right, we'll make some twine. Make a bunch of twine here. Meanwhile, if we look at journeys, is there a journey we can work on? Uh, tanning armor. Wow, armor actually requires us to skin another animal. Oh, we can go do that while we're making some twine. That's fine. Uh, a human counts as an animal, right? <laughs> we can we can skin a human. That counts as an animal. Yeah, I think that's right. Oh, that's actually gonna be dangerous. It's a dancer. You can tell by the pants. We're gonna have daggers. Daggers are always dangerous. Wait, what? Wait. What? I've never seen a dancer that... Oh. Take that. I've never seen a dancer with a sword before. Actually, wait a second. They never are named dancers. They're always called entertainers, aren't they? They kind of randomize how weapons... Okay, they randomize weapons, but also, aren't they, weren't they always called entertainers? Why are they called dancers all of a sudden? I mean, that's kind of what they do, and it does kind of make sense. But weren't they always called entertainers? Sorcerer still has a two dagger set. Okay. Guess that makes sense. Makes them still kind of unique. Alright, so then access or place uh, armor bench. Oh, good. An improved armor bench counts. We can make light padding. Uh, where's my twine? There's twine. Make a light padding. And then after the light padding, we make armor and put armor. 
works for me. And with that, we can get some repair kits, which will be useful for right now. So that way we can just repair our armor as we go. We really do not need this much stone. We're just going to get like that. Uh, what else? What are we carrying we don't need? Uh, we'll, I'll hold on to the seats for now. It's fine. Uh, light. I will make the gloves, I guess. That's fine. Uh, but everything else we're going to make medium. Let's see here. I want one, two, three, four pieces of this. Because we're going to replace all this light armor in a hot second here. That on. Armor completed. Go ahead and claim that reward. Uh, oh, now it do, does do medium. Okay, well, that's we'll do that another day. Oh, we can do blacksmithing next. That'll be our goal. Blacksmith for the next one. We'll start getting some meeting padding going. Uh, we'll leave some basic armor in here. Gloves here, some shoes. Maybe swapping out all of these. Actually, we can... We could repair our, our pants, couldn't we? Oh, it takes iron to make these. Never mind. We need iron for this. Huh. Alright, we'll go get that in a minute. Uh, we'll make, what, pants? Um, actually, we don't need pants. Make like chest, because we have the, we've got the medium tats of pants. We've got, we just need the hat. Hat and the chest piece. The chest piece just cancelled? Might have. This, this, and this. Then we just need to get the hat and the chest piece, and we'll at least have some armor on. This will increase our carrying capacity, and that's the thing that matters the most here, so we'll do that. It was a weird shock at first. You were trying to knock out a tanner, and he came at you with a two-handed sword? Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> a bit jarring. Wait a second, where'd that come from? Uh, we don't really need this meat. Go ahead and let's drop some stuff out of our inventory we're just not going to need or use. We'll hold on to the brick for now, because sure, why not? Uh, we don't need these anymore, now that we're going to be replacing that. Uh, you didn't make the chest piece? Why not? It's the same problem if you end up exiting the... Uh, if it has to make two things, a uh, something from below it, to then create the main item. It's been a bug that's been around forever, at least as long as I've been playing this game. So at least three years. That sometimes it'll only finish the one build and it'll cancel the second part. And chest piece. All right, we've got some armor on. Perfect. Our armor is now 65, which puts us at 11 damage reduction. Wow, our pants are doing almost all the work, which was doing, what, 8% armor rate from before? Yeah, our pants gave us the 8%. Only 3% more with the rest. We don't need the human meat. We'll hold on to the tar, because tar is still something we want. Um, let me drop these branches. Go ahead and do that. All right. Uh, let's see. We're level 10. We don't have any more points to learn anything, right? Yeah, so we just need to go and level. I guess we can leave this zone. I kind of want to stick here because of all of the stations that are still built for us to use. But realistically, I don't want to stick here long term. I kind of got everything we need. Definitely don't want to be going to... We're not going to be building in this region for sure, nor are we going to be building up here, because that's going to be contested. I'm assuming there's got to be someone over here. We can take a look at that. Over here, not too interested. We built here last time, near the Black Galleon. There's a couple of nice spots around here we could build, but there's not a lot of iron unless we go to here. <laughs> Dying over there. Uh, I'm tempted to move over here and just pick up the iron from here. Uh, let's at least go and get the... The religion unlocked first. So let's go to the, what's the Shaman's Rise, I believe it is. We're tooled up enough. We've got enough armor. we got enough weapons. we got enough food. We should be able to survive a journey here. I'm not too worried. However, now that I know we get hit absolutely ridiculously hard, we get absolutely dunked on, uh, we're going to have to be very careful when it comes to engaging random enemies. Not let alone players. The players, sure, yeah, we have to be careful with when we're around players, but uh, we're going to have to be very careful with just being mobbed by NPCs. Wow, the stamina recovery is absolutely mental. <laughs> I am not used to that. Oh, look at that. 
It's nicely nestled up there. I like that. The number of people that have been building around here is crazy. Yes, this one got blown into, so there should be nothing in here. And yet it's cooking. Who's cooking? <laughs> what? Is everyone just living out of other people's broken bases? There's iron being produced in here. I mean, I'll take it. But why is there iron being produced in here? I, I need to actively be meaner and steal stuff and fight people. I need to actively do that. However, I still feel bad with new players. So why don't you steal some small items here and there? Stay your hand, stranger. Yeah, I'll take those. Look into the pit. This looks pretty cool. Burn the uh, acolytes of Yogg. Staring into the abyss. So is this place... This place wasn't damaged, was it? No. Odin's bloodline. Very interesting. I mean, I like that they're actually using the fence. <laughs> they're using fence foundations for an actual fence. That's incredibly rare. That's not a thing. People don't do that. That's really nice. I like it. This guy's clearly new as well. Or guys, there's two of them. Player one and... Will you Billy? Yeah, this place has been cleaned. Completely cleaned out of anything of note. And who knows if their their bodies are even still here. Here. Casting table. Nothing no wheel of pain. Alright. Nothing here. Alright, let's go and let's go and inspect this building over here. And let's go and I guess we'll just steal that iron that's being made right now. Unless that person comes back and takes it before us. I'll, I'll take that iron. We could use the iron. Iron's a little spare, uh, sparse over here. There's, there's not a lot of it all over the place. And I need I need to get myself out of, uh, you know, good guy mode. Alright, let's make the climb. A cute little design. Oh, interesting. What is this? Like, hay? It is haystacks. Looks like they're online right now, I'm assuming. This is the this is the longest timer I've seen so far. 400, so yeah, like because it's only a couple of seconds off, right? From a full 4,800 or 4, 480. I'm assuming they're online right now. Nothing we can really do with that, but it's, it's a nice spot right here. Cute little spot to build in. It's not really the nicest to build with how rocky it is, but if you cleared it out and you kind of build up and fill in the whole space, it's not bad. Let's also go check out these tables over here. Or that. It's just a reset rock fall animation. Remember Don's okay. Nothing in them now. Oh, these are all decayed. Let's go ahead and let's do our let's do our community service. We'll go ahead and we'll clean this place up. Weird just keeps throwing my mouse to the top left. I don't know what that's all about. Right. Clean that out so anyone can build over here if they wish. So I don't know who's making this iron, but thanks. Are we taking that? Thank you very much. Uh, was there a blacksmith in here? I just destroyed the blacksmith over there, like an absolute dingus. Um, so I don't have a blacksmith. Hmm. So I've only seen one player so far. We need to level up to even unlock blacksmithing, don't we? I don't think I have blacksmithing even unlocked. That right? No, I did. I did. Okay, that's good. We can at least go ahead and check a blacksmith down. We just need to get a crafting hammer or a construction hammer going. We need wood and we need twine. Oh, that's right. I did drop all my twine off, didn't I? How many players are online? Where is it hidden? Uh, we can take a look at that in a second here. Let me just go cut this tree down. Oh, come on. Last tip gives us more. And we need some stone. No, we don't. We have plenty of stone. We need more twine now. 
No, we don't. Or we need more twine. We don't need more... Just make all this twine. Uh, we don't need more fiber. Uh, let's see. Server player list. How many... Oh my goodness! Wait, are they not hidden anymore? Is this a no longer, like, a hidden thing? It used to be. Oh my goodness. It's kind of nice, actually. I hate it. <laughs> Level 10! Interesting. So you can't just uh, hide on a server anonymously anymore. That was one of the things. One of the, Actually, so the reason why I said I love it originally is because if, if you are automatically shown when you're online, what's nice about that is that players um, players wouldn't talk in chat because that would bring you up on the online. Um, yeah, lots. We're on, a, we're on a pretty full server. So if you talked, you would pop up on that. Otherwise, your name would be invisible, and no one would know you're online. And so a lot of times on official PvP servers, like we're playing on right now, the chat would just be completely dead, and no one would ever talk. Because if you talked, people would know you're online. If they know you're online, they'll know if they need to, if they should be scoping out your base or not, right? They'll know if you're online or not. And so that was a, it was a dangerous proposition to have, uh, to have that, right? But now they'll just know for. Like, they'll just know if you're online, regardless. So uh, that's why I love it and I hate it. I love it because it should have people be more willing to talk. But I hate it because it also means that if people only ever offline raid, they'll just wait until you go offline. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I th think in the end it's probably better to have it that way, where it's always on. Yeah, I think every single one of these are going to be blown into. Unless this was, de this was designed this way and left open. Blood Ravens. <gasps> Flashbacks. We fought White Ravens on the last playthrough. Oh my goodness. Who built this base? Daily Potato built this base. This looks like this was blown into, no? No, this wasn't blown into. What? This just was never finished building. <laughs> if people just decide not to finish building their houses, I just don't understand. Oh, here he is. Who are you? Stone sword, rough wraps. I really wish I'd say who they are that when they're unconscious like that. Mm. Just don't. How's it going, William? How are you doing today? You've been able to see if hackers are online? True, that is good to see if hackers are online or not. It's true. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's a, a fortress by the large crocodile spawn right here. And a decimated fortress next to it. So we got the, the big croc spawn here. Wow, this this is a pretty ambitious build. And it looks like it was very spacious and pretty cool. But this one definitely was blown up. And yet, I don't see any damage to it. Interesting. Did they change something I'm not aware of in terms of like how explosives work? The boss proc with daggers for early game legendary. I think I'm gonna get one shot if I try and fight that thing. I need to get used to the combat again. Bleed that, su bleed that sucker dry. Well, this is a cool little base over here. I like this. I like the design. Looks nice. This is very nice looking. Very cool. Who's is this? Hmm. He's at least recently online. That's definitely fence foundations up there, or fences up at the top there, so we can't climb up. Can I climb around at all? We can climb on top of the main structure, and we can get up to the second structure, but we can't get all the way up, it looks like. It looks like we can climb up here. Up onto the roof, which is very cool looking. And from here, we can jump oh. up stasis to here. But we can't go any higher from here with the way he built it. You just don't get hit when you fight the croc? Yeah, I'm not that good. I'm not that good. But there is some damage on that wall over there. A little bit of damage here and there. All right. Um, let's go ahead and let's get him marked, as he is someone we should keep an eye on. 
Was it epidemic? Was that right? Epidemic. Epidemic. And then a whole bunch of numbers after, we don't care about that. We now know there's one person who's living here. This is definitely a base big enough to actually properly live in. What the? Interesting. Why would you ever do this? Oh, that's not that's not smart. You used to, it did something change and you can't put explosives underwater? Because if you can put explosives underwater, this is a very bad design. You just blow it out from underneath. Ooh, oh, just use a bedroll and just rinse and repeat for aesthetics. I mean, I know it's aesthetically pleasing, but that is just a very bad idea. It's a very bad idea. Would not advise. You can still do it? Yeah, that just seems like a really bad move. Oh, whoa. Whoa, hello. Who might you be? Oh, this is also evident. Wait, so he's got that over there and this? But this looks raided. Yeah, this is raided. This place is raided. Okay. All right. Golden workbench. Don't mind me just need to grab some water here. Did he put anything new in these, or was it just all raided in the set? This should be aggressive. It still is raid hours. Still have another hour of raid window. Alright, so there's just a, a wheel of pain in here. Ooh, tier 2 wheel of pain. And his main base is all the way up there. But, oh, it was cracked into. The base was definitely cracked into. Oh! Um. I will take that. There's some crystalline uh, golem parts in there. I will absolutely take that. Remember, we're supposed to be a little more um, aggressive this playthrough, so I'm, I need to, anything that ends up being, you know, greedy, we need to take. We gotta do it. This is a very compact base, buddy. I don't know how I feel about it. Too compact for my, my liking. I'm climbing up, it looks like. Got a stove. Oh, now. Nothing else up here. I'm assuming all this stuff's already taken. Or his chests are empty. But who knows? I mean, that thrall pot had some, that thrall pot had some crystalline uh, golem parts and iron golem parts on it. We actually have. We're missing one arm. Head, body, left uh, leg, leg, arm. We're missing literally one arm, and we can build ourselves a golem companion. We could just run off and go do that, like, right now if we want. Blacksmith, bench. Oh, yeah, the whole treasure coffer thing. That's a thing now. Oh, my goodness, we can, we can steal an idol. What's that that's it in here? Nothing else. I don't know if we can we can climb carrying that big head. Oh, hello. Okay. All right, server. Calm down, please. All right, so he got raided. Pretty badly, might I add. Racked through everything here. What is that up there? There's something else up top. Let's go check that real quick. Did I hear golem building? Yeah! I'm thinking maybe we can go and run over and just build a quick golem for a follower. We have essentially everything we need. We're just missing the golem crafting skill. Oh, golem crafting skill and making the. Oops, daisies. Come on now. Here we go. Ooh, boar statue. You don't own this. Okay. Yeah, right. horse figures. Cute. We just need to learn how to make a golem mm -hmm. and then make a. Uh, a stone arm, and then he'll have one stone arm, one iron arm, one iron leg, one crystalline leg, a crystalline head, and a crystalline body. No? 
you know, just a, a hodgepodge. <laughs> Name him Igor, you know? In honor of Frankenstein. That would make sense. Looks like he was continuing to build some extra stuff up here. I walked right past that building. I don't know if this guy's going to stick around here, to be honest, after being raided like that. He might move. Or he might just move all this stuff in there. Hmm. Okay. Well, we still need to focus on moving on to a place for us to build a house. So where do we want to really build? I guess it's the real question. I'm thinking we go and we build somewhere around here, or at least getting started. Build something around here. It's still on New River. It's close to a whole bunch of iron brimstone uh, we can get right in here. We can get everything for up to steel within that area. And we can just focus in on leveling using brimstone. I think we'll do that. Although, before we do, we could run real quick to Mechamosis' spire, which is a bit of a journey. Just way up here. But we could just follow the river to Mechamosis' spire, grab the golem crafting skill, and build a golem. I think let's build a little house first. We can build the golem later. I don't really want to make him out of like pure hodgepodge parts if we're going to be using crystalline gear. Because the crystalline is... You can't craft crystalline golem parts. You can only find them. You can only find them. So I would much rather we make a full crystalline golem if we can. That's a player. Alright, hold on. We're going to get in close. We're going to watch him. He seems to be struggling. I oh, you got him. Has he seen us? We're almost out of breath. I'm going to have to put my head up in a second here. I don't know if he saw us or not. Is this the same guy? Ice? No, new guy. Hello. He's not wearing armor. Ah, I can't hear you. Hold on. We have to change our audio settings. Uh, voice chat volume. Oh. All right, how about now? I just up the voice chat volume. This guy's at least level twenty because he's got seven hundred health. Hello? Can you hear me? I don't know. We'll see. They're trying to find a push stone. There it is. There you go. Perfect. Okay. How's it going, man? Nice. What's happening? Ah, just getting established, grabbing a couple of items, trying to find a place to build. How about you? He's really thinking on it, isn't he? I don't know if he's forgetting to press push to talk or not. Oh. Um. We'll see. Just keep my eye out just in case someone else comes running up on us while we're hanging. You never know. It could be. All right, let's see if it does that. In the meantime, let's go ahead and put our first point. Death waits. What's the vitality? For the slightest lapse in concentration. Indeed, carcinogen. I'm, I'm keeping my eye on him. We're going to get some damage here. See what he's up to. All the way to Beast of Burden. Oh, we're definitely doing Beast of Burden. I love that perk so much, where you can run around and carry everything in the world. Let's see what he has to say. But yeah, so let's go and get this stuff banked. We'll go ahead and we'll... We've got some iron that we stole from that... Uh, whoever. I'm, I'm hoping it wasn't him that was building over there. 60, but kind of the same. I was going to say, his health really kind of showed it. Go 
go. Nice. Good to see people coming back. But I guess that means he has to start from scratch again. Although he is level 60, so that does remove a lot of the gating that he has to deal with. So if he just got iron, he can then go and get steel, then he can go and get... Um, obviously... That's the cover. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Um... We're trying to run back to see what we have left. We just got raided? Hold on, let's take a look and see if we can find this guy. Uh, player name. Now that we can see everyone in here, he's with Just Drunk. I have not seen that base yet. All right. Ah, okay. Command clan. I don't know if he's still sticking around or not. He's saying that they're that they were leaving. I don't know if that was when they first do that or not. Ah, uh, Tommy Fan, they announced they were leaving. Okay. I got it. In the meantime, while he's typing back at us, I think we're gonna go to this spot here where there's a uh, there's a thrall camp with a with a taskmaster thrall. So we might go and make a little thrall piece of uh, a thrall wheel over there real quick. And with that, we're out of here. We give a wave. There we go, give him a wave. Done. All right, we got a friend. Excellent. So he's off, I have no idea, we haven't seen his base. So he wasn't anywhere within the, the spaces that we've roamed so far. So that means that he's not at least within this zone here. He could be up here or way up here, and we just haven't checked that. That's good to know. Wait, is that one a demonic one? No, it's just a glint of the sun. Okay. Looks like someone's building a ship over here. Take a look at that. Let's see, who else is around here? Sentinels. Oh, there's another. There's another person! Who's this? Who are you? Ian. How's it going? As long as we don't get hit here. Let's see, Ian. Who is Ian part of? Player of the oh, I didn't hear anything you just said. This is Space Vikings. How's the, uh, how's the server been treating you? I just jumped on. That one more time, I'll be interested in how's, how's the server treating you? I just got on. Uh, I used to play here. Well, I haven't played you... in like a year. And it's kind of, I there was always like <laughs> trolling every day. Any better now? So, oh, barely high. Got the kid in the background. <laughs> it's hard to hear him. <laughs> but I just got here today, so I've been here about 20 minutes. Yeah, I... All right. Well, there's so far been some pretty friendly people further down the river. Yeah, I'm gonna be heading up the river going north. I gotcha. I think I'm gonna continue going towards the east. I know the Alpha used to be out there in the east. I don't even know if they're here anymore. They've been here since I played. I'm sure everything's rotated. Oh, I'm sure there's brand new Alphas now. What was that? I'm sure there are brand new alphas now. Oh yeah, I'm. I am. When I logged in, I was naked and in the desert, and it said I was killed by the same dude that was trolling Daddy, everybody. His name was Dimitri. Have... <laughs> well, but there you go. He, 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 I don't know how long ago that was. 
That is a tough one. You can't tell the since the event logs only go back three weeks. Yeah, there was a group that would come in and troll the server like literally every single raid period, and it was like Dimitri and a bunch of like Middle Eastern names, and they were always like praise all up, like as they were destroying everybody, and, like doing ping pongs and stuff. Oh my goodness, am I the only one struggling to hear him? It was a good time, yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, on a classic Conan like, experience. Yeah, exactly right. Like, <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get heading north. Have a good one, mate. You too, take care. Alright, so uh, so far I've been doing a pretty poor job of being uh, of, of being aggressive like I was planning on. But it's okay, these guys literally are carrying nothing on them right now. There's no point in us killing them. We're not gonna get anything out of it. We need to go and find- oh jeez, we're gonna be dealing with the sandstorm in a second here. Let's go check out this base. So far I'm being a little too nice. The chat, I'm gonna need you guys to help remind me. Oh nice, we found shelter, perfect. Oh, oh the, the. Okay, what's the carpenter bench? Need some shaped wood going while we're here. Just like wait it out. Wait out the storm. We don't have any iron anything to work with. Uh really all we can do is make some shaped wood while we're in here. Not too helpful. Uh, we can make that construction hammer we were looking to make earlier. Pop that. Use this. Alright. This is furniture interesting. Okay, so we do need more iron for us to get the blacksmith online. We can get everything else so far. Carpentry cooking. Source of companions. Decoration. We can at least get some boxes going. Alright, we have what we need for the moment. Who is this? Office. Okay. Woof, that sandstorm is brutal out there. Oh my goodness, wait, how much health did I just lose from putting my head up there? Oh wow, you take... You take so much more damage from the sandstorm? That's great! I've always thought that the sandstorms did too little damage. Five health per tick. It uh, it does take a hot. Um, I'm in full. I'm in full shelter game. Uh, game. Game. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Um, I was just marveling at how much damage we take because it's really good. But I just realized that uh, while we have full shelter, as you can see on the top left there. Um, it apparently does not believe we have full shell. Okay, now it does. Wow, did that take a minute? <laughs> they could have killed us if we didn't have anything to heal on us. Oof. Uh, but I do like that it's actually a threat. The sandstorm, it's, it's always supposed to have been like a, oh no, you, should need, you need to go hide. But then it stopped being an actual threat. Oh, actually no, the shelter didn't actually kick in. It just happened to be that the sandstorm had passed. It feels like the sandstorm should do more damage. It should be more more punishing. I mean, that's the whole point of it. Like the lore behind it is essentially decimated the city. Right? Well, this looks like our base. We built a little place like this once. Who's this? Anything good in here? There's some stuff in here. You know, we might actually build something akin to that again. I did like, I did really like that little hovel hut style. I, I think it's cute. Unfortunately, it is an absolute magnet for people to come and smash, but to be expected. Yeah, that's not someone we need to mark. We're only going to mark people on the map that we think are either still doing things or are of significant note for us to, like, if it seems like it's a big clan. But like these little bases over here like that, I just I don't see much value in us marking them on the map. Since turns out that we have a limited number of markers we can put on the map. <laughs> oh jeez, hello. Hello? <laughs> Your whole bunch of shouting instantly crouch. Oh, unconscious. Actually just logged out here. Kinda cool. This has got a cook <gasps> and an exile. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can take these guys down. We could use the levels. Uh oh, a whifter. There we go. Got her. Wood and some dyes. We'll take the dyes. 
Um, I really take the hide with this. I really take the hide. We don't need the human meat. We need the hide. The human meat's just a bonus. <laughs> I think I remember that base, uh, the one with your thrall Tarman. Yeah, I believe that was the one that had, we had Tarman in it. Yeah, yeah. Didn't last as long as we were open. We had neighbors immediately show up and build right next to us. Within like 12 hours of us logging off. Hey, at least this guy understands you need to have an airlock, but there's uh, zero anything but a box in there. These are always weird whenever I see someone build something like this, but they don't put a single station in there. Like, why are there no crafting stations in there? What are you doing? So what level are we? We're still... We're level 11. We gotta get to level 15, and we can start making some health pots. Or decent ones. I guess we can make some basic health pots, I guess. Let's craft a stack. That going and we can get what one two of those nice. all right who built over here now this is one that could be of note it's pretty good size even a chest just lying around unbroken that was the base that we were just using it was unbroken space this isn't unbroken this place I mean, it looks like it was raided into, but also these places... Has, was there a change in the way damage is done to walls and the like? I just don't understand. I'm seeing bases destroyed and decayed in ways that just don't make sense to me. Hmm. I mean, this is a, a properly fortified base, but I don't know. You're surprised you're not running into more hostiles, but you've not played on PvP server before. Oh, PvP servers are great. Uh, the reason why I really like PvP servers is that oftentimes there's very few gankers. It, it, you're actually rarely going to be harassed on the road running around. And the reason usually is, if the, and that's only if you're of equal gear. The reason is because there's the, the potential of mutually assured destruction during combat, in which if you are out hunting people... If people are prepped and ready or, and are current and are also hunting to fight people, there's a chance you'll die and lose your entire kit. And some people, some players just aren't good enough to guarantee success, right? Because there's a huge skill ceiling in this game when it comes to combat. And so, for example, the people we've run into before are either naked or using um, stone tools, stone weapons and tools. Or the one guy had a, a stone, uh, an iron pick. So... We're essentially on the same item tier. We're on tier 1.5 with this, uh, with our Defari axe here, right? We're not on not on iron, but we're not on stone. We do more damage than stone, but not as much as iron. But the thing is, if we were in a full strength build, we could probably three shot or four shot a guy. So players generally avoid combat until it's time to raid. Yeah, until they're actively raiding a base. Yeah, yeah. If they're actively attacking your base, they know they're gonna have to fight, and so that's usually when that occurs is during active raids. All right, so we're thinking of setting up shops somewhere around here. There's already a base over here. I don't know if we can use this for cover. But you'll find a lot of people tend to be pretty generous uh, and kind, but there are there, there will be people that are out, that are skilled, that are only looking for fighting. Only looking for fights. So, you know, approach with caution. Ian over there that ran up to us did the good old, you know, uh, the friendly squat move, right? Where you like you, you squat at someone a couple of times, indicating that you're you're friendly. Uh, and I also saw he had corruption on him, and his total health pool is pretty small, all things considered. So I actually felt pretty comfortable in fighting him if we had to. Is this place I feel like was raided recently? Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, or at least it was interacted with recently. Yeah, this does have damage on it. This is tier 2, so someone built a tier 2 base here. But again, the fact that these walls don't have damage on them is very weird to me. I, I just don't understand. We're going to have to do some explosive testing here once we hit level 35. 
and we can start making explosives. We're going to have to do some testing with explosives. Wait, no, this isn't tier 2. This is tier 3 building material. No, it's stone brick. Okay, no, no, no. It's tier 2. It's tier 2. It's tier two. That, that crocodile's trying to take us down. I'll oblige him. Oops, slide to the left, slide to the right, and hit him from behind. That's the normal TK timer for PvP servers on structures? No, no, it's it's normally significantly less. I think this is because we're still within the... There, there was like a... When, when Age of War was released, there was apparently a huge mishap with the structural integrity of Numidian DLC placeable uh, structures. So a lot of people lost a lot of stuff because of that. And, you know, the DLC is something you pay extra for. And so they've, like, given everyone, like, a boost and whatnot. So I'm assuming that's what's going on. Because it's not holidays. Because they increase the... Funcom increases the length of time for decay during holidays. The default is one week. The default is one week. But it's currently two weeks is a decay timer on these. Looks like 480 hours. Which I think, which I believe is two weeks. Uh, I would have to go and pull up a calculator to be sure. I, I don't think I've ever sat down and decided to memorize how long a true Fortnite is. But I think it's two weeks. And so while that's going on yeah, it, the point is that you can leave you know you don't have to jump online all the time how much Lemurians okay you don't have you can actually go on a week long vacation for holiday and not have to worry about all of your progress disappearing okay so they've got some thralls inside alright decently established then alright still in sandstone special up here. Oh my goodness, that was loud. <laughs> that, was, that was very loud, Bragging the Bold. There is a host of, a, of offensive thralls in here. Alright, yeah, Braggy. Or I can see them, oh, jeez. I did seven damage to him, or eight damage to him? Yeah, we're out. Looks like he only did two damage to me, but I think it was a glancing blow that he got on us, so we're, we're out of here. We're out of here. We're not uh, we're not set to go and do that yet. Um, over there is where we built last time. This is the Lavish Lemurians. I thought I saw... I think they're online right now, actually. I thought I saw that when we were looking at the big list. Server player list. Yeah, Lavish Lemurians. So they are online, and they are level 60. So let's go ahead and let's get them on the map. Get them on the map so we know they're here. I think I misspelled that horribly, but that's okay. There's a U in there. Lemurians. I was only up by one. Okay. Lavish Lemurians. Alright, perfect. Got them on the map. Dead in mind. That made you jump a little, actually? Yeah, no, that was a lot of loud yelling at one exact moment. That was, uh... I was not prepared for it. I, I was expecting, uh, you know, at least one, because down below we heard sounds in that other structure. Which we probably should have punched our face through the wall to go see what was inside. But... I don't know. NTC. This thing is decaying. I'll take that. Reptile Hutch. We're almost fully encumbered, but I might as well pick up whatever we, whatever we can while we're out here. DC and NTC is Goonsta. Another broken base, another broken base. Actually, that's a nice base location up there. Oh, it doesn't look broken at all. Yeah, so we're going to check these, we're going to check the island, and then we'll head back down south and we'll set up camp. We'll set up a little house, and we'll start working on fast-tracking ourselves to a higher level and better gear. Loke. 
Okay. And how old is Loke? This is clearly rated. Loke, about a week ago, I guess, with the current decay timers. This I'm assuming is a drop point up here. I don't think this is a full base up here. Oh, it's two stories. I take that back. This absolutely could be. It's been raided, I'm assuming. There's a door missing. No, it's just a campfire. It's a campfire spot. Oh no, this is a full-on base. Tier 2. Red Rock. On just a couple <laughs> hours ago. <laughs> oh, this horse. Can you hit the horse to the wall? Okay, no, good, you can't. Oh, it sounds like he's got an animal in there. Other than the horse. It's nice and compartmentalized. I like the I like the design. It's actually quite nice. This little base. Tucked away here. We should probably get him on the map. Let's put him on the map. We don't know what's gonna happen. He might end up becoming uh we have to watch. Oh, he was raided. See, this is what I'm used to seeing. All of these little markers everywhere. Indicating a little bit of damage here, a little bit of damage there. So he was raided. Okay. Alright, good. That's what I was looking for. Seeing all the other ones where I didn't see all these markers everywhere showing damage was just really concerning. It's like, it, did something change that I'm not aware of? Red Rock? Marked? In regular melee weapons, damage sandstone structures? Can't remember. Now they're... Uh, I... Yes, I think they can. I think iron can damage sandstone structures, and I think about it. I think they can, because if I... But, you know, you do so little damage. You do, like, a damage per hit. But yeah, so, for example, Blood Raven's here. See, if I punch, if I attack with that, it says... It doesn't say it doesn't do damage. See, immune to this tier of weapon. See it in the top right? Means this tier weapon, and then we swap over to this. Yeah, it does not pop up. And I've done five damage to it. But this place has also been raided. Oh, there's someone inside, though. There's someone inside. I just heard them uh, unsheath a weapon. Let's see if we can find an angle here. Uh, it's very crowded inside. <laughs> this is this feels like Blood Raven's actual base. Oh, there's a horse in here. Yeah, this feels like a Blood Raven's actual base versus the other location that we were at. Let's go ahead and we'll mark this for Blood Raven. Because the other location was destroyed. Let's just go ahead and repair this. Taking a lot of damage. It only takes rocks. Just gotta replace the, the little shaft on there. Oh, what's this? A Nordheimer fighter? What are you doing here? Weird spot for you to be chilling. Can I fight her or no? Kind of. We don't do that much damage. If she doesn't fight back, we can take her. We're definitely going to be leveling up strength going forward. We need more damage. I think it's more important than having more health. Oh my goodness, she's at 60 damage. We could take two more hits before we're dead. We can take two more hits like that before we die. Oh no, please. No. Oh, okay, we're out. We're out, we're out. Oh, the cripple, please go away. Okay, we're out. Yikes. We need to up our health pool or get better armor. Oof. Painful. Very, very painful. Ouch. Oh, we got into the base down here. Nice. Okay. Who might this be? Is there a door somewhere? There's a door. Virus. Oh, it's a fully kitted out place. Look at that, okay. Virus hasn't been on for a while. This could be a raid marker right here. We could be raiding this one. Alright, we'll put a marker on there to raid this. 
Doesn't have any signs of it being raided. It's got a little bit of damage on some stuff inside, but that might just be him swinging the sword when he was, you know, pulling it out and playing around with it. Who knows? But, um, that's a marker right there for us to raid. We won't be able to raid today, though. We need to get to level 35 to start actually raiding. Because that'll be tomorrow. But this is why we're doing some scouting. we got to scout out and see where we want to go. So we're going to go pick up... We'll do our iron runs over here. Okay, someone has built on this island. It, it's a very popular island to build on. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised someone's built on this island. I had no hopes of us building here. We've built here before on a previous playthrough anyway, so... Doesn't matter to me. We've done it before. Let's see what they've done, at the very least, to see who it is. Because, again, now that we can actually see the people that are online at all times, like, whenever someone's online, we can see who they are on the plan they're with. This will make it a lot easier for us to identify uh, where safe places are for us to roam. So they haven't built in the interior. They've only built in the upper mountain region, which is fine. That's where I normally build. I normally build up here. But it means it's probably going to be a smaller build, right? Because usually they end up sprawling out as they build on this island. Building exactly where I normally build. This is like the spot. Ah, Thrall Wheel, that's what this is. Okay. I was wondering what that was. I'm Dead is this, what's the guy's name. Hasn't been on in a while. Okay. Uh, basic building. Not, not bad. Not horrible in aesthetics, but probably all open inside, I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm assuming the entire floor plan is completely open. Oh, he's got an airlock. Okay, I take that back. All right, he's got an outer... So this is an outer too thick territory, and then his house is inside. I don't think we can see through angles, right? Yeah, we can't. So we can't see what's inside. All right. Well, we're going to mark this guy. I'm dead. We'll mark him as another potential raid target. These guys haven't been on in a week, so the likelihood is they still won't be on. Right? They're not, not, they kind of stopped playing. And I am a fan of... Pref I prefer raiding places that are done. People aren't continuing to play. Than raiding places that, you know, new players are still getting the hang of things. Okay, so I was planning on coming down here and building around here, but it looks like there's already people that have built here. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we're, we can't fight him. He's probably going to two-shot us. Who's this? Freeman. Okay. Built around the pillar. I guess we'll build up at some point, I guess. There's a big... There's a big one over here. Right there. So right around that area there is where there's got to be a big base. We're going to have to keep that in mind as we go. And that one's been hollowed out, it looks like. Would you go away, please? I want to see what's in this base, but I don't want to get one shot by you. That'd be great, thanks. Where is it? Meat. Is there stuff we can kind of just drop? Okay, while we're here. This is over encumbered, but we can go ahead and repair this. Go ahead and repair our armor while we're at it. <laughs> just so it doesn't break on us while we're running around. We got those repair kits from the... Ooh, hey now. Hey now. Back off you. Actually, wait. Can I... Do I have... I've got three... Jeez, <laughs> only three attributes. Uh, can I get... Oh, yes. All these are free. They don't cost us anything. So we can get this. We'll get Skirmisher, Bruiser, Defender, and Archer. Archer unlocked. Perfect. And then with Skirmisher... Wait, what? Throwing axe takes that much? Oh no, the basic throwing axe doesn't. Okay. We're gonna see how much damage do we do with a basic throwing axe here? She's gonna be level 0.7 to get throwing axes. It's crazy. And how much damage does the throwing axe do? Oh, wrong button. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, that's not good. 
I, I whipped my mark, but that's okay. Actually, I didn't realize it looked through here. Whoa, wait, what? Oh, look at this! He's got trap doors with spikes. I am so curious that that actually works. Oh, I am very curious that that actually works. If that actually works, that is amazing. I've never seen that before. The trap doors with spikes. I wonder if that works. Doesn't look like a, a place we really have to think about coming back to raid. Doesn't look big enough to have all those stations in it. But I wonder if that's, that actually works. I can't believe we're at exactly 100 encumbrance right now. It's pretty funny. Actually, I think we're at 99 since I threw that axe. Who's this? Era. Recently blown up, or at least recently interacted with, but since there's nothing else here, the recent interaction would have had to have been blown it to Kingdom Come. Okay. Let's let's go track down the Let's go let's go find that big base. Let's see who's over there. Be a little nerve wracking going over here because it's going to be at least someone fully established since we've got a tier three altar, and you really don't want to build tier three altars till you have to, because they announce your location on the map. So usually on PvP servers like this one, people only end up building those altars once they're nicely established. So let's go see who this is. It'll be good to have marked on the map. Just so we know who not to mess around with if we're going to be in this zone. Those cats are probably going to two-shot us. <laughs> we can't fight those. <laughs> those things are scary. We do need to kill them for some uh, poisons, though, at some point. So I'm assuming they're going to be built right there. That's where I've seen others build before. Let's see. Am I on target? Yeah. Actually, no. They're going to be a little closer than I thought. Oh, wait, sandstone? What? Hold on a second. This might just be new players. Yeah, it's just all sand. What? Well, I was not expecting this. It's the sand. Ugh, gotta climb up the, <laughs> climb up the dunes. Oh, we do not want to piss that thing off. See if we can climb up this. This feels like this needs to be fixed a little bit. <laughs> the terrain looks a little too janky. Okay, oh, we're gonna take a quick break. We just don't have a lot of stamina, so climbing's gonna be really tough for us until we get points and grit. Luckily, it looks like there should be enough break points for us to make it. It's gonna be a close call. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we can make it up there. We seem to get a pine up so we can see who it is. Come on. Well, please be a safe spot for us to rest. Nope. 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 Didn't work. Not quite. <laughs> How's it going, Katie? How are you doing today? Ah, uh, yes, it is. It is I. It is I. We are back. Reporting live from the height of the... I don't know what mountain range this is. From, the, from a tall mountain in the southern section of the Exiled Lands. Here we have found a brand new construction. We can't go up this way. We have to go up A new construction. That of sandstone and a tier 3 altar. Curious that they would feel so bold as to place that upon sandstone. Reporting live. Right? Let's just investigate. We're going to go and investigate this. I'm curious. Because a tier 3 altar... Uh, it's just your a tier three altar means one of two things: either you're brand new to the game, or you're very well established and ready to fight pretty much anyone who who dares to come within your territory. I would prefer this being the former and not the latter, because then we can build in this region, which would be nice. This is a pretty good spot for us to build because it's near that iron brimstone. But we'll take a look. You truly need to take out this profession. <laughs> That's <laughs> his profession as news guy. Brand, brand new newsman. Conan Exiles. All right, let's go jump over here. Okay, so how are they getting up is the question. They must be climbing. I don't see an elevator or anything here. Wow. 
wild. The only other... I can't, I can't, I can't explain why it's on sandstone. I cannot explain why it's sitting on sandstone. Because it's right here. You might have to go up that way. I don't know. Probably teleport? Maybe. That would make sense. Could be teleport. I want to go up there, but we just do not have the stamina to do it. We're too early in our run. We're only level 12. 11? We're only level 11. <laughs> we can't do this. It's too tough. Alright. Let's jump back to the other side, and let's start building a little base. Start building a little base. Get some stuff cooking. Start working on uh, getting ourselves, you know, established. We'll go from there. We can try and climb up that way, but I, I know we don't have enough stamina to do it. I know from the last time we went up there. We'd have to get climbing gloves, which we can't get them anywhere near here. We can build on the other side of that island for that guy. We're gonna build somewhere over here. I'm not too sure where. We could go up there. We can't climb. It's like we could go up there. It's a nice little pocket up there. Now we, we don't have the ability to climb that high. Hmm. There's just a lot of buildings already set here, so a lot of land claims. We can't build in this region. But I like over here because it's, you know, a little rainier. A little greener, a little nicer. Is there anyone else built up and around here? Well, this is a decent spot. We could build up here. Vacant path to me. We're trying to figure it out. We build up here. We could build over there. I don't know if I want to build over there. We'd have to clear these guys out of the way. The red one's going to be tougher. There's a couple of thrall camps down there. Hmm. Hmm. How's it going, Kenshi? How are you doing today? Well, this is new. Yes. We're playing Conan Exiles. Our store. Our standard stream days are. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Today is a Friday. And so it is not a, a standard stream day. We got some free time. And so we're playing Conan Exiles. I guess I don't have to build anything permanent around here. Zelda has an addiction again? Nah, not yet. Not yet. It's not an addiction yet. It's just, it's just you know, it's, it's just one drink. It's fine. It's not that bad. Not like I'm addicted to it. It's just one drink. I can stop whenever I want to, Shilling. Yeah, so that was actually right here. And I think right there. I think I went right past the wall spot, right? Because so this is the one that has the Taskmaster, right? The Taskmaster encampment here somewhere. <laughs> just past Dark Strider 2 campaign. And it was brutal despite the game being old. It's well done. And, well, I mean, despite you say despite being old, but you gotta keep in mind, some old games are very difficult in comparison to modern games. So, no, the Taskmaster is here. What's that other one, then? What is what I thought it was? Oh, it's this tower. Oh, whoa, hold on a second. How did we miss that? What is this? Is there more to it than just a foundation, or is it just a foundation up there? There's a platform. Hang on a second. Looks like nothing else is loading in. Maybe it's just strictly a platform. Oh no. <laughs> nope. Uh-uh, that's not that is not just a platform. That's an extension. Okay, hey, here we go. Um Wow, someone is built right here. Big castle, tier 2 on top of tier 1? No, is that tier 3? I think that's tier 3 on top of tier 1. Does the elevator work? Can I use the elevator? Drift. He's put the elevator in a way where I can't activate it while, the, while I'm down here. So I'd have to climb. Smart man. A drift. Okay.
Alright, so Drift is here. Well, building over here could be dangerous. <laughs> because he, uh, will be going right past him. Or he'll rather go right past us. We can still build there, though. I was thinking about building right here, because it's a nice little semi-flat, slightly ramped spot. But with him there, that's kind of dangerous. Doesn't matter, it's not going to be our long-term permanent location. We kind of just need a base of operations to start building up. We've got, what, meat, water... The main thing is right here, so maybe we just go to the, the end of the peninsula. It's very exposed if we go to the end of the peninsula, as opposed to here, where it's only going to be some people that see us. But it'll get us closer to the iron nodes. Oh, nope, never mind, we can't. Someone's already built there. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Already built. Okay. We can build right here, then. Right where we're standing right now. This is not a bad spot. We can clear this off. We can build and play with that structure there. People will walk past us often. Oh, uh, yeah, we can see that from there. I mean, otherwise we'd be up on that cliff. Yeah, someone's already built over there. Looks like it's falling apart, whatever's going on, or they're currently building one or the other. I mean, the server is still chock full right now. Let's go ahead and... Where's that construction? Is someone going to try and attack us? What's going on? Sandstone or Flotsam? I mean, I'd rather Flotsam. Flotsam I like more than Sandstone. Let's get ourselves a little over encumbered here with the good old wood. And let's go chuck down a base. And yeah, we can always move later if we really want to. As in, like, we can do, like, a permanent, like, a our permanent base is probably going to be further away, but we can do another, like, temporary base that'll be closer to something else if we need to. Let's build here. It's got a nice view. All of our iron is going to be right there. That's where we're going to get all of our iron. All of our brimstone is going to be in the cave that's right there, visible right there. There's a couple of people that have already built over here, so I don't really want to build over there. And there's only that one big guy over there. <laughs> and, of course, the other big guy down here. And then I'm dead over here, I'm not too worried about the guys built there. It's a very populated area. A lot of people in New River right now. Does anyone do range builds on Conan PvP like bows, or is that not a thing? It's not common. Uh, at least prior to the update, prior to this most recent update, uh, there was a style of range build. I don't know if it's still viable, though. I don't know if it's still a viable build. We're going to build into the rock a bit here. We're just going to build a, a, a proper square base to start with. We can make something pretty later. We just need a place to house our stuff and get some stations down. Let's go ahead and get painters going next. We're just very encumbered. I mean, we're running around at 100% encumbrance. It kind of to be expected, you know? If this would be the case. There's the journey we want to take for the bigger storage boxes, though. Stone. Definitely drop off all of this. That's not important for us to carry. Uh, stone we do need. We can leave this here. We can leave that there. We can leave this here. Our extra meat. Seeds. Hello. Don't think either of these. Okay, and we'll go ahead and we will lock that. Uh, raid window ends in three minutes, so no one will be able to bust this open in three minutes here. Um, what do we need to do for that journey? What do we need to do for that journey? Which one was it? Mason? What journey was it? There's a journey that we can get. I might as well grab this one here. Because we're building right now, we might as well do this. Use your hatchet to cut down a tree, use construction hammer, build foundation. Yeah, we're building all this right now, we might as well do this. <gasps> oh, the crocodiles moved in! Hi, neighbor! Howdy, neighbor! How are you doing today? Oh my goodness, the crocodiles is this. my home now. Well, if you say so, I'm not going to tell them to move. 
I'm not gonna be the one to evict them. You do that. Yeah, there's one that gives us the. Um, was it a box like better boxes? I don't think it's visible yet. I can't remember which one it was, but there's one that gives us like an improved version of boxes. And that's that's definitely what we're gonna want to pick up because it's, it doesn't require iron to build, like the, the iron chests. So that'd be good. All right, now what's next? Build walls. Okay, I'm gonna start building some walls. Ah, uh, we should be proper and build only proper walls here. Solid structural walls. Um, yeah, we'll put the door on this side, I think. These walls up. Too high, of course, because one high walls are very claustrophobic. If we're playing in third person, it's just a nightmare to play. Alright, here we go. Uh, door frame is next. A bit more wood first. Luckily, there's plenty of wood around here, so this is easy. Alright. Grab some wood. We'll grab the door frame next. Let's see, out. Oh, don't do that. Wanted. Okay, and then you're supposed to be on top. There we go. Now build the ceiling. Uh, before we do that, we're gonna build a staircase so we can get in. And we can go ahead and we can build our ceiling. It's just gonna be an ugly square for now. We'll build something nicer later. Build the door. Do that next. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather have something nicer than these big blocky squares, but they're just so efficient to build. And also, since so many of the crafting stations are flat or squarish, it just makes it really easy to house all of them. But it just—it looks—it looks so bad. <laughs> it looks so bad. I want to get better at building as well. The the building styles that we've done in the past are good, but they're not great, right? They're they're above basic, but they're not amazing. I'd like to really start branching out and making some really nice looking builds. But of course, we're playing on a PvP server, so uh, aesthetics really should come second. Function over form. There's the door. Access or place a wooden box. Already done. There's access. Done. Store something within the wooden box. Okay, we'll take something out. We'll put something back. Turning stuff completed. Excellent. There we go. Perfect. Grab the award. Got uh, some parts, but that's not what we're looking for. Was it Mason then? We need just tier two. Hardened brick, journey step, insulated wood. Yeah, it's tier two stuff. Thrall taker, chef. I don't remember what it was. But there was a journey step somewhere. Huh. Let me do this one real quick. Dodge. Kick. Craft a club. Uh, club. After the club is target lock, perform heavy attack, sunder, defender, shield, block. Again. Press this later. We need this to sunder, don't we? Let's go ahead and make more of these. That up. Let's drop off everything here. Give all. Perfect. Alright, I'll take this back, this back, this back. Take that because we need it, take that because we need it, take that because we need it. Uh, use that kit. Whoa! What? Wow! That is way better than I remember it being when we did the journey system playthrough. Wow! Got a, a, we got a bedroll, a bedroll, a water skin, an aloe extract, lasting feast, healing wraps, and a torch. Quite nice. That's actually... I am a little surprised. 
However, we are we're we're going to be living in style. We're gonna use uh, the nicer bedroll we got from the last battle pass. Bam. Looks so much nicer. All right, perfect. It's way way comfier than just a scrap of leather. Do that. All right, so now let's go ahead and start dealing with stations. So let's get a furnace started, and we'll put the furnace right. Well, we'll put the blacksmith there. Put the furnace here. Absorb some of the stone. There go. Let's see. Cooking. We need to get more wood and more stone. Then we'll go and get some iron. And start working on iron. <laughs> this this rock has completely encased this this poor tree. Some would say the tree grew through the rock, but that's clearly not the case. Look at all these, these deer just chilling out here. Antelopes just kind of hanging. I do think it's funny that uh, when you pick up a baby antelope, you get a baby deer, and when you grow the baby deer, it turns into a full-grown antelope. <laughs> the baby deer looks like a baby... Looks like a baby deer, and it follows the antelope around. But when it become when the baby deer becomes a full grown adult, it's an antelope. I don't know how that works. This does. All right, we've got an armor bench, so we can go ahead and put that here. Actually, we might want to get two furnaces. Yeah, let's get two furnaces. We can grab some more. More stone here. I just love that the crocodile's just chilling. Just living his best life over there. There's that 500 we needed, plus some. We're gonna have to go and repair this hatchet, it's almost broken. We might not need to, because we might be running straight off to go and get the iron we need to get an iron hatchet rolling. That's going to be nicer. We're going to want two for this. Uh, Tanner's table. This bench requires more stone. Some bark. Do we have any bark? Got bark. Some stone then. Alright. Well, off the stone. Even more. Yeah, so we can carry a lot, but we just. Our harvesting rate is not as high as I'd like it to be. So, getting the better tools, having us harvest faster is going to be really nice. We are getting some good levels out of just doing prep gear, since mining and building does give you a decent amount of experience. Still not as much as killing. Killing gives significantly more in most cases. Let's actually slide this right here. Go. Tanner's table. We can put the Tanner's table here. What else do we need? Armor bench, we can jam in here. Okay, the blacksmith we'll put over here. Carpentry, carpentry table. Uh, we're running out of places. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay. Um, go ahead and we'll move our boxes. There. We can get carpentry here now. Okay. Uh, cooking. Ooh, it's getting tight. <laughs> getting a little tight over here. Uh, we'll move the box over here. And put the cooking station right at our feet. Maybe? Oh. Well, what's it mad about? Must be over here more, but that's where the blacksmith goes. Alright, well, I guess we're not going to be using the large campfire. <laughs> we'll use a tiny campfire instead. That's fine. Because we're going to need to get the blacksmith in here, and that's going to take up this space. Right there. Actually, we can get this pretty in, in pretty tight. We're missing the iron, right? Yeah, we need 50 iron for it. 
pretty close though. Let's go ahead and let's just drop off the rest of this. Uh, inventory is a problem. Eh, that's fine. The carpenter bench can just hold all of our junk for now. That's fine. That's fine. All right, let's go grab some iron real quick. Do a quick iron run. All right. Let's go grab a bunch of iron. Let's get that cooking. The sooner we get that going, the better. All right. So we've found a couple of places already that we're looking to raid. Raid one is closed for today, but that's fine. We weren't expecting to be able to raid today, because to be able to raid... Damage here. We need to have explosives. Explosives here requires us being level 35, and we're level 13. So our goal is to get a little base setup that we have right here, get this going, and to get ourselves to level 35. So our goal really is to get to iron. Uh, or rather, to steal. That's the goal. Let's get ourselves to steal. We're going to get ourselves to iron first. We're going to run to steal as quick as we can. Also, I'm curious about this building over here. It's got the, the arcane sandstone frame. So it's someone who's been playing for a bit since the beginning of the Age of Sorcery. Blood Ravens again. Interesting. None of this stuff is damaged, but it's got it. Wow. Yeah, there's the Arcane Sandstone door frame. Interesting. Hmm. We'll grab a bunch of iron here. Oh, actually, wait. Before we go too far into this, let's get the blacksmithing back. Harvest Iron Stone is one of the requirements for this. Harvest Coal. Oh, there's no coal anywhere nearby. <laughs> well, there's some coal that's not too far off, but it's one it's one grid away. It's one square grid away. That's too far away for us to care about right now. Our objective is grabbing what we can grab. <laughs> Nab all this. And we're out. We'll come back and we'll grab the rest in the uh, the higher up above. Grab things on the uh, the higher elevation later. But for now, let's just grab what we can. And get out of here. Our base is right there. This isn't long, uh, loaded in, so we'll see it load in as we go back here. It's gonna look pretty pathetic, but again, that's fine. It's fine, fine for us for now, because. We don't want any untoward attention at the moment. Not until we get up to at least level 35 so we can do counter raiding and get some decent equipment going. But if we get to level 35, the 35 is only going to give us, what? Hardened steel? Uh, no, we can't even get hardened steel. We only have standard steel. There's our base. So adorable. This cute little wooden nonsense right there. Yeah, we'll build something better later. The Darksiders game is, in your opinion, it's it was better than 1 and 3? Because Genesis 12. I don't know anything about the Darksider franchise. Well, still says Darksider and Diablo were kind of connected. Oh, wait, are they? I know nothing about... I know nothing about that genre or that game. Is it a dungeon crawl kind of game? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Hello, Crocodile. Yeah, we should probably kill real quick. We've got some points in strength, so we'll have more damage we can do. We'll still take a lot of damage, but we can kill it faster, at least. Ow. Yikes, everyone hits us for 60, or almost 60 damage. Okay. Slap and roll. There we go. Let's go ahead and pick it for some bones. No? Wow, we got a couple of fangs and nothing else. Wow. Alright. Some more stone. Definitely need more. Always need more. 
Hopefully our neighbor doesn't learn. What the? Um. Sir? This is not your house. <laughs> You're being evicted. Get out. <laughs> Be gone. Be gone! Oh my goodness, there's a serious crocodile infestation. They just move into bases, don't they? It's like, oh, I thank you for building this beautiful house. I, oh, this is a very good find. Well, thank you so much. No, that's... You're not... No. You can go and hide in that other place. You can share with that other guy. I'm not sharing. Oh my goodness. Right, take half this out. That's only going to run for ten minutes. That is perfectly fine. It's going to get more of that going. Oof. Imagine walking up to a croc in your house. Oh my goodness, that would be terrifying. That would be uh, very terrifying, being like, hey, um... Excuse me, I don't want to bother you, but uh, I live here, and um, it would be really, really nice if you could you know, give, me, uh, give me some space. Just got home from work. I'd... No, no, okay, all right, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, no, you can keep, you keep the couch. The couch is all yours, you keep it, right? Uh, hello? <laughs> Alright, let's get this iron going. Nine iron. We just need nine more iron, and we can go ahead and build our blacksmith. Yeah, we got the stone on us right now, so that's good. Build the blacksmith, and then we can start making ourselves some iron tools, and that's going to start really improving where we're at stat, uh, on our stats. Iron tools, iron weapons, we can get medium armor because that requires iron to build. A little help us with our uh, armor. Our health is pretty good. Actually, we can go ahead and level up again. We'll put strength. We'll get strength up to 5 so we can get heavy blows, so heavy and special attack damage do 10% 10, 10 more. And after that, I think we're going to have to start putting points in Vitality and at least get Fierce Vitality, five points in. And then after that, I think we need to go and get Tenacity for the extra armor and stamina, the stamina regen. Because I don't I don't know if I can wait till we get to really high levels to finally having proper health and stamina. I think we're going to need to start getting that sooner. All right, here we go. Iron tools. I also could track down some Bloodstone. I want to do some Bloodstone weapons. actually takes blood crystal. These don't take blood crystal? Wait, what? Why do these not take blood crystal? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Well, I mean, that's an improvement on our Defari Axe. Requires just branches and iron. Weirdly enough. Alright, so we're gonna move you... here. Uh, and you are going to be... Um, Metals and fuels. Uh, and you... Nope. 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 Wrong menu! Alright. And you... You're gonna be a dumb chest. For all the other things. And dump this tar with the rest of the tar. Let's have that stacked. Uh, branches. We're going to take all of our branches, put all of our branches in here for now. Alright, we're going to have to go and get some... I want to get a hatchet first, if we can. An iron hatchet is, our, is the first one I want to get. Uh, we're going to start looking at getting a Wheel of Pain soon, too. We want to start getting some thralls worked on. Because we there's a Taskmaster thrall just right next to us, and there's a Blacksmith thrall not too far away. We want to go track those down. Maybe level 20 to start harvesting gold. Okay. Uh, we've got 12 points. We can put them towards torches. One point for torches. Oh, zero points for the clan thing? Sure, we can unlock that one up. Furniture maker, we're not doing any furniture building right now. We, we need to focus on other things first. Bed cheaper, we can get beds going. Actually, we should probably get a bed going, because then the nice thing about beds is that we can use a bedroll while we're out and about. Oh my goodness, I gotta be 15 for this. We really gotta get to level 15. 
Yes, yeah, so actually 14 damage on the iron sword, the iron short sword 17, and 16 on the axe. If we go with the blood crystal, which again we got from the battle pass from last season, it's only 14. But it doesn't require us spending any of our knowledge points, so I'm tempted to use that one for now. Just to save the knowledge points that we have. We just We're a little we're a little thin on knowledge points right now. <laughs> a little thin on them. A little thin. Sorcery. The secrets of sorcery. Oh, this is nice that they actually put a blurb here. Masters hold its knowledge. That's good, because it's a little hint. It's like, hey, if you've never played this game before, and you don't want to look it up, Masters hold its knowledge. Well, then you see a random NPC that's a sorcerer, and you're like, oh, maybe I should go murder that thing. It holds the knowledge. Alright, so we can also look at getting a pet if we wanted to as well. We should look and get these thatch roofs. It's only one. It only costs one. Bed shaper will unlock that. We need new beds at some point. Kindling fire? Sure, why not? Well, it takes an arson bench. Let's let's not focus on that. I'd like to get some nice torches in here, but we can get some wall bracket torches. It's fine. It's fine for now. That reset any new ones for us? No, nothing new. Okay. Uh, religion we're fine on. Weapons. That's what we can do for now. Armor. There's nothing going... Wow, what do we need for this? Level 20. I would like to get some savage armor going. It's really good. The savage armor because then we get the strength bonuses off of that savage armor. As opposed to the carrying capacity from this armor. We need level 20 for it though. Alright, so we do have a hatchet. So that's great. This will be our backup hatchet. We'll leave it here. It's got no health left. But that's fine. We don't care. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get some more wood. So we can keep these fires going. Looks like we still have to wait the 15 minutes for all the trees to respawn. That's all right. We'll this will spin around at some point. Make sure we eat to heal. I gotta remember we don't have the passive health regen yet. We have to level up to go grab that perk. The passive health regen is just essentially a must. It's just so good. Oh, this is so much better. We are gaining significantly more wood like this. We actually burn the branches. I think we'll have one... Yeah, let's go ahead and let's grab spare branches, because we really don't need that many. But we'll grab some spare branches, and we'll have one of our furnaces run off of branches, and one of them run off of wood. That's what we'll end up doing here. Let's just go ahead and deforest this for right now. It's got enough wood for it to keep going. We're waiting on more iron to be built, so then... Uh, or to be smelted, so we can go ahead and build ourselves the iron pick. And with that iron pick, we'll then be able to go and grab some more stone. So we'll kind of do a cycle here. So, we'll just go until we get fully encumbered. Or, well, almost encumbered. I don't want to go running around encumbered, but we can get ourselves pretty close to it. Also, this is a good way to get us leveled, because again, we want to get to level 15 so we can start doing some alchemy. Gotta head back. That is it on our inventory. We're at 99% capacity. We've got more than three stacks of lumber. We drop this off in our little hovel over here. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to build a nicer house at some point. <laughs> it's such an eyesore to look at. I don't like it, but it is what it is for now. Right, so we can take all this wood, we'll put in these branches. We'll start off with branches. We have an hour and thirty minutes worth of branches there. We'll put a full stack of wood in here. Four hours. Perfect. Let's grab the iron. It's almost enough to pick on its own. Go ahead and get that pick started. Start working on that next. I think it only does 14. It makes me really tempted to just go learn the axe. Since it does more. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get some shaped wood going. Doesn't hurt for us to at least get that project started. I'll hold on to the twine. Let's grab all this. I'm not going to be building any bows. Six damage bows. We don't need to do anything with bows right now. The leather we're going to need more and more of. An emblem heater shield. Oh, that's really cool looking. Just a blood shield. I really wanted to get more of those, but yeah. We can go click crystal blood shield and sword. This doesn't require any actual crystal blood crystal for it. We can do that. Of course, we'll need the iron for it, but uh, having a shield would be useful. 
go. How's it going, Seth Wolf? How are you doing today? Yes, it's Conan again. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. As Asquix, welcome. Thanks for the follow, I appreciate that. How are you doing today? Have you played any Conan before? We got two sealed water skins coming. Kind of nice. Uh, let's see. Elastic Feast. We're fine on food right now. Water we're a little lower on, but that's okay. We're right next to the right next to the lake. Or the river rather. So we're fine there. You're good? How about you? I'm doing well. I am slowly uh, relearning all the changes that have happened in the Age of War. Oh my goodness, there's been a lot of changes here. It's definitely throwing me for a loop on some of these. We get hit so much harder. I'm gonna have to be a lot more conscious of what I'm doing when I'm fighting. Yeah, so let's, we'll drop our Defari Axe. We'll go ahead and we'll grab this bad boy. Uh, we'll get that shield up next, I think. That's what we'll do. Wow, they changed this. This actually required... They've upgraded it to steel. I thought it used to be iron. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just don't remember right. It's been a while. I don't pay too much attention to those types of items. You have 4,000 hours in this game, so I think you played it. Yeah, I think you played it a little bit. Now it turns out you just had it uh, in the background on your computer for months straight. It's like, you know what? I've never actually played that game. I've opened it a couple of times, but I always forget to actually play it. What? Let's go ahead and let's get... Okay, so if that's the dump chest, we'll just build one here real quick. This is our dump chest, so we'll go ahead and place our dump chest where our dump chest is supposed to be. Come on. Hello? You got standing in the way. Oh, this sword looks sick. I like this sword. Dump chest goes there. This we're going to put right. To block your spawn. Really? Oh, interesting. Because it was there prior to me putting that bedroll down. Put it here. Alright. Uh, this guy is going to be the snack chest. So we'll make this for snacks. So just anything associated with food goes here. So whether it's actually edible or not doesn't matter. Just all food stuff will go here. Just so that all of our decayed meat ends up in the same place. We don't have the ability to keep it, you know, cool or anything for now. Keep it preserved. We grab those bugs. We'll put them in there too. Bugs are edible. Stop this off in here. Uh, let's go ahead and how many brand? Let's reach that as well. Nice. There we go. Uh, you have a friend and you think he is almost one hour AFK. <laughs> almost, has, almost has a thousand hours AFK. <laughs> he is always watching a movie in the background during raid hours. That kind of makes sense because you have to wait around until it's you can actively go and start fighting. But that is pretty funny though. The saber. We'll probably go and get this axe at some point, too. But for now, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and grab this. What do we need to make that shield? I want to go make that shield. Because we're going to need that defense. Oh, what do you know? Branches. What was it? Five branches, I think? So this needed for the shield? Perfect. Let's go ahead and make that. I'll go ahead and make that. And then that'll be good there. And then armor is the last thing we need. In which case, what do we need for armor? Uh, medium hide requires us to have twine, bam, and leather. Okay, leather and twine. Ooh, we need to get more bark. Okay, that's not enough leather at all. We have one piece. Oh, no, that's actually exactly enough. <laughs> okay, I eat my words real quick on that one. That's actually literally exactly enough. Let's put you here, put you here, put you here. We don't actually need the repair hammer out right now. We're not doing adventures, so we'll keep that in our pockets. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the... It should really get another box. Which means I need to grab a little bit of that twine back. Like 20 twine. I think that doesn't break anything. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll stick another box here. It's going to be for building materials. Building mats. That's locked. Put that off. 
and we'll drop that off. This is this all together. All right, we need to go and get ourselves some more bark. Perfect, they're already starting to respawn. Excellent. And you know what? I don't think we get any resin when we use a stone pick, do we? I don't think we get any resin at all, huh? Hmm. All right. Keep, keep, just keep on keeping on with those levels. Got to get to level 35 as soon as we can so we can finally start raiding. Of course, again, we can't raid today, but that's our goal. The goal is to get to raiding level. We want to be able to raid. We also need to go do a big scout as well. So we'll do that once we have... Once we have the base a little bit better set up, and we have a proper set of gear here as well. Get ourselves set up a little bit better on that. I really like the sheathing mechanics that they added. It just looks so good. It just looks so good. But we do need to go and scout. There's a handful of places we need to go track down. And getting more stamina is going to be kind of critical for it. Oh my goodness. Uh, we needed hide? Was that a thing that we needed? We needed more hide? Here we go. Bam! Here's your hide. Perfect. Alright, so we got all that. And then for the medium, how much iron do we actually need for this? Uh, so we need 12, 24, 36, and... Okay, so we need 59. Because we've got the pants already. We need 59 iron, which I think we have plenty. I think we have enough of that already. So the hides, or the leather, is going to be the main limiting factor on this one. Ooh, nope. We're off by 12. That's enough for us to at least get started. Because right, there's heavy armors and the like. We're just going to stick to medium for now. Until we can unlock others. We need to be a higher level to do so. Now I would like to survive longer. And besides, we can always put this on a thrall later. So it won't go to waste. Let's go ahead and drop off these vines. Get those turned into wine. Now we'll put the resin in the dump chest for now. Oh my goodness, look. Even more branches. My favorite. In there. More branches. Thank goodness. Yeah, it's going to take forever with the tannery, but it is what it is on that one. Medium. We'll go ahead and get the chest piece next. Get the gloves, I guess. It's fine. Okay. Choose. And we'll leave our spare set of gear in the crafting table. If someone steals it because they raid and destroy the base, no big deal. If they don't, then we can go ahead and donate this to a thrall. It's so easy. Yeah, this will slowly increase our defense, which is very good. There, nine. Actually, I think we might go do an iron, another iron run while we wait for the hide to be converted into leather. Okay, so we have enough to convert and enough to get what we need to get done. This is going to take some time here because uh, I forgot to get more bark, so that's that was my bad. We need to get a bunch more iron, though, so we can start working on rawls. Attributes. Another point. Strength. Bam. Okay, we got heavy blows. So next, I think we're going to do vitality until we get fierce fight. Wow. Well, I'm kind of tempted to get grit. Stamina has been a struggle. Stamina has been a struggle, but 200 health. Wow, well, we got more armor. Uh, what's our... Alright. With the new armor that we've got, we're now up to 15% damage reduction. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We've got ourselves a, a shield and a sword, so we do more damage with the sword, because it's a proper iron sword. We have a shield so we can block some incoming damage, so that's good. I think that'll let us survive long enough to be able to get out of sticky situations. Although with our low stamina, we're not going to be able to outrun other players. Which would be a little problematic. That's one thing we have to keep in mind, is other players will be able to run us down. <laughs> they will easily be able to run us down, so we have to be careful about that. We have to, we're going to have to use our wits if we end up running into someone who wants to attack us. We don't have enough resources at home right now to easily rebuild the gear we're running around with. It's not going to take us too long to go and reset, but still.
Petition is entrance. Oh, it's because, yeah, we went up above him. I'm like, wait a second. How did we get that on there? Yeah, we were above the cave. Yeah, Executioner's Entrance is where we go to get all of our brooms down. So we'll be going there shortly. But we can't really do that until we can make steel anyway. It's not that big of a deal at the moment. Alright, this iron has not respawned yet. Let's go ahead and take out this guy right here. Let's get us a little bit more experience. Actually, wait a second. We need to lock onto a target. Hold on. Hop in the water here, sir. Hold on. We can go and do Warrior. There we go. Lock onto a target. We're saying need a sundering weapon to, to go further, huh? We can do heavy attack, but now we have to sunder him. Oh my goodness, he hits hard. Build up. Build up. You've got no time. Are you actually you can regain your stamina so shield play might actually be really good in the current Oh wow. Oh wait, what? Was I huh? Let me rewatch the How did I die? Wait a second. I had my shield up and I was going to make a comment like, wow, this is crazy. You just take zero damage. This is amazing. These things are great. And then I suddenly took a whole bunch of damage. My stamina went to zero. There must have been a stamina bug. I don't know if you guys saw that. But my stamina went from full to zero. I think there was a, something that happened with stamina on that. So maybe, because I was going to say, wow, it only takes five stamina and we regenerate our stamina so quickly. Shields are so broken. Going forward, like in PvP, if you just have a shield, how do you... I guess you're going to have to have the perk, right? This perk here, which you no longer rebound off shields to be able to actually fight someone with a shield. But apparently, something isn't adding up properly, and so who knows? Maybe that's the case, maybe that's not the case. Maybe each time you block, it actually takes, you know, 30 stamina or something. That was wild. A strange. Can some attacks bypass shields? Uh, I believe so, but I don't think he does that much damage. Well, maybe he does do that much damage. Maybe he does do that much damage. Again, this is the reason why we're doing a uh, an, a learning and rating playthrough this time. And we'll do our Iron Man playthrough next time. We've already died a couple of times this playthrough. Because <laughs> we gotta learn we gotta relearn all this. Because combat's so different now. Uh, or at least the way I need to approach combat is so different now. We can't just run and tank it and keep on going. I'll take all this back. Alright, Mr. Man. But yeah, you can uh, lock on is uh, still still active in PvP. It might be the big heavy swings that he does there that bypasses shields a lot. Watch it. Watch it. Nope. Swim away! And a step. Oh, I missed him. Where are you? There we go, okay. Hey, he's got some iron on him. Nice. He's actually got a black hand vest, too. I'll take all this, really. A black hand vest is actually going to be better. Light armor. No, that's not. Medium armor. We don't get any bonuses for it, but it is medium armor, so. It's better than what we currently got. Um, let's go with the axe. Grab some more hides. Hide some bone. And 12 separate legs, because, you know. Wait, what? Does anyone know what that yellow border is? I know that they changed the way the, like, legendary uh, and epic stuff's done, but why does a severed leg have a yellow around it? Does it mean gross? I don't know. Alright, we'll be back here to pick up some brawls a little later. Right now, we just gotta clear these guys out so we can go and get some iron. Right. Ooh, purified water. Always a fan of getting some purified water. I don't know why I didn't pull that other guy apart. I should pull them apart and get the hides. I didn't bring my skinning knife with me. Which was a mistake, but so it goes. Ahoy there! No one's got any bows. Oh, we're not 
involved. Yeah, we'll take... Well, no, we don't want to take everything with us because we're going to have carrying capacity issues, I imagine. All right. Time to stock ourselves up with a whole host of iron so we can start getting a lot of equipment. A lot of upgrades around the base done. A lot of things are going to require iron. But iron is also, at low levels, a really good way to level up. You I mean, just look at how fast our experience is going up just by standing here. We're already over encumbered. Uh, we might just make a little box somewhere and do a little drop off. You see, iron is iron's pretty good for leveling. At least at the start. It's not so good later on, but it's the very start here. Okay, so even after dropping all... <laughs> wow, okay. Even after dropping all that, we can drop all the stone. We can drop all the hide, I guess. We can drop the armor. Sure. We can drop... <laughs> Okay, we can drop the the lamp I've done. Okay, there we go. Good enough for me. Stone's so easy to come by, I'm not worried about it. I'd rather not walk back to ha to our house super slow. <laughs> that does not sound like fun at all. Let's go ahead and eat up. Oh, we're level 15. Yeah, now that we're level 15. I don't know, level 15, we can unlock new and improved things. There we go. Like the Fireball Cauldron, so we can go ahead and we can now make some potions. So we can make proper aloe extract. Um, stone solid. it. We can start... Oh, we can actually make the Steel Fire. So Brimstone Collection is actually worth grabbing now. That's good. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll unlock Iron Skinning, because that's going to be good to have. We'll unlock Bonfire, because we're going to need that for later... Um, iron pike, iron tree making. We need those right now. The kopesh is good, but oh, I'm happy with what we have. Uh, we'll get the healing ramps. Costs four, but it's it's a good one to get. Let's see, steel tools is level thirty. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. So we can. Where do we go? Where do we? Oh, we're down below our base. Um. So we can go ahead and we can start making steel fire. 15 levels before we can actually use it to make steel tools. Weirdly enough. That's fine. Means we can at least start stockpiling, so that's, that's good. Right, good. No crocodile in our house. Thank goodness. So we'll put a snack in here. And we'll put the leftover bits in here. Let's go ahead and dump off. Here. Here, if our water goes to the snack box. Here, perfect 60, so that should be enough. Put them to snack box. Right, leathers. Alright. Leather, some more iron. Uh, we can get a medium helm. And the chest piece is the same 59 armor. It's the same 59 armor. But it'll also give us carrying capacity, so we still want to make it. it. Gives us 15 more carrying capacity. So it's still worth grabbing. Even though it's the exact same, and even though if we just use what we have right now, it saves us on costing us materials, we still want to grab it, because it does give us more weight that we can run around with. Which is super important at low levels. It's <laughs> super important at these low levels. We'll take the hat, and we'll take the best piece, the harness, We'll go ahead and we'll put these on. Oh. Full medium set. Perfect. And this is almost a full medium uh, a full base set of light for one medium. We can use later, but for now, that is fine. Alright, there's nothing else we need to build in here for the moment. So we're going back to pools. Skinning knife. A butching cleaver for the next things we want to grab. Nice. 51. 51. Alright, now we're talking. Now we got plenty, plenty of iron. Now we can start making whatever we need. So we'll go ahead and make these. Uh, food, something we're going to start playing with. So let's go ahead and. Can we actually fit a cooking station in here? We can. 
We just need the stone in the wood. It does look like that does fit. I didn't think it was going to. Perfect. Okay. Well, in that case, keep this wood for now. Always grab more if we need to. And now we can go ahead and we can make some snacks. Pick that up. We only had seven food left on hand, so that's good. We don't have to worry about that. Grab these bad boys. We'll carry them with us. Uh, the construction hammer's fine for now. Drop the rat. We can at least keep the skinning knife on us. The butcher's cleaver, we don't have to worry too much about. Uh, we'll leave it in our tools chest. This thing out, aren't we? Okay, so that's a tool, that's a tool, these are tools, that's be a tool. All right, perfect. Uh, how much space do we have in our dump chest? Like, none. Okay. Uh, these are still tools, so we can drop those there. I can put the armor's bench. This technically is snack, so we'll technically put it in the snack chest. Not like we're gonna eat it, but we'll let it decay into putrid meat. That's fine. Technically a snack, though. These are back in the tool chest. I uh, will leave these as tools as well. In the snack chest. Which space stuff in the chest? Perfect. Just enough. Barely do it. Excellent. Okay. Uh, we'll take these back. We'll just carry them on us. We got we can swap out later. I don't have enough space to put in the alchemy table and whatnot right now. But we can make them. We can just stuff it in the middle for now. Alchemy, we need iron, wood, stone. Okay, we can do that. Wood, stone, and iron. Do we just put this... There for now. Kinda works. It's fine. Alright, so now we can actually get ourselves some proper aloe extracts. So that's good. So, what is it? The dump chest, I think, is where we lift our aloe extract. Or aloe leaves, yeah. We'll take the aloe leaves, dump them in here, get us another eight of them. What else do we have in here? This yellow lotus. We can drop the yellow lotus in here. So we can. Didn't they change? Yeah, they did change. Oh my goodness, no. Oh my goodness, what is this? Reset attributes? Okay, attributes requires blood, so that's not, that's not too hard to get. We want to reset our knowledge, so we have to go get... Oh no, it's bone meal. I thought it was ash. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, I got worried. I got worried there for a moment. I was like, oh no, do we have to go and get ash to do this? That's crazy. Oh, goodness. There you go. Um, we'll get these. We'll swap this out. Stable into using this extract. We'll leave this weak one in here for now. How's it going, War Hunter? Welcome back. Yes, it is Conan time. It is indeed. We're learning how all of the changes in the... Uh, all the changes to this game has uh, really affected my playstyle. We're struggling a little bit. We've died twice. So I'm glad we're not doing an Iron Man playthrough quite yet. But I am looking forward to doing an Iron Man playthrough once we better understand the changes that were made. We'll get there. Alright, so we're going to need Iron Reinforcements starting to stock up at some point here. Um, but we're also going to need some iron for steel production too. So, we're going to have to look at that. Alright, we're still level 16. Can't do too much yet. What do we care about moving on to next? Weapons are fine. Enemy's fine. Okay, let's go... Let's do some thralling. Let's figure out... Let's figure out this whole thralling business, yeah? Let's figure out what we need for this. We need leather. We need twine. We need wood. That'll give us a truncheon. No, that's not it at all. Alright, you can keep the you can keep the point. I'm gonna stop you. You just spent 15 minutes looking for a jug? What happened? You just put it in the wrong place? Some fiber. Grab some branches. We should probably expand the base a little bit here first, real quick. 
Uh, but yeah, we need some branches. We'll take them out of here. I don't know how many we need, so we'll just make 20. Go. Nope. So that's done. Nope, oh, that's back. Five. Uh, we're gonna get grit. <laughs> I mean, having low health is one thing, but having low stamina is very painful. That gives us three more stamina, and eventually it'll level us up to the point in which we have. Uh, so it's three stamina times five, which will be fifteen stamina plus twenty. So we'll have thirty-five bonus stamina. We're getting five points in here, plus forty extra armor, which is pretty big because we're running at one seventy-seven. So forty's forty's a good amount. It's what. 23% armor increase. Didn't know where they put the jug. Ah. They hid it from you. You're not, a, not allowed to use it. Leathers. Alright. Uh, can we? Companions, thrall wheel. We need twine, iron, and wood. To get the thrall wheel online. Now, how do we want to deal with the thrall wheel? What's our plan? Am I going to just add it to the base? We're going to put it on top? We need more space. The space is too cramped already. We're already having base issues. Maybe we build off this already. Do we have the materials we need to get that done? Building materials are the box is already empty. Okay. Close that door, please. All right, let's go ahead and let's grab some more wood. We'll grab some more stone. And we'll go ahead and we'll start building an addition to the base already. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to build a little sleeping quarters so we can move that out of the way. And we move the kitchen over there too. Enemy dancers now use axes, swords, and pikes. They no longer use daggers. Yeah, that threw me for a loop. The other thing is that they're not called entertainers anymore. They're called dancers. I like, ran up to one and I was like, ah, this dancer, he'll have a dagger. Which is a little bit of a pain because, you know, with our health and whatnot. And he pulls out a sword and I'm like, oh, what? And then that's when I realized I said dancer instead of entertainer, because they now are classified as uh, as dancers, not entertainers. Which I think is very interesting. But they took this long to change the name from entertainer to dancer. When they, they've been dancing the whole time, ever since they were added to the game. <laughs> Some stone. Don't need nearly as much stone as we need the wood, because again, we're playing with flotsam. Alright. Perfect. Let's go ahead and extend the base. So originally I was thinking of like making a courtyard or something here, but again, this is our just starter base. This is not going to be the final location. We'll end up moving. We'll most definitely end up moving at some point here. Actually, let's drop this one here. We'll just have this extra, extra bit here. And what is that? One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So we can go ahead and maybe make a tower here. Do a little tower. We can do that. Wedge. Um. That'd be way too small if we did it that way. Do a wedge. Get around. No. Nope. Can't really do it. There's not enough space. If we backed this off, maybe we could. Maybe, maybe we change... You know what? Maybe we make this aesthetically pleasing. Maybe we make this a nice little base, yeah? It's a nice little base. That's right. This is five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so we can go off here. We build this out. I don't know how wide of a... I guess we just do a one one set. We don't go two out. Just make this a nice little nice little tower. 
like so, as opposed to going... Because we could try and push this one further, but I don't know... If, yeah, I don't know if you have enough building space. Well, I can go one further here. I don't know if you can go there, though. Oh, we'll see in a second. But I think this is as close as we can get. Yeah, we, we can't get that spot. <laughs> there's, there's not enough... There's not enough... Uh, foundation for us to work off of. Well, we can now. How would I have done that? Good. I think we won't, though. I think it's fine. It's good enough for a little house. We're just, we're just gonna put a little... Or put our bedroom in here, and maybe we'll put our kitchen in here, too. to store this out in the way. Give more space in the big old crafting room. Yeah, it's gonna look weird being the wrong direction, but it is what it is. Yeah, uh, I just realized something. That... <laughs> We're kind of we're kind of raised here. What? How did that happen? How do we end up being raised? What? Some sort of raised platform. Very bizarre. Grab this coin. That way, so we can just get the door in. Huh. Uh, well, that's awkward. I should have realized when the walls weren't quite right that something was off. Yes, yeah, something doesn't quite look right, huh? Let's try this again. One, two. Come on now. Let's spin it around. Go. Perfect. Alright, so now it should be the right height. I don't know what happened there. Very bizarre. That, yeah, that that looks a whole lot better. That looks a whole lot better. Go. Tower setup. Much better. What I'm going to do is we're going to go three high. Jeez, the sun is so bright. Go three high here. Alright, perfect. So we come in here, and then we're gonna want some stairs. Jar here. Uh, here's snarling alligators again. Making snarling noises. It's this and this. Here's the second floor. Wedges on. The first person, just so we can see a little better. Perfect. We just need to get the ceiling. <laughs> Toss that. We're not using that. There we go. And then just wedges for the center. Wedge. Wedge. So we should be able to get, yeah, we can get up and down in here. Perfect. Downstairs, upstairs. And in the upstairs, we can add ourselves a door right here. And we can go ahead and, do we have roofs unlocked? Yeah. 
sort out roofing. At least we can get this done with doors. Oh, there we go. Nice. Uh, sloped roof. This one, right? There. See, I'm on a wedge, so we'll put this one here. Nope. Oh, come on. Cooperate, please. There we go. Fiber. We'll grab more fiber here. We'll rearrange everything we have in here. Oh, please don't run. I'm just trying to jump over things. Please don't run. We'll rearrange everything here, but we're going to get this nice little tower set up on the side. This should make it nice and pretty. Or at least nicer and prettier. <laughs> Make it look a little bit better. Not just a big old square. Still, we're going to want to build something much nicer later. But it doesn't hurt to at least get this set up. Start. I'm waiting on all the uh, the iron to smelt and the like, regardless. So that's good. And we get experience for building. That's good. Just barely... Oh, barely had enough stamina to get up. Excellent. Right, up stasis. Oh, and back down we go. There we go. Let's get more of these online. We need one here and one there. Here and one here. And use the wedge sloped ones. Perfect. Oh boy. Uh oh, careful now. Careful now. Oh, I don't know where we are. My <laughs> game. Perfect. Get some wedges up here. I can stand. Beautiful. Cute little roof. Uh, wedge. Slip wedges. Oh, come on. <laughs> Close. Five fiber off. <laughs> we almost had it. Almost had it. Oh, you know, we should really go and build a sickle. That's what I should do. Be good. That's all we needed. We only needed five. Done. Yeah, the hard part with Flotsam is uh, you can see where all the ceiling tiles are because they kind of stick through the... <laughs> I kind of stick through the walls, you know? Not really the best, because then people can kind of decide on where they want to put stuff to blow up your base, but yeah, it's, it's fine. It's only flotsam. Done. There we go. Completed. So now we have upstairs if we want to go and build off upstairs. But let's jump down here. I think we can get a wheel of pain in here. So our objective is to get a wheel of pain in there. Okay, so you. I'm move this bedroll. Upstairs. We'll get a proper bed at some point, but we can put the bedroll here for now. Perfect. Oh, don't move that. Put the box over here. Move the alchemy station there. So now we can walk through. There's just space. Uh, building materials. Uh, we'll just move building materials to like right. Yes. We can still access what we need to. That's fine. So this works. We can leave this as is. We'll need to probably move that once we get the fireball cauldron set up. That'll make that nicer. But I'm trying to think, is there anything else in this side we want to put? I mean, we'll get a stove eventually. But again, this will turn into an outpost once we end up getting into tier 2 and tier 3 buildings. Big sneezes. All right. What are the normal rating hours on PvP servers? Normal rating hours on PvP servers is 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. local time. 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. local time is the regular rating time on on the, the on the servers. All right. So we need 50 and we need 20 more. Nope. You have 20 in here. Yeah, we do. I was going to take some. 
Alright, I guess that's fine. We'll take it all. Uh, we'll take all the iron. Can I get a wheel of pain here? Usually we'd be able to get it in the center here. I was just wondering if we can. We might not be able to, in which case we'll stick it upstairs. Oh, we can. Comes down to where the access point is, it looks like. Get a little further away. That's good enough for me. Perfect. <laughs> Wheel of pain put in place. Every every day. Every single day. Not a, yeah. Monday through Sunday. Every single day. Raid hours are every day. You're not safe on the weekdays. Nope, nope. Alright, uh, let's go back to the dump chest. We do need to do the Sundering enemy, huh? So I guess, hold on to this. Let's go cloth someone's face. Knock them in the jaw. Building materials, dump you off here, dump you off here. We'll go ahead and drop this off for burning. Put this in here, because why not? Uh, we're going to need a carpenter's table. I can build that later. I guess instead. Put off in here. Put off in here. Uh, tanners, you can turn this into wine. Drop off this fiber for now. That fiber. Drop off the bugs, because they count as food. And we'll drop off the old cleaver and likes as tools. Ah, we need bindings. That's what we still need. We still need bindings. Bindings. Perfect. Alright. Let's go see if we can grab someone. Oh, actually, before we do, do we have any other fiber lying around? Or am I carrying all six of the fiber we have? Yeah, okay, let's get a single. This is ridiculous. We need a single. But we're going to get a sickle. We'll grab uh, some more fiber. We'll get some gruel cooking. And then we'll go grab a thrall or two. Well, really, we can only get one, can't we? So we'll get a Taskmaster thrall since that's the most important. Well. Do we want a Taskmaster Thrall, or do we want to get a Fighter Thrall? Someone that can actually fight with us. I think I'm just going to grab a Taskmaster Thrall, because that'll speed up the rate at which we can get other Thralls later. I think that's important. Alright. The base is already looking better. I'm not... You know, gorgeous or anything, but it is flotsam. But it does look better. Oh, what are the challenges we gotta do? Feathers, dogs, hops, crystals, and dragon powder. <laughs> I've been making dragon powder for a while. Uh, we could go get feathers. That's something we could do. Dogs in the desert aren't anywhere near us. That's not an easy one. Lift up the chest. Here we go. Oh, we did have some fiber in here. That's fine. We need a bunch of gruel regardless. Get that going. Alright. Good to go. I guess I should grab some water before we go anywhere else. Yeah, we can go try and... Oh, one, of, one of them was crystal, right? Not that one. Wrong hot key. Uh, Harvest crystal. We can go do that. We can go to Hanuman's Grotto. Pick that up. I want to start doing some of the battle pass at some point here. Do we shake him? We shook him. The enemies don't really follow us as much as they used to. Either that or the AI is just having a real rough day. Yeah, look at the deer. Little baby deers. Alright, who are you? Whoa! A tier 4 smelter? I have to help her. Where? Why is a tier four smelter here? What? Someone was clearly trying to take her, though. Got some health damage. Oh no, she's fighting a. Okay, let's have a reset real quick. If we can get a tier four smelter, that would be huge. Oh, she's fighting. I just want to make sure she doesn't die while she's fighting things. Let her reset. And if she can start healing. I don't know if we're gonna be able to knock out a two-four smelter. <laughs> gonna be honest. <laughs> we're gonna 
We're going to try, but I don't have a lot of trust that we'll be able to do it. Oh yeah, the rest of the thralls were missing. Someone else is trying to thrall her. Can we steal her from underneath her, their nose? Oh, we can definitely take her. If, so long as, I'm, as long as I'm safe about it, we can definitely take her. Look at how that damage is done. The knockout damage above her uh, health bar. We can take her. We can definitely take her. Oh, this would be huge. She would really tie up our thrall wheel for a whole day, though, but a tier 4 smelter would be massive. So someone else is definitely coming for her, so we just need to be fast about this. I'm worried another player is going to show up and try and kill us so that they can take her. Because this is, this is good. This is going to make it so much faster for us to get all of our metals smelted. So much faster. I was going to come here just to go and pick up the Taskmaster Tier 1 Thrall that usually spawns here. Well, that hurt. Out of the way. So, actually, this is really nice. So, a change that's been made is that the Truncheon doesn't do one damage per hit. It used to be that it would do knockout damage plus one damage per hit, and it does none of that one damage per hit now. This is a very nice change. It's a very nice change, because too many times, if you guys can recall, we would be trying to thrall someone, and we're a little too low level to be able to do the knockout damage. And so we'd end up actually killing them from one damage per hit, before we ended up knocking them out from concussive damage. So this is really nice. One, two, three, dodge and strafe. One, two, three. She didn't fall through the floor, which is huge. Oh, she's almost fallen through the floor. Quickly. Quickly. <laughs> Luckily, she had a big head. She didn't manage to fall through the floor because of her big head. All right, let's get out of here quickly before anyone finds out where we're dragging her to. We gotta go. We gotta go right now. Oh my goodness, this is a huge catch. This is a huge catch. We're gonna have to put another thrall wheel down because this is gonna last, what? Your four thralls take what 25 hours to tame without a taskmaster so this is going to take a while but this is still huge nonetheless oh my goodness this is amazing yeah someone might have gotten ko'd trying to get her yeah because the other two thralls that are normally there are missing they're just not there and so i have a sneaking suspicion that someone was trying to thrall her and died I didn't see their body anywhere, but we're, we're going to get her on the wheel. They uh, seem to break faster on wheel now than before. Really? Well, that's nice. I mean, I imagine it's still going to take hours to go and convert a tier four. So we'll go ahead and we'll make another, we'll make another thrall wheel. 50 of these bad boys. Pop off this snack chest. I need... 50 twine. Wow, I actually have no twine. Okay. Hmm. I'll take this. Let me make more twine. Uh, I'll get you to go for twine. That. Uh, what else is it? We needed iron. Uh, no, we need wood and stone. Start working on the upstairs then. Uh, I guess we can just move our bed. I guess we just move our bed right here. We can try and put it right there. Turns out our bedroom tower is actually going to be a thrall wheel tower. It wasn't the objective, but you know, if it ends up being what it ends up being, it just is what it is, yeah? But a find at any level? Yeah, at level... What level are we? Level 17, getting a tier 4 smelter. I mean, there are other, sm there are other tier 4 uh, thralls we would rather have, right? Like a, a blacksmith, an armorer, the, either of those would be huge. A taskmaster would be massive, because then we could get all of our other... I'm going to get more highs. We could get all of our other upcoming thralls done significantly faster as well. 
But that's fine. It is what it is. We'll take what we can take. Just need four more. I guess I'll pour some tea while we wait for the wine to be made. Perfect. Got some more tea on hand now. Plenty of twine. Excellent. Where's my construction hammer? The other thing that's uh, good is that we almost... Oh, jeez, it's great. Uh, we almost ran out of durability on our... our truncheon as well. Overlapping the spawn area. Okay. If I can move this... I was going to say, can I put that there? Can I put this here? Okay, so can just put that downstairs then. Ah, not enough wood. But we can get it in there. We can put it there. We just need more wood. A little more wood. Here we go. Um, and then once we get this set up, we'll go jump back over there and see if we can find that Taskmaster Thrall, because that's the other one we really want. Because if we can get that Taskmaster Thrall, train the Taskmaster Thrall in, you know, like an hour, I think it takes an hour and a half, maybe, for Tier 1, or at least it used to. I don't know what the what it is with the change now. But we get the Taskmaster Thrall done in an hour and change, and then we can go and put that Tier 1 Taskmaster uh, to work, working on her. And that'll at least shave off a handful of hours off of her being converted. That's good. Right. Oh, there was. Just as I gave up, we had it. Come on. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's go and get this truncheon repaired. Let's go and get this fiber bindings repaired. Let's go track down a taskmaster. Yeah. Alrighty, we need some leather. So here for a repair. Ah, okay, well, we'll just take four of you. We'll be on our merry way. Alright. Grab a little bit of fiber, and we'll be able to repair this in the bindings. You and you. It's four... Or go ahead and repair and repair. I have not respawned yet. That's just wild that that was it's just right there on our doorstep. Look at this. Is this a thralling room? No, what is this? <laughs> just a little two by two shack. Anything in that box? I don't want. I don't want. I just want. To, I want to slightly. No, I want to just barely climb it. I don't want to. I don't want to go up. Weird. Let's go. Come on, let me pull it through the window. Come on now. Target that through the window. Okay. Tried to steal the box through the window. Let me. Right, let's go check this big building over here. Is someone actively in here? This could be where that uh, the person who was thralling over there was. No, we've already been here before. This one's already broken into. This is a tier 2 building. We already inspected. We should go get some more iron. Yeah, this is books. Book space. We've got tier 2... Yeah, improved. A whole bunch of improved buildings. Okay. Uh, how's our current capacity going? What are we dealing with? Just basic stuff with the drops. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll swap this out. Drop this off for now. We'll put this... Okay. 
Yeah, do that one more thing. That's really weird that you can't take something off of your... Like, you can't add something to your hotbar while swimming. I guess, you, I guess it kind of makes sense. Imagine trying to rummage through your backpack while you're swimming, but like... Okay, we can drop these if we need to. We don't have to hold on to those. So let's go ahead and let's try and grab some brimstone. This might be a bit of a tough fight for us to go do. Might be a bit of a tough fight for us. There's some building over here. We're going to have to check this out. But let's go try and grab some brimstone. That'll help us level up super fast. And we can use that to make some steel fire as well. Who's this? Oh my goodness, hello and welcome, Raiders! Hello and welcome, Smokey G. How are you doing today? How was your stream? Hopefully it was a good one. We're currently roaming around, and we're going to try and pick up some brimstone, but I'm still, still trying to acclimate to the difficulty of combat. We are very much a glass cannon all of a sudden. I'm not used to it. Not used to it. I'm, I'm usually just blasting things down and not really worrying about my health, but can't do that anymore. Alright, this guy only does 20 damage. That's not too bad. There we go. I don't know if there's anything we're really going to do with spiders. We'll take some Ichor and some Titan, but... The Chitin. So, for the brimstone, I'd rather go into this one than that one. Also, also, we can get some bloodstone if we need, uh, blood crystal if we needed to. Either way, we just need to go and level up a bit. So, I think we'll try and... You picked the wrong camp, mate. Oh, are you sure about that, sir? <laughs> Definitely pick, picked the uh, wrong approach to attacking from for the rocks. Goodness. Ow. Yeah, we... I really don't think I can fight 2v1 right now. You back off, sir. All that. Spiders. Oh, wow, look, hold on a second. What is this? Whoa, hold on a second. We've got a massive blueprint set up over here. They've got walls that they've begun. Wow, this feels like... Wait, am I building this? This looks like what I did. You remember when I built the base over here like this? And I started with the structure exactly like this, just over there instead? This feels almost exactly like when I was building this. It's amazing. Who lives here? What is this? Me, Noob Noob? Aw, perfect. Okay. Okay, Rafiki, don't you worry. I don't know what's going on with these walls here, buddy. Um... But yeah, what's going on here? So we're gonna get hard sidetracked from what we were doing before. He's kind of just claimed this whole area and starting to build stuff, but he doesn't actually have a house here yet. You know, I'm not always a big fan of just like blanketing bricks all over the place. I kind of like having the ground, if you can use it. Like courtyards and the like, just looks nicer. Is this also Rafiki's or who is this? No. Bat Squad. Right. Nice. It's uh, entrance to nowhere. Thought Slayers. Wait a second. This is completely different from Rafiki. Thought Slayers. Thought Slayers was here an hour and a half ago. Okay. So I guess they're still working on this. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. Let's at least take a quick peek in and see what Rafiki's doing over here. I do like the, the little work he's done with the table. Looks good. I do like that he's being very, uh, very upfront about everything. Oh, yeah, here he is. He's sleeping on the floor down there. Underneath the bed. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I believe him. He looks, he looks like a noob to me. 
I mean, I say as I build the exact same structure every now and then. Let's see, what's on the top floor? He's got an air. He's got an anvil up there, so he's got a blacksmith up here. Oh. I don't think there's much up there. Okay. Well, back on to the main task. Punch some meat. Let's kill some spiders. We need to go get ourselves some brimstone. It's going to be our first brimstone run. We're going to have to be careful about it, because again, these things hit hard. I have to get used to the combat here. Oh, a tier, a tier three fighter. Oh, hello, spider. Luckily, the AI still does seem to be doing its own thing. Okay, the hardest part I think when it comes to fighting going forward is going to be when the NPCs have their immune to stagger active, right? Where. The moment they start an attack animation, they're immune to being staggered, so regardless of you doing damage to them or not, you're still going to take damage. I think that's going to be the hardest part about fighting going forward, since they hit so hard now. Oof. Those are pretty nice. We do need hide. Uh, let's see here. Fuck you. Fuck you. Bone. Arrows. I'm not going to use the warp paint. We'll hold on to the bricks. Kind of saves us some time, but we'll probably drop them as we go for brimstone, because we really do want to grab as much brimstone as we can here. It's going to give us a good boost to our levels. We'll just uh, light attack these guys so we can get more attacks in. Get out of the way. Actually, we might be able to get another attribute. Oh my goodness, how many spikes? <laughs> How many spiders are there? Or we're gonna stop locking on. It definitely feels a little janky right now. I don't know if there's like a lag thing going on right now, but. Gained a level, good. Ow. At least the spiders don't hit too hard, so that's good. That's good. We'll go ahead and we'll use this while we go ahead and grab two levels. Perfect. Okay. Two more levels of grit. Two more levels in grit, and then we'll swap over to getting health. So boy, we need health. But more stamina regen is going to be nice. More stamina than total is going to be nice. And once we get the tenacity for the 20 extra stamina and 40 extra armor, that's going to be really nice. That'll be very grand. Oh my goodness, it's a lot of spiders in there, and it's very dark. Oh no, it's just two spiders. I thought it was four spiders. There we go. Nice. Perfect. Alright, Brimstone, here we go. As you can see, our, our experience bar above our health bar there... Oh, hello. Uh, you can see that Brimstone is just such a great source of experience at low levels. While you're still grabbing something you need to grab anyway, you're going to have to farm this at some point anyway. Ow. How many spiders are there? There's just infinite spiders down here, huh? One more. Okay. Jeez. Calm down, spiders. Did we get a little brighter in here? There we go. Like, where, where's our where's our cave vision? What's going on? I can't see anything. I hear the combat music, but they haven't attacked us yet. We are getting close on weight, so we're gonna drop the stone in the wood here. We really only care about getting the brimstone. Once we kill this spider, we'll level again. We <laughs> only have one stamina to do that. Hey, we've unlocked the birth of a journey. Nice. Perfect. Means we're level 20. Great right, attributes. Final two into grit. So now we have tenacity. So more stamina. So now we have 135. An extra 40 armor. Which gives us a wow! Our state, oh, wow! Our damage reduction is thirty-three percent now. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I will definitely take that. Uh, we don't need this all running around out here, so we'll we might as well get this warrior journey step done. Let's go and sunder someone with this stone mace I've got, and then we can chuck the stone. Carry it anymore. So we'll grab another spider and we'll come back to this. There's also iron here too, so we'll grab that iron over here. 
We're gonna need a lot of iron. Because we're just starting out. Sundered! Craft a stone pipe. Really? Okay. So I, can, I guess I can do that. Oh, we probably need to go pick up the wood. Oh no, we need branches for that, don't we? We'll have to do that once we leave. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Missing him. There we go. Sit down, spider. Okay, yeah, that extra stamina is really nice. This entire extra two hits. That's really good. That stamina boost is very good. Uh, let's actually use the iron sickle here. Let's go pick up some uh, some spider silk. Let's get some gossamer. We don't get a lot of gossamer since we're using iron, but it's still good. We'll get to go pick up that gossamer while we're here. We'll need it eventually. All right. Nice. A little bit of salt also useful. Getting them levels in. Pick up this iron over here. Does not hurt to get some more iron on hand. I mean, actually, we're probably close to, but not quite emptied out on the iron that we have in the smelter right now. We're over and comfortable. We'll just drop the stone. We should be still be fine. Oh, no, we're not. Our black hand boots are worse than our regular medium boots. We'll drop those. Uh, branches will drop those. Actually, Give me those branches back. Give me that stone back. Wait a second, I can make it. I can make a pike, can't I? Spear, pike. Oh, not eight of them. <laughs> I don't need that many. I need one. There we go. Crafted a pike. Okay, now what do we need to do? Triple an enemy using the pike. Okay, we can do that. Now we'll drop the stone. Now we'll drop the, the sticks. Uh, we'll drop the meat. Yeah, that's not going to give us what we need. That's fine. We'll drop. We'll drop that stone. Brimstone we're picking up more importantly because of leveling than for anything else, really, realistically. All right, we got ourselves a pike. Where is it? Ah, there he is. In the wall. There we go. We got him. And he got out of the wall, too. Multiple journeys unlocked. Excellent. Go ahead and chuck this. Go to journeys. Go to reward. Soldier journey. We want to get these because these are actually pretty good. Unlocking the uh, the sharpened, and then the next one, which is the. We get ten in strength for that. Yikes! We have to wear heavy armor. That's gonna be a bit till we get to do this one. We can easily do this, but it's gonna be a bit till we do. Let's get Alchemist going. That'll be our next one. Alchemist will be a good one. We're gonna be working on that next anyway. We want to get more alloy extract. Cumbered. Again, iron is still more important. We'll grab the iron. Uh oh, now we're in trouble. Right, that's fine. It's good enough. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we still got some more brimstone. I just want to keep leveling out of this because we can get more. We can get much more uh, advanced. If we keep leveling. We are definitely hitting harder. This is good. Attributes. We'll start putting our points in vitality. We'll get five points of vitality, and then we'll go and get the ten points in strength. Brimstone. We're over encumbered again. Oh, no, we're not. Okay, perfect. Well, we're out of here, then. Let's get going. Let's go while the getting's still good. We can always come back for more. Again, the brimstone wasn't the most important thing we were picking up. It's the experience we get from brimstone and some brimstone. Just because we need to get started. Just because we need to get started. We're going to take the long way around because we haven't actually checked down here at the Defari camp and through this cave to see if there's anyone that's built in this area. Oh! This is why it's important to look up. I'm very glad we're not building around here. Yikes. <laughs> there's a big base up here. That marked. We'll go up there and we'll check them later. <laughs> Here's it. That is that is not a small base. That is a big base up there. Holy. 
Still to keep an eye out on them. Yeah, I don't see them building the Defari. Yeah, they just built across the entirety of it. They filled. In, they even filled in the bridge. Wow. All right. Did you have a bear thrall over here? I would love to go and kill a bear thrall with some alchemical paste or uh, base. Oh, there's a dancer over here. You know what? I would love to bring a dancer back with me. We couldn't get the taskmaster. I'd love to get a dancer. It's a dancer too. Zamorian dancer too. Perfect. I'm sold. All right, let's go climb up here real quick. Let her reset. Don't poke me. We'll do it. You, you, perhaps. Just have a pipe, which might might make life a little tough. Get the bars. Uh, drop. <laughs> Good enough. Done. I'll sneak up on her here. Oh, there's a second dancer though. I wish we could see what tier dancer that is. Dear Dancer, is that? Let's go find out. We're gonna run in and run out. What Dear Dancer are you? That's an archer. I thought that was a dancer. Where are you? You're fighter one. You're fighter one. Fighter two. Archer three. That's probably a blacksmith. Not carpenter one. Get off the pole. I thought that was a dancer. Why did I think she was a dancer? I thought I saw dancing pants. Are you tan or two? Okay. All right. There's that. Uh, there's that bear thrall. I would like to fight the bear thrall and take them down. What level are they? Bear two. Not the best. Not the best, but fine. I need some water anyway. So I'm down here real quick. Sell some water. There we go. Oh no, I picked up a, I picked up a single rock. No! Put the rock down quickly. Accidentally picking up rocks while trying to drink water. Get a rock, like I swallow a rock. <laughs> I'm just like wrapping handfuls of water. <laughs> Instantly become overweight because I swallow a rock. Oh no. Oh jeez, okay. Uh, we gotta back up. Oh, they hit so hard now. You have 33% damage reduction. <laughs> it's so hard. Holy. Alright. Looks like we finished leashing him. Nope. Oh, that was close. Oh, of course the archers are the ones that are still following. Oh, no. Okay. Quick swing here. Okay. Right. I understand why she's chasing me. I did, I did assume that she was a dancer, and she most certainly was not. Wow, you outrun them when they're, coming, when they're running back. Crazy. Go ahead and take her down real quick. Oh, there's that bear. Uh-oh. Do not get caught in here. Oh, she's still retreating. Interesting. Uh-oh. Let me unlock. Ooh. Back it up. Okay, so ideally we save the performer here. We kill the bear as well. So our aims are... Or very, very specific pokes. Very accurate. Very specific pokes. It's not a tier 3 bear thrall, so we're not gonna. Oh, jeez, ow. This sounds quite a lot, actually. It's not a tier 3 bear thrall, so we aren't gonna get any alchemical paste out of it. We might still get some other stuff, though. Okay, come on. Focus. Oh, back up. Nice. <laughs> Your heart will be eaten. I will devour your soul. <laughs> He's become demonic. <laughs> He's become demonic. I'll beast upon you. Well, not when you're dead like that, big man. I would loot him and then go, but uh, can't because we're open comfort. So. Jump up here, have her reset. Oh, what can I drop from my inventory that we don't really... Ah, oh, that's fine. I've been carrying him for no good reason. Uh, feeling pelt, we don't use her anything. I'm not going to need him. I go. If her, I want to hold on to it. We're going to drop some brick stuff. 
All right, because I'm going to pick more brimstone. Okay. All righty. Eat up. And bandage up. Attributes. Oh, we did level up again. Another vitality. Perfect. <laughs> we could use more health. Each vitality is 10 hit points. So, that's, that's very good. All right, ma'am. Time for you to come with us. Two? Is it two or three? One, two, just two. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, she went for two. At least we stagger her, so that's good. Two. She only went for two. Oh, I whipped the first swing there. Two. Okay. Good so far. Oh, she kicked me! How dare you? Oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. Nice. Got him close. That's good. Oh, she's able to turn on an absolute dime. Nope. There we go. Okay. Alright. Performer acquired. Let's go. We couldn't get the Taskmaster, but we got a Performer. Performer is good for two reasons. One, he's going to be able to increase our healing while we're at home, so we heal up a little bit faster. Two, she'll help remove corruption from us when we end up getting corrupted by using sorcery, when we eventually start using sorcery. And from uh, if we go into places that are filled with corruption. And three, she's actually a fighter thrall. So she can actually run around with us and fight with us. So getting a tier two dancer is pretty good. I would have preferred a tier one just because then we could convert her even quicker. Because I am worried about, you know, I'm just going to take a couple hours to convert to a tier two. But I think it was like, what, 45 minutes for a tier one? So. Oh well. That's fine. Still better than nothing. I mean, the other option that we had over there was uh, a tier one fighter, which is, is fine and is technically better at fighting than the dancer is. But getting the healing and getting the, uh, getting both healing, corruption reduction, like those two, is, they're huge. Along top, uh, alongside of actually having the, uh, the ability to fight, it's good. All right, let's get back home. Been out for a long run. We'll go ahead and we'll build that fireball cauldron. We should have plenty of iron prepped and ready for us. Uh, we had we brought back a little bit of iron with us. We we dropped a lot of it off though. But we'll. We should have enough iron to get the Fireball Cauldron going. And then we'll start getting some Steel Fire prepped. We still aren't high enough level to use Steel Fire, though. Right, let's drop her off in there. We're going to grab some gruel out of yours. What? Uh, Liam, you are not kidding. They have, dr they have dramatically increased the speed of taming. Or of, you know, breaking thralls. We're halfway done. This normally means we're 12 and a half hours into the process of converting a tier 4 thrall. Yeah, they're fast now. Dead. What? <laughs> that is mind-blowing. I don't need this much gruel. I made way more gruel than I could ever need. You knew it was? Uh, you weren't imagining it? Yeah, you're... That's... That's incredible. Wow. Uh, I guess you don't really need Taskmasters anymore. Fastmasters are optional. I would like it then. I would okay. I would really like Funcom to go and make a change to Taskmasters, since Taskmasters reducing the time it takes to convert these thralls, being pretty inconsequential now, since it's what an hour or like at at most what three hours to convert a tier four. I think what we've been streaming for almost four hours. We got her an hour and a half ago, so I think it's three hours for a tier four. I think. Um. I would really like it if Funcom would take my suggestion and have it be that there is a new... Like, essentially, if that's the case, just... I guess you can leave this here or you can remove it. But create a new station, a training station, or like a, a training dummy, right? That you put down a training dummy, and you can you can put a thrall in there, and they'll be they'll be standing there, and they'll be, they'll be swinging at it and whatnot, practicing. And it gets them from level 1 to level 10. Not to level 20, but from 1 to 10. 
uh, and then you can have a, a, a Taskmaster Thrall used in that same slot to then increase the speed at which they level up or something like that. Right? Like, they gain one level per hour, and with a Taskmaster, it's they gain one level every, you know, tier one is every 45 minutes, tier two is every 30 minutes, tier three is every 15, I guess it'd be 40 minutes. Like, I don't know how you break it down. But have it where, like, it just, they level up faster. I think that'd be cool. Do something like that, because then they'd still be useful. Because right now, what am I getting a Taskmaster for? What, what do I need a Taskmaster for? I don't need a Taskmaster. Already building up Purge. It's going to be fun to take a look and see how the Purge works. No idea how the new Purge system works. That'll be fun to play with as well. Also, what did we get in the supply materials? Bones and Ironstone. Oh, yeah. Totally worth taking that guy down. That is huge. An entire stack of ironstone and a bunch of bones. Those bones will be useful. Definitely going to want them. Let's get a in here, too. Good. We need to go get... Let's, let's go and do a little hide run here real quick. Should we leave some of that? That's fine. Uh, drop these off. Put that off. That's down. We'll go and put with the tools. last put in here for now. We're not gonna, we can't throw anyone else right now. Our stations are full. I guess technically that'd be a tool, so we can put that in there. Alright. Uh, back to alchemy. We need wine. And we need iron. Let's go ahead and move our snack chest. Can I put my snack chest on the fire? I can. Nice. Perfect. There we go. Dump some brimstone in there for later. Actually, we might as well get that going. Uh, there's nothing else we need par for right now. Get the tar off. 174 steel we can produce so far. It's good. Uh, we'll set this iron in here. We might as well go ahead and get Self, a hundred iron reinforcements cooking. We're gonna need a lot of iron reinforcements down the line, regardless. So we might as well get that started. A box. Let's go ahead. That's technically building materials. So we'll take these out. Wine and building materials. Put the brick in. Perfect. And I need to. Oh yeah. Open up knocking the bench, of course. That was the thing we needed to do. Uh, harvest aloe leaves. Okay, we can go do that. Let's go ahead and get a sickle and a skinning knife out. Let's do some work with this. Because we're going to need to get a lot more hide. We're running low for us to get more leather. We just need to get a bunch of leather in hand. Where is some aloe? Well, saw some. Oh, they're back. I wonder if there are any good ones. If so, we'll have to go and set up another quick crawling spot. Is there any aloe in there? There it is. No, that's not aloe. Uh, why is there no aloe anywhere? Huh. I feel like someone ran through here and grabbed all the aloe. Okay. I just need to go and harvest a little bit of aloe. Ah, there's some. Maybe I was blind and I was passing some other ones, but there we go. Okay. So the Taskmaster is here. Tier 1. What else do we have? An Exile Tier 1 and a Carpenter Tier 1. Oh, jeez. Oh! Exiles are just very, very basic versions of fighters. Drink an aloe extract. We can do that now. <laughs> we got that in our inventory. Perfect. Potion, potion maker? I don't remember that journey. Claim that. 
potion maker. Oh yeah, we have to make elixirs. That's right. Are you still following me? Oh my goodness. Alright. Sorry, Taskmaster. It's a guaranteed Taskmaster spawn now, so I'm not worried. We'll find him again. Dried berries. Yeah, we need to hide. <laughs> Guess that's one way to get our hide. I can't believe they've... I thought... It seemed like a lot of the NPCs were returning back to base faster than normal, but that was the opposite. Also, man, we hit really hard. Wait, how much health does this thing have? 19? When did they bring down its health? These things used to be a nightmare to hunt. Because they had, like, 300 health or some, some nonsense. And so when you needed food and you're, like, early on in the game, it was a struggle and a half to get them. I'm here, you. I'm here, you. Oh my goodness. We have to anticipate where it's going. I can't reach it. <laughs> I can't get. Oh, these things are a nightmare. I can't. Can't get them. Oh my goodness. Hey, thanks for the resub. I really appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for using your Twitch Prime here. Three months. Oh, you got a brand new badge. Brown, you got a brand new badge. Nice. How's it going, Trizak? How are you doing today? Is this where the cool kids hang out? It's true. They do. Yeah, yeah. Trizak, how have you been? Long time no see. Hopefully life has, life has been treating you well. Get that going. Some racks. Let's add this little pile in here. Okay, sorry about you then. Cheerio. How dare you, Trizak? You're, you're one of the cool kids. Get in here. You're one of the cool kids. You're a fan of the long dark. I know you. You're good. Let's go with this. We need to get more horns. Oh, you know what? We can actually look at upgrading our armor, can't we? Yeah, we're level 22. We got 43. Okay, what can we do here? We can actually get tier... We can start working on tier 2 building, but we're not going to do that yet. That's It's premature for tier 2 building. We can't do that yet. We could do the treasury stuff, but we're not in a position for that. We won't wait until we actually build a, a proper constructed house for that. Uh, elevators we can do. Drying rack, we should probably get that unlocked. That's that's kind of critical. Kind of have to do it. Large chests. Yeah, I kind of have to do it. No slice can get too hard. Grinder, yep, got to get that one. Fisher, yep, got to get that one. We need those. They are required. Oh, we can start looking at getting better weapons than the one we're currently playing with. Because the one we're playing with right now only does, what, 14 damage? We can start looking at bigger ones. Uh, we're definitely going to go ahead and get the uh, the sav uh, Savage Armors. I love the Savage Armors. This The Savage Armors is my jam. We're going to go and make the Kombujin Armor set. My go-to set. I love this set. Requires Thick Hide, though. So we need an armorer, or we need to go kill some monkeys. Let's see. Um, I mean, killing monkeys isn't too bad. They're just right here. So what, one, two, three, four-ish grids away? It's not too bad. Um, or we can go up here, which is, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five grids away. The hardest part, like this one is a straight shot. We just follow the river here, then we get them. This one, on the other hand, we have to go up the river, and then up get over there. It's a little a little more roundabouty. Do that. Did this game get an update or did you just get the barbarian call again? Got another update. Game's gotten a brand new update. It is now the age of war. There's been a big update for combat and the like. Oh my gracious, look how fast they train. Alright, we'll we'll take her with us. We want to start training her up. Uh, in the meantime, Fireball Cauldron's working on our steel fire. Um, now once we get a press, we can make either of these whenever we need to, I guess. We're definitely going to want to start making regular human wraps. So this still says a potion that causes hallucinations and visions, but... I don't think it resets our stats anymore. 
Yeah, it doesn't have a decay timer. Oh, it gives us a stamina boost. Oh, that's amazing. Why didn't I run around with that earlier? Works for me. Now, where's our snack chest? Snack chest. Take all of the food-related things, including the human bits. But did it get a diplomacy or cultural victory update? No. Nothing, nothing like that. Wait, where did we get the ten glass flasks from? More parchment. Info. We do not need that. We toss that. It's in here. In here. We're gonna need bigger chests. We're gonna work on that in a moment here. Bunch of aloe. So if we can get some spare leather lying around, we really don't have a lot of spare leather right now. We actually need all this. We're going into the Kombujan armor set. Actually, no, we don't. Yeah, we do for the medium, medium padding. We need more medium padding. We need five of these. Five medium padding. Bed. Five on that. Perfect. All right, let's go and get some heavy hide. Let's go get that thick hide. Let's go do an adventure for it. We're going to get our kombucha armor set going. I want to get that as soon as we can. It gives us a boost to strength weapon damage, which is really, really good. Is there anything else we'd want before we go? We've got we got rough wraps. We've got five uh, aloe extracts. We've got plenty of food on hand. I think we're fine. We're going to do a quick run to go pick up some thick leather. We can do a quick run. Easy peasy. Also, this gives us the opportunity to see if anyone else is building in the jungle. We've only seen that one up there so far, which is technically in the jungle, but like barely. It's right on the edge. So I want to see if anyone else is being brave and building in the jungle. That'll be good to know. To determine if there are people we need to stay away from, or if there are others that we need to add to our raiding list. I'm no good. You're here for barbarian talking out their problems and comprehend. <laughs> compromising through trade deals and various sanctions. It, I do. I do still want there to be a trade system in this game. I think a trade system would be useful, right? If there was a neutral city, right? That uh, you know, except for Maru, uh, which had like little trader hubs that you could like put resources that you give to the invincible NPC that will be that is like willing to trade for X number of stuff, right? I think that'd be cool. Or rather, I would actually prefer it if it was like uh, players could go to Sephiroth, take their oh, that wait is that a? It's a base on the island. We talked about that being a decent spot to build a base because it would look really nice. And there you go. Someone's built here. Our part is you can't really close off the whole pop there because there's the NPC village on the other side, or the little encampment on the other side. We took what I was going to initially because we could pick up that cooking recipe. Let's check out this place. Yeah, you'd love to see some sort of economy slash trading system in the game. Especially now that the emphasis on gold and the like is even more so. Like, it's, it's more a thing than ever. It's been a thing so you can make alchemical base and the like in the past, but now it's like actually, it really matters. Blacksmith and a exile. That blacksmith is good, but again, can't take him with us, so. Down you go. I'll take that hide. What we came here for that was this, which gives us cooking specialization 10. Which is, a, which is a pretty good one. We like cooking specialization 10. It's cooking specialization 10 gives us uh, all the pork stuff. And also, you know, just in case someone needs a, a little uh, pick-me-up, right? So, a little extra. We didn't bring our cleaver, did we? No, we didn't bring our cleaver. Oh, this place got raided for sure. Burger Boys. C 
See, here's again the thing where it looks like it was raided, but there isn't any damage on anything. Hey, big guy. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that is some thick hide. We, we do not do damage. Wow, Burger Boys were going hard. Wow, we were setting up to build over here. What we kind of set. Wouldn't be able to destroy this and take over the place anytime soon, but... Yeah, these guys were clearly raided. And no scraps for the... No scraps for the lowly adventure. Don't mind me, I've got a friend just <laughs> sniffing my... Sniffing my toes right now. All right, buddy, come here. Tell me what you got. Yeah, having as much stamina as we do is really helping a lot. That looks weird. So many crafting yeah. stations, but on tier one structure or base. Yeah, so a lot of people do that in PvP servers, is they'll leave a lot of stuff on tier one base. The thought is that, you know, as a tier one structure, people aren't going to raid them. There's no, and you might as well go straight from tier one to tier three. That's kind of the thought process. However, because a lot of people do this, uh, it means a lot of people end up raiding sandstone bases because why would you not? Yeah, I would like to kill that guy, but he's just not worth our time. We've got better things to do. Yeah, this is a nice spot to build. Why is that half health? We might as well finish our job. Finish the job. Well, now? Yeah, because if you can go straight from tier 1 to tier 3, it just saves you with so many materials. Ooh, that was a close call. Almost got caught there. If we get caught during his charge, we're pretty much dead. Because he hits you multiple times during his charge. During that, he can hit you multiple times. Up. The cripple is really good. It gives us plenty of time to back up, to circle around him, and get all of our stamina back and hit him again. We don't have our butcher's cleaver though. Ooh, careful now. Got him. Let's get through these. Use an axe. Eh, we got some exclusive flesh out of it. Not as much as I'd like, but that's fine. Good enough. Alright, our goal is over here. Eat some meats. Passive health regen going here. Anyone else here? So that place is already. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I say as there's a base right here. So that base is already raided, so we can ignore that one. We don't need to add it to the map. This one might have been raided too. We didn't check this, the roof though. It was blown into. You can see that it was blown up the roof. We didn't check it. There were thrall wheels up there. A bunch of panthers here. We're gonna be careful. Oh, they're on us. Can I climb all the way up? I can. Daisies. Okay, mercenaries lives here. I don't even have a proper roof. Okay. Ah. Mercenaries. Mercenaries were on recently, nine hours ago. Mm. Alright. This base doesn't seem to have been raided. A little peek inside. Okay. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> well, I don't know what they're smelting, but they're smelting everything. That's for sure. Whatever they're smelting, it's a lot. Because they need... They look like ten furnaces. A 
Oh, awkward. Oh, not good. Oh, jeez, we just do not hit things here hard at all. Okay, fighting the the gorillas is gonna be tough, huh? Alright, I need that guy to go away. I wanna be able to see what's in the floor below. I need that panther to head on home for a minute. No points to spend. I can get three more in there, that'll be really good. Get that passive health regen. That panther is right there. Bunch of thrall wheels. Okay. Gotta run. So there's a whole bunch of smelters and a whole bunch of thrall wheels there. Interesting. Jeez, was that thing swimming with me? Okay. Man, the amount of panthers is nuts. Okay. Mercs there. Mark him as a potential for us to raid. Again, I'm too kind on these servers, on PvP servers. I'm usually not the raider, but... We'll, we'll at least mark a bunch of potential places for us to raid. And then we'll see if I actually do raid. <laughs> I should, though. It is the Age of War. That's the objective. Got some iron over here. I must have picked that up over here. Nab that real quick. We're going to have to go and repair our tools soon. We have enough iron to run everything right now. And we now can acquire plenty of iron from the other plates. We got all the iron the first time, that peninsula. But this will also help us level up. And if we can get some more levels, we can get a uh, little more health here. Which will probably help us with the gorillas. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, right, we actually should probably get a new journey going. Let's see, Tanner. Yeah, let's, let's work on Tanner next. We're doing things that... Uh, Everything we're doing, we'll be able to get this going. That's fine. Oh, that's not good. I am encumbered. Oh, jeez, it's unencumbered. Uh, get out of the way, run. <laughs> Again, if we get if we get caught by one of those and he hits us with the triple, the triple hit when he's uh, running at us, we could probably just get we could probably just instantly die. So let's not let them do that. A little more health. Get up to 272 health, because we have a little bonus because we've been eating. Keeping ourselves sated. Get a little extra bonus health because of that. The fishies underwater. The big snake, oh jeez. Hey, Svexer! How are you doing? Thank you so much for the resub, I really appreciate it. Nine months! <gasps> Brand new badge! Congratulations. How have you been, Svexer? For once, I managed to catch you again? I know, right? Yeah, well, you know, time zones. It makes life tough, huh? It does, it does. Hey, Kavya. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Good to have you here. Have you played Conan Exiles before? Or do you mostly just watch its content? Or is this your first time looking into it since the most recent update? Sfexer here has played Conan Exiles. Sfexer here is actually... Sfexer and Schilling were the ones that got me into this game in the first place. So if you, if you guys want to blame anyone for, for me playing this game a lot, you can blame Svexer and Schilling. <laughs> You've been doing decent? Good, good. How about you? I'm doing well. It's getting a little toasty over here. Getting a little toasty over here, but uh, not too bad. Otherwise, I'm doing well. Excited to continue to play Conan. I really like this game. I like this game, but there's so many other there's so many games I want to play, and Conan Exiles is one of those games that you can just essentially play forever, right? And so it's like, well, we do we do them in spurts. We do it in we do them in uh, in runs. We have an objective. We do a playthrough of Conan Exiles for that objective. Then we set it down for a little bit, and then we come back later. So this one is for Age of War stuffs. 
But then the next one is to do a Iron Man. I want to do Iron Man run again. That was a lot of fun. You've been addicted to Factorio again? That was a lot of fun. You guys also introduced me to Factorio. All right. Zelha Docks. All right, Gorilla. Come here. Come here, come here. You can't play Conan with friends on a map from the mod? Oh, nice. That's the Savage Wilds mod, right? I've not played on it. I've, like, I've only ever played on the Exiled Lands and the Isla Sipta. The Isla Sipta is the only DLC I have. But I did pick up the Battle Pass, because we play often enough, and the fact... I, what I really like is for the Battle Pass is you only have to buy it once. And so long as you don't use the... Uh, oh, I don't know when he's going to hit me. I'll show, you, I'll show it here in a minute as to why I think the Battle Pass is worth it. Okay, these guys are a lot easier to take down than I thought it was going to be. Thank goodness. Right, corpse skin done. Or fur and whatnot. Alright, so for the Battle Pass, what I like about the Battle Pass is you get these Chrome Coins, right? You get these Chrome Coins, you get 120 of them, right? And this reward appears 10 times. So, one sixth of all the rewards are these Chrome Coins. And so, so long as you completely complete a Battle Pass all the way up to the last Chrome Coin one, and then you buy the battle pass with the crumb coins, then if you do it that way, then the battle pass is free every single time. Just don't unlock the battle pass with crumb coins until you've gotten far enough along in the battle pass to get the new crumb coins. That's that's the only thing. It requires a little bit of discipline. But if you do that, then it's a ten dollar battle pass forever, which is amazing. I honestly expected them to have it be where you'd have to rebuy at the end of each age. So you'd get, uh, it'd be ten dollars for three battle passes, and then the next age, and then rinse and repeat. But it isn't, which is great. It's like super worth it. This map is divided up, uh, divided up better than Sipta. I believe this, that I do like the Exiled Lands more than Sipta. I, I think it's, I, I think just the map is just better across the board. It's just nicer. I like it more. Oh, what am I going to drop? I guess we'll drop the meat. Oh, we'll drop the bones. I'll keep the things for now. Alright, hold on a second. So someone's built over here in this ruin like crazy. Someone's taking over the docks. So who owns the docks here? And how long have they been here? Or since they've been here? i heal up real quick. There's another person who's built over there. Unfortunately, they're messing with my spawns. Mercenaries is here. Recently. A couple hours. Okay, so Mercenaries has... So this is a mine... That's a farming base over there. This is their main base over here. Hmm. Alright, let's finish getting our thick hides. We need to make sure we get enough that we can go ahead and make our new armor. Go from there. You've monitored your Factorio to make everything fluids and disable uh, disable belts. Oh, interesting. An interesting way to do it. We're gonna need way more. I'm gonna drop the hide. Regular hide is not necessary. We want the fur and we want the thick leather or the thick hide because that's rare. We don't get it nearby uh, home. We have to come here to get it. Alright, so what's going on in here? This place is a little intense. Ugh, this is a gross looking... Uh, this whole place looks disgusting. There's all the sandstone in here. Who put all the sandstone in here? Call your manager. Good gracious. Or rather, we have to call the foreman. This, this entire construction project needs to be torn down and rebuilt. Who was the architect on this? Who signed off the papers? I can't stand it. It's just all the sandstone in here. Awful. Yeah, exactly. Ew, tier one. Gross. Who put my? Who put this tier one in my beautiful village? All right, so this is all drawbridge or all gates. What do we have in here? A big open empty space with nothing in it. Why is there nothing in here? I 
can't see from here. Yeah, there's nothing in that base. Oh my goodness, they just they just built everywhere. Okay. Where's their main base? Is that that thing's empty, there's nothing in there. You know, seeing mercenaries and seeing what they're doing, these guys look like they're relatively new to the game. Look at all these palisades. These guys are pretty new to the game, I'd say. But they're well established. And they've been raided. Dang it. Okay. We got bones and glass in there. What the? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Is that a thing you can make? Huh. Is this a person? Oh no, it's a story related. Oh, my health. Okay, stop exploring. We need to back off and heal. Back off and heal. Run. I think we can still take him. Some more stamina. Back up to this hero. So I know there's no one behind me. Oh. Have to do pokes. Have to do stabs into the into the group until we until we take them. Oh, jeez. Right. I'd like to do more than just one heavy. Oh, ow. Oh, ow. Back it up. Swig. Not good. Oh, that's not good. I could fight two of these at once, but three is a, a bit much. Right, we can do two. I think I can do this. Oh. No. Dodge it. Oh, that didn't dodge. Careful now! <laughs> Careful now! Open the butt. Open the shoulder. Get your stamina. Ah, jeez. Okay. Almost. One more. One more stamina. Oh no. There we go. And he's down. Next. Get swiped. Ooh. It's close. Come on. One, two. There we go. Whew, we got him. You remember this part of Fallout 4? <laughs> I remember this part of Fallout 4. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's get, drop that off. Fur is getting heavy. We don't actually need this much fur. Drop the meat, get the fangs. That's getting too heavy. Drop another chunk of fur. Alright, so mercenaries have just made a catastrophe of a base. And so I think I'd be okay with uh, creating a... I might, I might be okay with creating a feud with these guys. And raiding them and having them raid us. They do have tier 3 building material for their central system here. So I'm assuming this is the main base. Yeah, it's still been hours since they were last on. What the... Stairs, I can't look up. Yeah, I can't. I can't do that and look up. Can't see what's inside. So it makes it tough to know where their main base is, to be honest. Which is tough. <laughs> I'll have to blow through a bunch. Guess that's fine. I think we're fine on our thick hide at this point. Hmm. That's a good story, Snow. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. What is this? Jackpot. Oh my. Oh, it's a jackpot. Oh my goodness, it's a jackpot. Oh my goodness, it's a jackpot. I don't have enough. To, I can't carry all this. I can't carry all this. Okay, we gotta we gotta move fast. We're gonna need to move fast here. 
Okay, we're gonna make a quick move here. Oh my goodness, why is there nothing we need? How's it going, Tim the Turtle? Thanks for the follow, welcome. All right, well, we need, uh, we're gonna need this. Sickle. I'm gonna grab some hops over here. Oh, I need to grab hops for the... Oh, I'm over encumbered, that's very bad. Let's drop the fur. Drop the fur. Who cares about the fur? We got way more important things to pick up right now, and also not to die. Let's keep getting these hops. Because we need the plant fiber. So we might as well get might as well get hops over here. So we can make beer later. There aren't hops near us, so this is good to grab. Ten. A little encumbered from that. Ah, that makes sense. Oh, that's too many. Alright, let's go. Next is wood. Actually, we need a leavening agent, don't we? Okay. Perfect. Ignore the combat, it's fine. Oh, my man, I'm just gonna climb this tree I just started cutting down. Uh. Drop more hops. Don't need this many hops. Realistically, only the seeds are all we need. Just some hops and the seeds are fine. Hop seeds and loving plant seeds. It's fine. All right, we're out of here. Go, go, go. Building, storage, boxes, twine. Boxes. Okay, lands claimed here. Twine. Where's my twine? That's oh, a monkey man. Come on, give me the twine. Am I out of wood? Oh, I'm out of wood. I thought twine was my problem. I'm away, monkey man. Locked up. Box here. That box up. Oop, wrong button. Right. Off I go. Are we back to two weeks of coming excess? Now nah, we're just gonna do this weekend and next weekend. All right. Give me all that. Give me all this. Give me all this. Uh, faster, faster. Oh, it's an urn thing. Take everything. Do I need it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just taking everything right now. So much, so much thick leather. Fur. We got parts for golems. And yeah, some picks we don't really need. Some gold and silver. Lime. Climb, climb, climb. Other pieces. Oh. Oh. I kill this thing. Please. Oh, uh, it'd be a struggle to kill it. I'd like to not be fighting these guys, but here's what it is. What is the... Oh, I dropped it off in here, didn't I? What's the decay time on this thing? We're at seven hours. These are both locked. We have seven hours for it. Perfect. All right, let's take the important stuff back with us. So let's see if we care about the iron, we care about the gold, uh, the, iron, the steel pickaxe. That thing's about to break, so I don't care too much about it. These. The sorcerer spells is fine. Uh, Alright, 
side, so unfortunately it's too heavy. Leave the iron behind. The sorcerer skull, skull is nice. Ah, oh, this stuff here is just so heavy. Alright, we'll leave the iron behind. We'll come back for it later. Crazy, the iron stone is lighter. I don't need these boots. Climbing boots! <gasps> Ooh! Those are really good. I don't need this. I don't need this. I actually should clean this out. I should probably clean out what's in here and get rid of the stuff we just don't need. We'll never we'll use. We'll use all wow, 500 and change on crystal. That's great. Pop seeds. We don't need the head. <laughs> Grabbed all their stuff and now I'm just deleting it. Um... Perfect. Good enough. Is it still seven hours? It is. Okay. Alright, boxes. Let's go. Alright, we're heading home. We're heading home. We're gonna have to make a trip back here, though. Pick up the rest. That's amazing. I can't believe it. Someone blew into the back of their house. Either that or the mercenaries forgot to close the back of their house. I'm not sure exactly which one it was. But one of them is true. One of them is true. Either they forgot to close the back of their house, or someone blew into the back of their house. Oh, I don't have the pick on me. I left my pick in there. Oh, well, whatever. We're going to run back to home. We'll run back over here and grab this. But we're going to get back home, and with the... Um, with the thick hide that we have, we'll go and we'll make the new armor. So it'll be good. Really good. How's it going, Miss Anthrope? Long time no see. How have you been? Hopefully you're doing well. Stormy, you need some ideas? So your players today are going to enter an ancient place. Okay. What was... Uh, that was built to reveal key locations of other ancient locations. Should there be challenges inside once they enter? Yeah, I think that would make sense. That makes sense to put challenges in there. Some like baby puzzles or something. For them to like activate the the tablet or whatever that then shows the locations that they're looking for. That makes sense to me. Yeah, so we'll go here and we'll run around. Oh man, I cannot believe we found that. The thing is, in the early game, getting hide is a real pain. In the late game, hide really isn't that big, like, or rather leather. Leather in the early game is a real pain to get, because you need a lot of leather to make all of your armor, to get yourselves up and running. You just, you're just like constantly like waiting for leather. But once you have your main set of armor, and you continue to, you know, grow and progress and you find you need to be making leather to get all of your tar oh my goodness you have so much leather you just start throwing it out the window you make leather only to create tar and all the leather goes out the window you just do not need it you don't want it this is garbage that's that is what's an awesome find it's huge over here castle I want to keep looting while we're running so we can get that level, because our level is almost done. It's going to take very little for us to push it over the edge, but... that. Yeah, we almost got that last piece here. Not bad, Challenges. We did the thing! Jeez. The bonus, bonus experience stuff you get right now is insane. That is crazy. That's a crazy amount of bonus experience. Got two levels out of it. And you just gotta get up to level 60. Or I think it was like, what, 57 or 58? And then you'll have all the Grom coins you need to get the uh, get the following pass. Ah! Let me take this Brock out real quick. Oh, we hit so much harder all of a sudden. This is great. Oh, we need one more Croc. <laughs> I need one more Crocodile. One more crocodile, and we can level. 
still alive. This looks like a new beginning. Yes, this is a brand new playthrough for the Age of War. I, I, I like starting from level zero. I like starting from scratch, more so than continuing at level 60 whenever I finish a playthrough. Just because when there's all these new updates and all these new things added, what I really like doing is experiencing from the start and getting a better idea on like what I want to focus on and why like X item I think is more important than Y item, you know? I really enjoy doing that. You do use leather for hardened leather for all your thralls, but yeah, late game, leather loses value. It does, yeah. Once you have all the armor you need, it's just stocks stacks up like crazy. You're a fan of new beginnings as well? I really like doing new beginnings. Alright. You've had trouble justifying adding challenges inside that building? Okay. Uh, since it was built for the explicit purpose of revealing key locations, also fun thing might happen. Fun things might happen this session. So a player just mixed random Fey ingredients. Uh oh, that's that's it. You're already starting off with fire if you're involved with the Fey. Now you're making it random. All right, Let's see what happens. Mix random Fey ingredients. Uh, let's just say they'll be tasting a twenty-colored rainbow. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Um, well, I mean, the thing is that it's an ancient ruin, right? That they're going to, that is going to, like, show all of these locations and the like. I imagine if that was the case, then there would probably be at least some form of defensive mechanism so that people don't just accidentally turn it on and find out things they're not supposed to. Essentially a key, but, you know, not. This and shake wood, and now we can go ahead and we can make the better... We can make the better storage. There we go. Just gonna dump them in the center for now. What am I missing? Shape wood. Uh, I feel like I have some more shape wood in this box. Yeah. Okay. Uh, We'll go ahead and we'll lock these. We're just going to use these as a dump chest in the center for now. Then we'll swap out all these wooden chests that we have for these. Um, yeah, so we'll just go ahead and we'll just give everything. And we'll take you with me. And we'll take you. Everything else needs to be processed, so that's fine. Alright. Dump you off in here. We'll go ahead and we make a midgen armor. You, you, make you, make you, and we'll come back to the helm later once we have more horns. We don't have enough horns right now. Level gained. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and prepare. Prepare. Get all that repaired up. Uh, man, yes, this is an official PvP server. Yes, yes. Oh, you're fine. Misanthrope, you're, you're nailing it. Looks good to me. Your English seems to be A-OK. -okay. Besides, a good portion of the people that hang out in this chat, uh, English is not their first language. Don't worry about it. Don't you worry about it. All right, excellent. There we go. And just like that, we're almost in our full Kombujan armor set. Excellent. We like the Kombujan armor because the Kombujan armor gives us 76 on the chest piece versus the 59 on the medium harness. And instead of the 15 carrying capacity, which is a bummer to lose, we get 3% increased strength weapon damage. And the weapon we're currently using here is a strength weapon. I was like looking over here for it. It is a strength weapon. So with this, we're doing 12% more damage with this weapon. Really good. Make, a, make all those. Oh. My. Goodness. They're done. <laughs> They're both done. I don't hear them working. Oh my goodness. This is insane. You can train thralls so quickly now. Holy. Right, smelter lady. Do we want you on this one? Or do we want to... Yeah. This one. Okay, watch how fast this goes down here. See how fast this bar is going down here? Just keep watching that bar. Well, oh, fast it goes now. It's chewing through them. Melacoma the Watcher. Oh my goodness. Melacoma. Russian. Meanwhile. 
We have our dancer here. He's got an iron pike. Useful, but we're gonna go with. He has a full set of Zamorian arm, uh, Zamorian dancer gear, which is very nice. I like that. But we're not gonna have her in dancer gear. We're gonna have her come with us. So we're gonna give her our old medium armor plus the light armor torpedoes. I don't have a. I don't have anything else for her. Oh, hands. She needs hands. Did I give her the wrong one? Yeah, I didn't give her the hands. I got her the pants. There we go. Perfect. Then, what's her stat block? She's an agility lady. Understandable. Uh, with vitality as her second. In which case, go to snacks. Got a few. Get that cooking. Go ahead and we'll get her some steaks. It'll boost her vitality. We'll just dump this glue in here for now. We'll go thralling in a moment again. We'll bring this dancer with us, because then she can carry five inventory slots of all the heavy weight stuff. So we should be able to bring everything back in this run. We're going to wait for a little more food first. Both for us and for her. This is great. Oh my goodness, thralling is so much faster. This is crazy. This is crazy. So the 20 colored potion... It will make the consumer experience one of 19 planes of existence, but on 20, they'll experience all 19 planes of existence all at once? Oh my good gracious. Your players are going to have one heck of a trip, that's for sure. Right, so this runs for another 34 minutes, and I think we have enough time to go get this done in a run. We'll have her follow us. 13 should be plenty. Some meats. Right, don't die on me now. Zamorian Dancer, number two. Let's go. Let's get up and go. Beautiful. Now that we've got a follower, we can carry even more gear. We're going to go and pick all that gear back up from mercenaries. We're going to bring it back. Oh, this is so good. We're going to have to go hunt down some antelopes for sure so we can get more horns, though. Not having not having enough horns is a little brutal, so I would like to get that last piece of kombucha armor. Last bit of that stamina, or the last bit of the strength bonus. Right, because we have damage. Pull out the weapons, then it'll, uh, it'll do the math for us. There we go, pull out the weapon, damage. Our damage is 20, 14 is from the weapon, 4 is from strength, 2 is from items. So that's our armor. Our armor is currently giving us a plus two. Pretty good. Nice. All right. Vitality level up. We now have passive health regen. We're going to put the next uh, five points into strength here. Level 25. Is there any knowledges we care about right now that we, like, urgently need? No, not really. Get bark, cannery, acquire leather from cannery, and uh, cannery sale. Okay, yeah, we'll get that sorted when we get back. Get that done when we get back, then we can get the improved tanner stable, which would be nice. It's too big for our current build, but we'll want to have that unlocked so we can build that later. Nice. Or maybe we just give them a language from that plane. Oh, that'd be kind of interesting. But if they experience all the planes, you'll have uh, you'll have them make a will save. Oh yes, they should have to make a will save or go a little crazy. Or you know what? All right, Stormy Snow. So your player for your for your D and D campaign. Imagine this: they end up rolling a twenty, and they experience all nineteen planes of existence. It's just her, just her making huff noises. All nineteen planes of existence at the exact same time, and because of the result of this. They just, every now and then, they're able to, or if they, like, focus really, really hard, they have to make a concentration save to do so, to do it on purpose, but otherwise, randomly, they'll just see things on the astral plane overlaid on the material plane. That'd be pretty cool. 
right? So they can like they can see things on uh, the astral plane of existence. So if someone's using like the the blink spell or something that makes it so that they get a uh, fifty percent chance of missing the target as they blink between the astral plane and the material plane. It's like uh uh uh, I can see both. No, be kind of cool. Oh, hopefully she doesn't die while she's over there. I'll have to go to this. I'll have to go to land over here so she'll teleport to us. You're no longer the. You're no longer a D and D GM. Oh, that's right. You're only doing Pathfinder Second Edition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Sorry, as a game master. Uh, not a dungeon master. As a game master. Dungeon masters are exclusively D and D. At least for the terminology, rather. But as a game master for your Pathfinder 2nd Edition, the astral, the astral Plane is a thing. It is a thing. I think that'd be cool. Alright, hopefully we can grab this without running into anyone. The Mercenaries doesn't look like they've been online, so hopefully this is just a quick, just, you know, a quick grab and run, you know? I can't believe they just had their back door open. I can't believe they just had their back door open with all this stuff. The Companions decayed. No, oh, you don't say. Let's just see what's inside the box. There's probably nothing in there, but I still want to see what's inside. Behind door number one is... Nothing. Alright, we'll do our due diligence for the uh, for the server. We'll clean up the messes that we find as we run around. We'll do, we'll do our due diligence. We'll do the cleaning. Don't you worry. Some people building this one. I don't know why you would. It's like right at the entrance to get in here. There's too much foot traffic near it. That building. There's just too much foot traffic there. Makes me nervous. Go. I forgot what time your PvP is. Is it now? No, no. The raid, raid window ended uh, almost three hours ago. Ended almost three hours ago. I was like, where are they? They should be right here. There they are. Perfect. Everything. Oh my goodness. It's very heavy. Everything. Alright. You are going to carry... Use the combat music, I swear. Going a little... Doing a little ham. I think the comic music is playing twice. Yeah, it's playing twice. Not enough space. How's it not enough space? There should be nothing in her inventory here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And her weapon. Ah, she has enough space for it if we do it this way. There's not enough inventory. That's the heaviest stuff, too. I won't have to do another run. Let's see. We can just leave this behind. Are we okay with letting it all go? Is the real question. Alright, we're gonna start we're gonna dump some stuff. Let's go through our inventory here and we're gonna dump things we don't want to carry. Alright, what is what's gone forever? Stone. We don't need stone. Stone's gone forever. We don't need to carry the stone back with us. We can we can gather stone wherever we need to. Remade iron we'll hold on to. We're gonna take this, you keep this. Remade leather. Drop the branches, drop this, drop that. Uh, we don't need this many picks. That's their old pick. Drop their old pick. Pickaxe we can't actually repair, so there's not much you can do with that right now. We have to drop 92 extra weight, which is probably just mostly this leather. We drop the leather, we drop the hide, we drop. Uh, a thing and a half of fur. 
Drop the wood. So close. Okay. Almost. Almost. There we go. That'll do it. Alright, good enough. Let's get out of here. So what are we losing? We're losing stone, branches, bunch a bunch of fur. A bunch of fur. Uh, wood, some hide. That's fine. All this stuff can be tossed. Actually, we can keep this. We have enough weight for that. We can break that down for some iron. Or we can have it as a backup iron pool. Let's get out of here. All right. We're out of here. We're gone. Flawless. That's really good. Pick the old pick. That's rather picky. No, well, I mean, you know, the pick is uh, the pick's pretty good, but... Yeah, we'll hold on to it. I mean, I can't remember. What level do we need? We're getting there. Level 25? What level do we need for the dismantling bench? It really should be lower level. It's level 37 for, in my opinion, zero reasons. The dismantling bench, I think, should be level 15 or level 20 item. Level 37 is just ridiculous. For you to be able to break down pools into life. Because I just end up holding on to all these random pools for way too long. You know? Double the action, double the music. It's true, I mean, the music was really pumping. I was like, why does this feel so intense? Well, it's because it's double, that's why. It makes sense. So we're not following that path, we're going to shoot back down here. She's following suit. She can't fight right now because uh, we're holding her weapon. Alright. So here's an idea. After consuming the potion, they'll be teleported to that plane, then roll a d100 to determine how many years their mind experiences that plane of existence. Oh my goodness. Then give them a language and something unique from that plane. They'll not age, but uh, their memories will be hazy at best upon returning. Maybe you give them one thing for every 24 years of experience. I, I would do it for every 25. I don't know why specifically 24. 25 is just a, a smoother number, but yeah, that would work. Something like that. Oh. She's punching that crocodile to death. You got him. Let's book down. Book in exile. Yep. Wherever are you? Brick defense. That. She <laughs> she's given up on fighting. I was like, what is she doing? Right. Keep on keeping on. We got 300 health now, which is really nice. 315 when we eat. I'm very glad we won't be picked up for vitality. Being robust would be nice too. Yeah, we get that strength so we hit harder, so again, fights faster. Not sure if you understand it right, but the improved dismantling bench should give more resources back than the standard. Yes, it does. The improved dismantling bench does give back more resources than the standard one. But the fact that you have to wait until you're level 37 to even start dismantling in the first place, it, it just it just doesn't feel like the right level for that. Right? How hard Right, because the, the idea is you need more experience, you need to be a higher level, which means you have more experience to be able to do more complicated things. That makes sense. You're building, like, you know, crude things out of sandstone and twigs that you found floating in the water. Yeah, that stuff makes sense to do early on, and when you actually do real masonry, right, for tier 2, then you have to be a little higher level, and when you do tier 3, which is essentially steel reinforced, you've got, like, rebar, essentially, in your structures, right? Then yeah, that makes a lot of sense as to needing that experience. A dismantling bench is literally tear these things apart. Take the thing and pull it apart. That doesn't take too much skill. I mean, some so that you can actually salvage material out of it. But I would like that to be lowered. I would like to see that level lowered. I think it's unnecessarily high. But she's still on her tail. We would like to see. That right there, our base is right down at the base of that. This is 
going to be so nice. We got so many nice goodies. We'll have to go and restructure the base a little bit here. And we need to go and do another Thrall run. Because now that we have a Dancer and we have a Tier 4 Smelter, which is mental that we get a Tier 4 Smelter. Oh, come on, Missy. Come here. Morian Dancer 2, come with me. Do it. I'll murder you. I like how that croc is still hanging out in that base. Did she teleported in? No. I think she teleported above us, actually. Give all. Perfect. This. Take this. Now we'll have a quick sneeze. Um, I'll take my pick back. Perfect. Nice, I got back in time before this got finished. There she is. Get these. She instantly over encumbers me. You can take this pick, or this pike, rather. Okay. Iron. There we go. Perfect. Already got a named smelter. Nice job on that. Oh, we lucked out. We really lucked out. We just ended up finding a named smelter that was taking damage from fighting nearby enemies. There, I think someone was trying to thrall that smelter, and we just kind of swung in and stole it. When they're, they must have like died or retreated, or maybe they grabbed a different one in the meantime, because the two others that they that that smelter normally has with them at that location were missing. They just were not there. So I'm under the assumption that, uh, well, they weren't there. They uh, got a little distracted. Maybe that cleaver we don't need it right now. We'll keep these on us. Alright, with all this leather leather that we now have, basic, normal, boring, nothing special leather, put this in here, we can now make some wraps. We need to go and get some more... Thick leather is crazy. Right, so we're going to need to go and get ourselves some more... Aloe. So we're going to have to do a quick aloe run here. So Zamorian Dancer, I need you, behavior-wise, in terms of engagement, is to guard me. And I need you, in tactics-wise, to prioritize melee. And I need... What was in tactics? What was the other one? Stand, uh, stand and defend. Yeah. Melee. And what I need you to do is to, in terms of follow distance, I need you to be at a, a nice close 10 meters. Thank you. Perfect. Let's go. this thing. Oh, by the way, may I ask if you tried the Lotus uh, Orb after this update? I have not tried that. No, it's from the last update. That was a journey update. I never did. I've not done that. I should probably look into that. We'd have to go and unlock the journey step, of course. That'd be a good one to look into. Out. Right. And we're still trying to get through some levels here. Okay, on that, let's see. Is there anything else we wanted to grab? There's something in particular we're aiming to get. So armors are fine. We got a confusion armor, and that's gonna be our main armor until we get epics. We don't have to worry about armors anytime soon. Weaponry wise, we could probably start thinking about better weapons. Because they are going to start just outpacing what we're currently using. Cutlass uses 20, for example. Versus the one we have right now. Or it does 20, which ours right now does 14. So that's a big change, big difference. The press is at 28, so we're still ways out from that. 37. The table. Operations. Weapon. 
add-ons is next level. Okay, good tinker table soon. Guess it's a journey uh, journey reward. Before the update, it wasn't impressed, but now you really like it. Oh, is it significantly better now? That's good. We're gonna have to kill a bunch of these guys because we need a bunch of horns. <laughs> we need like a lot of horns. We have two now. We need ten in total for our headpiece. We're gonna have to go and take down a bunch of these antelope. I'm so sorry, antelopes, but uh, your death is for the cause. We'll just grab them whenever we see them. I should have brought the stuff I needed for thralling with me. I can check to see if there's any good candidates. Have her wait for a second. So we've got a taskmaster over there. An archer and a smelter one. Okay. Smelter one would be good. That's smelter one, okay. But with how fast they convert, I don't think it's important. Oh my goodness. I love it when we just stab him twice like that. We get him. These guys had nothing for us. We'll take the hides. We'll still be taking those. Take the bones. We're just gonna loot everything and then we'll just drop what we don't want. Take the fiber. This is the story, how and why antelopes got extinct. Yeah, the, well, the fact is that since each antelope only drops one horn, what am I supposed to do? They only drop one horn. How, how else is this supposed to work? If they drop two horns, this wouldn't be a problem. Just saying. I killed one in the bushes. Where? Here we go. I killed one in the bushes and left it there. Where'd it go? Okay. Go flush. Now I can give you the hides. Perfect. Let's get a whole host of hide here. Grab that, swap that out. Go ahead and get this journey done real quick. It's a park. Got access to the tannery. Do that. The one's built over here, so we can just go ahead and swap that out. Can we get all three? Nah, only two at a time. That's well, helpful. It's moving cool. Alright. They aren't as horny as they seem to be. It's true, they really aren't. Darn antelopes. Lying about it, using a prosthetic horn. I need a real horn. Some of these prosthetic ones. Also, it does seem kind of funny that you need ten horns to make the Kombujan armor that actually only has two horns on its head. So it does feel a little off in that regard, but, you know, okay. Who's this? This is Dublocks. There's yeah, some stuff in here. Hey, I'll take that. It's useful to me. Jeez. For some reason, I thought she was... The reason I thought she wasn't, uh, wasn't mine. That was a player that just walked on in. I was like, uh, uh, it was like this when I got here. <laughs> there was a massive hole in the wall when I got here. It's, uh, it was not me. Trust me, it's fine. Why people not locking their boxes? Uh, I'm assuming they're doing it so that People don't go and blow up their boxes, thus destroying the rest of the base. Either that or they just don't know what they're doing. Yeah, kind of like needing five raw meat to make one grilled meat in seven days to die. Is that a thing? That just doesn't make any sense. 
or currently guarding. Okay. All right. That's kind of ridiculous. You need five pieces of raw meat to make one grilled steak. If it was like five five raw meat to make one burger patty, uh, then fine. It's ground beef, right? It's just ground mystery meat, right? It could require however many pieces that it needs. It's fine. Let's continue to search down here. I just want to double check this side. I feel like we might have missed a couple of bases that were being built. Oh, well, seems clean. Okay. I knew I was missing something. I just had a feeling. I could just tell. Alright. Uh, we'll put another one here. I can feel it. Let's go ahead and let's change these. We don't know what they are. We know everything about the map. We're most about the map, so we'll do that for those. Aha! Okay. I was like, it feels eerily like someone lives in this zone. Hmm. Hello, sir. Goodbye. Javelins. Yeah, mace. Okay. Go and pick up what we need. Pick up that aloe. Start going a little crazy with our aloe collection here. This area is a really good spot for aloe. Another horse. Can't tell if that's an NPC or a person standing idly. I'm like, there's a horse there. So I don't know if there's a player there. Yeah, there's no one else at this little settlement here. Oh, there he is. Bonk. Some little bit of fiber. Take that. The force is strong with the Hattar. It's true. I've got I've got this thing called gamer sense. I'm able to I'm able to tap into the force of the gamer sense and determine that something feels fishy. And I've also played this game a lot, right? You, you get a lot of experience with it and you kind of look around and when you see the way and like the locations that people are building, it does get kind of suspicious with seeing like how and where some people thought oh, there wasn't even a roof. Where some people decide to start building. I'm not even bound to anyone. Because generally people try to avoid building right next to each other. You know, just to avoid antagonizing others, right? So sometimes that distance. Give me that hide. I got a big one over here. Like a big, big one. Hmm. Ah, uh, no. I need to go read that. Hold on. Hold on a moment here. Snowy snow. I can get myself to a spot where I can go. Spec that. I think I have to climb this. Oh, there's a vault down here. Oh, that makes life easy. Who is this? Who owns this? Pika. Pika? Wait! No way! Pika's still active on the server? <laughs> it's been months! It's been months, he's still got his base in the same place. How active is he? Is he still online? Crazy. I'm gonna get to a safe distance and I'll, I'll read that here. But, um. 
Oh my goodness, he is active. On less than 10 hours ago. Ow. Okay. Alright, Pika, Pika still lives. <laughs> Alright then. What do we have here for the potion? Roll d20 to determine which plane. The consumer is teleported to the plane of existence. Experience d uh, 1d100 years of the plane. For every 24 years they exist, uh, they experience, they gain one benefit from the plane. If the player rolls a 20 and they experience all planes at once, experience... What's down here? Uh, experiencing 10... Uh, 100... Sorry. Experiencing... 1d100 years on each plane. Jeez, that can be up to 19 rolls. They will only gain benefits from the plane they experienced ah, the most on. I see. If more than one plane is in first place for the longer experience, they get to choose one. Okay. Huh. Oh, there's tier 3 buildings here. Or tier 3 pieces. It's a tier 3 smelter. Carl's Jr. Hmm? <gasps> This whole base. So this guy has a sandstone base with all tier 3 building things. What is he doing? Like, this is all tier 3 construction pieces. I would hate to work in a base like this. It's like climb over everything. But it's got precision fireball cauldron, precision uh, alchemist bench. It's got some improved fireball cauldrons. It's got the um, precision carpenter bench, garrison, or like everything here. Hmm. <gasps> And a lowly, standard, nothing special, boring armor's, armor's bench. Recently blown up, I'm assuming. This is the thing. People will build all of this inside of a tier 1 structure and think they're fine. I mean, look, he honeycombed it. And by that, I mean he put a tunnel in here. Oh, no, please. Please! Please! Go over there. Thank you. They block us in the beginner area as well. Yeah, it, this is just like a really, really bad idea. Don't do that. Because I'll see this and I'll be like, hey, let me take a look at this place. Let's see what's in here. Ew. And I'll, like, granted, there'll be a wall here, so I wouldn't be able to see it. It, it would look like this. I'd be like, what's in here? It's a full tunnel. Huh, okay. Well, it's only got one roof above. I could crack this open and see what's inside. It'll only cost me one explosive. One. One explosive. That's it. It's only one explosive. It's nothing. Super cheap. Let's just blow this thing up real quick and see what's inside. Wait a second. This looks familiar too. Drunken stoned. On like three hours ago. Um. A, this looks really familiar. Yeah, this looks really familiar. Yeah, this is the same base. He's still on here, too. Amazing! Been a couple of months, some people are still here. I'm, I'm surprised. So we went and we did some light raiding to this guy. We blew up those boxes right there, actually. Those are the boxes of choice that we took down. There was nothing in them, they were empty, but still. Well. Drunken. Check there. Hey, you know, if they if they stay in this if they stay in the same place for months, I'm assuming they're not going anywhere. Was it people staying in beginner areas? I have no idea. It feels really weird to stay in a beginner area this long, though. This is why I'm checking these areas. Is because you never know who's going to be living around here. You can't just write it off and assume that only, you know, starter, starting level uh, players end up down here. No, no, it's... End, end game players will end up down here. I'm guessing... Uh, I guess I'm used to playing Rust. I'm still surprised no one has tried to murder you yet in Conan. Well, we haven't run into anyone yet. Well, recently. We ran into a bunch of them when we first started today. But the map is really big. So here's the thing. How many players can you have on a Rust server? <laughs> on, a, on an official Rust server, how many players can you have? 
that's that's the main thing. It's like what, like a hundred or something? Let's go jump into Hanuman's grotto here. Oh, he's got annihilated. Die, imps. Nope. Uh, the hard part about like PvP here in for Conan, and something I'd like to see changed, but I don't know if it ever will, is the map size is just too big. Map size is too big. Uh, 100 to 200 people in Rust on servers. Conan has a max of 40, uh, 64. No, no, no. Conan, Conan Exiles has a max of 100 on private servers, but on official servers, it maxes at 40 people. So if you have 40 people, and let's assume two people per clan, so you have only 20 individual groups playing at a time on Conan Exiles on a map this big. All we've done today has been in this lower section here. We've done everything here today. Meanwhile, there's all of this space up here that we've not touched. And, you know, even if you dot 40 people across here, the fact that we ran into three people all up in here is actually... That, that's a high population. It's just a really, really big server. Or a really, really big map. I would really like to see them add the capacity to get, have more than... Like, really, because if... Um, what they could do is they could reduce the number of official servers. Like, they could reduce the number of official servers per zone. So, like, the uh, North American servers, like, the Pacific server gets, like, reduced to half as many servers, but double the maximum number of players per server. Right? I'm gonna harvest some crystals here real quick, and then we'll go kill, uh, see if we can kill the guy in the back. But I would just like to see more interaction, you know? That's some demon blood we've been slowly picking up from these guys. It's very dark in here. I don't know where that guy is that's shouting at us. Uh, can you carry more? No. You can carry a little. You can carry a little more. I will drop the word. I don't need it. It's not, uh, not required for us to pick up that wood. We can always pick up some more on the way back. Or just around the house. Merge servers. I would like it if they crossplay in Conan. That'd be kind of tough to do because of land claim and everything. That'd be kind of tough for that to be sorted. Um, I think it would just be easier to shut down some servers. Find more, uh, find other, like, barely occupied servers that have, like, a person that plays on it or something, right? And then give them the ability to transfer servers. They can pick up everything they want from that one server to the other or something like that. Or find servers that are completely dead and have zero players on them and zero uh, materials down because it's been over a week and everything's decayed. Find those servers, close those servers, and then just increase the number of servers that you can have. If you want more player encounters, uh, broadcast your position. Well, yeah, but the thing is, it's, I like the more random encounter stuff, you know? You know, as opposed to, you know, of course, for tea. As opposed to, like, being prepped and ready, I'm expecting them to show up and then running into them. I prefer when, like, I'm in the middle of doing my own whatever I'm doing. They're in the middle of doing their own whatever they're doing. And then we run into each other. I think it's more entertaining. Otherwise, when you broadcast your position to players, you get exclusively people in full kit combat gear prepped and ready to murder you and, um... Although I'd like more encounters, I'm I'm level 26. I can't I, I can't fight them. No way. Uh, McConnell was saying back when the map was just a desert biome, that it was like the Thunderdome. You guess the map is too big now. It's hard to run people. Yeah, for only for only having 40 people. Yeah, get good. Uh, there's a difference between get good and get one shot because there is the chance of you know server server ping causing problems. Uh, I get one shot, and they get 25 shot. It's, it's it's tough. There's only so much get good you can have, especially since this is my only kit of gear, and they're, you know, 89th kit of gear. It's just, it's just tough, until you, like, get up to a high enough level. Is it worth trying to get this guy? I think we can get him. If he doesn't hit us too hard, we can probably take him down. Ooh. 
might be able to take him out. <laughs> get, get, get good better. Get good plus. Oh no. I, I never played any of the pluses. I don't know if I could do it. Get good plus sounds really tough. Three. If I get my shield out, can I like knock them down? Oh no. That's the problem. The moment they start their attack animation, you cannot stagger them. They're immune to being staggered. And they'll just attack you through your attacks. Nice, we can't knock them down first. Just need to get four attacks on So far, so good. Uh, great success! He is in the floor now. Well, that's not good. Oh, that's very bad. Uh-oh. Oh, that's very bad. Oh, come on, game! We're gonna lose her. She's gonna die. We gotta run. They're both fighting underground. Yeah. There she dies. Oh, you gotta love a game that's polished. Works perfectly as designed. Followers underground? Yes, that's exactly where they're supposed to be. Be able to knock people under the mesh? Yes, of course, that's exactly how it's supposed to work. Yes, darn it. Well, we lost, uh, what, four stacks of hide? That's a lot of hide we just lost. Alright, let's head back to base. That's unfortunate. We'll have to go and, uh, thrall other people, I guess. It, it just works, just as intended, yeah. See, I really love all the updates they're doing to this game, but a lot of that needs to get solved. <laughs> a lot of that needs to be fixed. Because that's, the, the unfortunately, one of the, the hardest... One of the hardest parts for player retention is a lot of the bugs in this game. This game does have a lot of bugs. Uh, they do work on them with each update, but the, it's it almost seems as though the bugs stay about the same. And some of the old ones that aren't like, you know, game crash bad, level bad, just are never fixed. Like, um, things getting meshed, for example. Is hacking a big problem? It it has been. It's a little better, but it still does happen from time to time. Hacking hasn't been resolved entirely, but it is better than it's been in the past. At least her body is already underground, so no need to bury her. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, yeah, we don't have a shovel. <laughs> I guess that works. Take one down, squash it around. 101 little bugs in the code. It's true. It's true. Well, because, you know, like, I'm glad that they're continuing to, to work on updating, which is which is important. Getting more content and like keeps players interested, gets more players to come back and keep playing. It's really good. And I'm glad they're doing it. I really am. This means the reason why we're playing today. But, unfortunately, um, some of the bugs are just absolutely brutal. No game is perfectly bug free. Uh, because no one perfectly understands code. True, it's it's more of just some of the bugs have been around for so long. You'd expect them to, you know, iron out some of them at this point. I don't know. But the thing is, there's constant room for improvement. So as long as they have a couple of people working on uh, bug squashing. Then uh, eventually it'll get up and running, right? Eventually it'll be perfect. There's no such thing as perfect, but you can, you can try. You can try. Let's get some more antelopes over here. Hello, antelope. Bonk. Hello, antelope. Hello, other antelope. What the? Oh my goodness, for a second I thought that was a player. I thought that was a player for a second. I was like, oh no, here we go. Ready, set, death. So I'm like, in, I'm over encumbered. 
That was like the worst time for me to be fighting anyone. Nope. Give me your horns! Looks still moving. Also, do you have any demon blood on you? No. Keep on keeping on. Heading on back to camp. Okay. Let's see if there's anyone good here. We're not going to kill them if they are. Otherwise, we kill them to let them reset. Exile Tanner 2. We can take the Tanner 2. And Taskmaster 1. That's fine. Yeah, we'll come back to them. Grab them later. We're gonna need a new fighter, though. Really unfortunate we lost that dancer for zero good reasons. I mean, granted, I did, like, cram that guy into the wall, so there was that. Uh, whoop. Careful now. For it. Got one more stamina. I'm not going to try and open the door. They might just rush me and get inside. So we're going through the top floor. So top floors are four. Need to disappear. Um, need to disappear here, but you wish everyone a wonderful weekend? Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Always appreciate it. Take care. There's a smoke bomb on the ground. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Up off these, knees, and that, and this. Ah. Eat those. Okay. Just drop all that off in there for now. I'll take care of the rest of the bit. Inventory sorted. So this dump chest. We might need to change that. Y'all caught up? Oh, she's out of, she's out of fuel. Um, do we have any wood on hand? No, we got bark. We gotta take care of the take care of the bark and the aloe leaves. Building materials has some wood. Let me at least have you burn for uh, four minutes here while I go get myself set. That'll work. Oh, yes, access to tannery is what we need to do. Uh, do I have? Yeah, some more hide. Hide. This. Go in there. There we go. Number 162. Blast all this in here. And we can now make. Those I don't have another one set over here, right? Perfect. If those um, our stamina potion is still active, so that's good. Go ahead and we'll pop off this here. We'll drop that off there. We'll take these. That's a little upgrade for us healing a little faster. Grab some wood. And keep on running that iron. Actually, let's just make more fiber for now. Stockpile fiber. We, need, we could use more fiber. Here are all the branches you could use for the next 20 minutes. Here. Good. Okay. What do we want to focus on next? Let's see here. Acquire leather from tannery. We can do that real quick. Pull it out. Put it back. Uh, craft from the tannery's table. Open the tannery's table. Done. Journey done. Which gives us the improved tanner's table unlock for later. We don't need it right now, we can use that later. Let's see, soldier. We need to get five more levels. We need to get four more levels. And then we can blast through this one. Heavy combo, then heavy armor. We'll have to go and find heavy armor, we'll have to make some, one or the other. 
Uh, rogue's the same, but instead it's uh, attributes. They didn't fix this! Oh! I remember on the, the patch notes, someone had mentioned when they were, they were mentioning it to me, that they had uh, updated a lot of the journey things that were messed up. That weren't uh, weren't correct. Weren't ironed out. You know, where they were like, uh, I think it was for Tanner, for example, it said like, or no, it was something that was talking about the... Something about the drying rack. They had it wrong. But they didn't fix this. This isn't fixed. It's still here. Invest five, the number, attribute points into strength. Invest five, the word, attribute points into agility. They're inconsistent. They're still inconsistent. They didn't catch that. Come on, guys. All right, we'll give them, we'll give them another chance. We'll give, in, in a couple of months, once this chapter ends, if that hasn't been fixed, We'll see. We'll paint. Disassembler. Yes, yeah, so we need to get a bone in the grinder, fluid press, which you can't do until. Was it. Tw fluid press is 30 something, right? I think it was. We can get. Okay, so we can start raiding with the trebuchet, but the trebuchet takes forever to set up, which is brutal. So I'd much rather use explosives, but that requires a. So this is what? The 25 versus 35. Okay. Alright. Archer, we can just go ahead and do power shot until someone's bow. We can do that real quick. We can switch to the let's switch that one done. Okay. We need to get ourselves a uh a carpenter bench again though. We did destroy that. There's a stone and wood. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a good spot for it, so we'll just dump it here for now. We'll clean it up later. Uh, we need to go and unlock our tree. Combat. Thought I unlocked it. Oh, we don't need a tanner table for this. We can make it in our our pocket. Yeah, we still need a tanner table regardless. So that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We still need it. Let's go jump outside. So it was what? Uh, twine. stick and fiber. get some arrows. We just need some stone arrows. Flint arrows, rather. Make one of those. That's it there. All right, now what? Power shot! Power shot for a hold, hold for a long time. And then, with enough practice in using a boat, you'll be able to take down enemies from afar and before they reach you. Bam! Oh my goodness, it wasn't enough damage. Oh, uh, I guess it wasn't enough damage. Oh no! Uh, you've become so much more powerful than this boss mod pack. I uh, can imagine Minecraft cannot hold you back. You're too, you're too much, too much power. Some may say unlimited power. I see you kill someone with a bow. Hey, the level of zigzag is beyond anything an animal would do. Not anything a natural animal would do. It's so much zigzag. Unlimited <laughs> power. Exactly right. Zigzag is ridiculous. Alright, cool. We got him. Funk. Archer complete. The powerful hunting bow has now been something we can do, and we've got a whole bunch of iron arrows. Powerful hunting bow requires slightly more materials than the standard one, but does double damage, and we can build this whenever we're running around. So we don't like if we urgently need a bow, we can just grab that. This one then gives us a better bow, but that's not important.
Don't need this bow anymore, so it's awesome. Now we got that un uh, unlocked, so we're good to go. Don't do it, crocodile. Don't do it. Do it. This armor is giving us so much extra damage. So good. Give me that reptile hide. Oh! Every time I see a person, every time I see the silhouette of a person, I'm worried it's an actual player. It makes me, makes me curious. Oh, my has got so many legs. Um, how many people are on right now? Oh, not many people are left online. Only a couple. Actually, a good smattering of us are not level 60. Only three people are level 60 that are online right now. Crazy. All that. Let me start making bricks so we can go and do a grinder. So I guess we'll swap this one over to bricks next, yeah? Makes sense. Where'd all the stone go? Let's go grab some stone. Yeah, we just want to get to level 30 as soon as possible so we can start doing... Uh, we can start doing steel. Well, we should start producing steel, too. We're still making a bunch of iron, and that's good. We should start producing actual steel, though. So we have plenty of steel bars the moment we end up getting level 30. We can go do another brimstone run to go and try and get ourselves leveled up to 32. Another option. Do that as well. Keep getting horns though. Give me your horn. Need it. Need this. Oh, <laughs> awkward. And swap back. Bonk. <laughs> just showing him what I'm gonna do to him once he's dead, just so he knows. Gonna flay you and your dead. These. So just drop that. It's fine. That's fine. Oh, I whiffed him. I whiffed him again. Oh, yes, okay. If we miss three times, they get to go free. That's, that's the rules. Those the rules. That's close. You almost got to walk away free. That could have been really awkward. Back to base. If you don't mind me asking, which of you server is this? You're currently playing on McConnell's. Uh, was just curious. I don't want to say it out loud. Um, but uh, you can hit me up in Discord. I'll let you know. I don't want everyone in the world to know. I mean, uh, it's the same, clearly it's the same server as the last playthrough we did, because there's three people that we found that are still active on this server. And if someone does some digging, it wouldn't be too hard for them to figure out which one it is. But at least just, you know, you have to put the effort in, is the thing, right? You gotta put the effort in, so it weed out the majority of people that would stream tonight. All right, go ahead and drop off the meats. We're slowly gonna just acquire so much putrid meat, it's gonna be crazy, but that's okay. We can go ahead and deal with that. Oh, that's right, it's more than one per time. You do. You get three for each, yeah, that's right. You get three for each one of those yeasts. Whoops, <laughs> oh well, that's fine. Uh, let's get another, what, eight? You always wanna have another stack prepped and ready to go. There's one another stack prepped and ready to go. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go and take a look at the horns. How are we doing on horns? We got one in here. We got four now. Uh, it's armor. Well, at least we took that armor off her before she died, so we can put that on any. Uh... Oh my goodness, do we have exactly enough? Ew, we do. We have exactly enough. Kombucha armor. Build the helm. Yeah, luckily we took that off prior to bringing her out with us, so 
no matter what, no matter if our next dancer actually has the Zamorian dancer armor or not, we can we can at least get them properly hit that out. Yeah, thirty four health, uh, thirty four armor, medium armor, fifteen carrying capacity versus forty three medium and strength. So good. Bujan armor set completed. Now we're looking right. Yeah, yeah, we're on the back, back on the same one. We deleted our character and restarted because let's start from the beginning. All right, let's go ahead and set them for you. But how are you doing today, Critter? Past your bedtime. Have a good night. Yeah. Well, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. See you around. We'll be playing more of this tomorrow. The goal is to play more of this tomorrow. I want to play this each day this week. That is the goal. Alright, so we're gonna need more we need more space. We're gonna have to build out this place more. It's get it's getting a little cramped in here. Getting a little cramped in here. So let's go get some more wood and stone. Not a lot of stone. More wood, mostly. Get more wood and stone. And let's go and expand this base a little more. Again, this is a temporary base. We'll be making a proper permanent base a little later. But uh, this is our starting base. We need at least get this thing to function with all the all the everything we have here. There are so many different crafting stations inside, it's starting to get cluttered. And as I've shown you at other bases, I really don't like how that looks. It's obnoxious to have to run around. How's it going, left hand Luke? How are you doing today? Hello, hello. Well, this is Canon Exiles again. Whoop, same server. Your character is probably still there and alive. Nice. Not played in ages. So everything's gone? Yeah, after a week, everything disappears. Unless it's the holiday season where they extend it. But yeah, I forgot to do the... Let's unlock the thing. Man, unlock. Thanks. So much. All right. Let's go and get exclusively wood now. Pick up exclusively wood. Should give us a level, and then we'll go and we'll build up. Because we need more space. Our base is unfortunately very cramped. It's not super aesthetically pleasing either. We're working on it. Working on it. We'll get that sorted. But uh, unfortunately, it's a PvP server. Well, fortunately, it's a PvP server. I prefer PvP servers. But that means that it's definitely going to be function over form, for sure. Did you manage to cool down the apartment so much that you feel cozy with socks now? Nice. Uh, it's going to be 35 Celsius outside today. Ugh, jeez. So you thought you'd try to pre-cool it? Oh, absolutely, that's a smart way to go. Is it up there in looks with a with a wine barrel? I mean, this a wine barrel feels classy, right? I wouldn't exactly call this place classy. Right, so I think we need to extend the foundations a little more. <laughs> Uh, having an upstairs and a downstairs works. The upstairs, I think we're going to turn... So this this is now turning into the Thrall Wheel uh, Tower. We'll turn the upstairs into the bedroom and kitchen. We can we can bring this out further, I think is what we're going to do. Let's bring this out further. Don't punch. <laughs> We bring this out further and we can have like an entry, like walkway kind of thing. Like a, a front section here where we can put our smelters and our tannery. More space. Come on now. Back up. What do you, look, look, look at the... I don't know why we were hopping sideways. You said we could get something in there, no? Looks like we could for a moment. I guess not. Right. Needs to be more teapot shaped. I think I've been putting these the wrong direction, by the way. I think they're supposed to go this way. Okay. So... Go ahead and just put this wall in here first. Let's see if 
So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, and four. There we go. Perfect. Definitely need to get more wood though. Excellent. So this way you can have a like we can get two more front rooms here. That's gonna help out a lot. Because we really need to get like a storage, like more more storage. Now that we've got the larger boxes, we're gonna have to take the small boxes and kinda get rid of them. I don't want to have the small boxes if we have the ability to use the big ones. We're making more iron reinforcements, so we'll be able to make even more to go. Okay, good. Door frame. There. There. We have the door frame here. There, but it's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and put this wall here. There. Then let's just do this. That's so gonna be a little awkward in its design, but. This should work out well. The walls are going to look pretty meh because of the front and back on them, but I think it's going to, I think it'll work out. I need to flip these around. Yeah, I need to flip these around. These are, these are backwards. You go that way, you go that way. Okay. Oh, this. Come on. Right here. Perfect. Alright. How's it going, Zombie Loves Gaming? How are you doing today? Hydrate, you got it. Mm. Bringing some delicious Lady Grey tea today. You can see it's kind of kind of an awkward entrance here, but what'll happen is essentially we just come in and go this way. We'll likely end up moving this door over here, but we'll see. No promises, no promises. Um, I got no twine, so I'll just make some twine in my pockets, I guess. Need some more doors. This way we can have a little drop-off point right here. How much quality, uh, how much quantity of water do you have, uh, do you consume per hydrate? Uh, one mouthful worth. One, one, um, uh, one satisfying gulp of tea worth. Oh, of hydration. That's what I go with. Not bad, haven't seen much of you here, play Conan in a while. Yeah, it's mostly role players that play in stream. And reason, there's a good reason for that. Is you know, stream sniping can be a real problem. And the link. Yeah, one satisfying slurp. Exactly right. One perfectly timed tea slurp. Exactly right. But yeah, you know, a whole bunch of stream sniping can be an issue. Um, but also, the, the PvP community is very small. It's something a lot of people forget. Is that the PvP community for Conan Exiles is actually pretty small. It's the smallest part of the community. The role-playing community is the largest. The PvE and Builder community is next, and then the uh, the player versus player community is the smallest of the bunch. So we're, you know it's it's very tiny. There aren't been, there aren't many. Here, also close, close but not quite. Now what are we missing? We're currently missing more wood as expected. You, have never, you can never have enough tea. Well, I mean, that's why I've got a second pot of tea. I always I always brew two pots. So I've got plenty of tea throughout the stream. 
Important, right? Important, you need it. <laughs> hey, Snooze. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome. It's good to have you here. Have you played any Conan Exiles before? Oh, oh geez, ow. Don't you hit me. What are you doing? Oh. Okay, let me focus on this real quick and I'll see who hit the follow button next, but thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. I'm gonna go make sure I don't die from this because we take so much damage from these things these days. Golly. Give me that bones. More bones! It's... Luckily, we don't need bones as badly in this game as we do in Cult of the Lamb. Holy, are we forever out of bones. It's hysterical. <laughs> uh, Duggle Fresh. Duggle Fresh. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome. Are you finally experimented with the recycling insulated coffee pot? Wait, what? You made, like, a liter and a half of Earl Grey the other day? Okay, yeah, and how'd it go? How'd it end up going? Hey, Mr. Perry. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Good to have you here. Same question to you as well. Do you play Conan Exiles? Have you played any Conan Exiles? Or are you just an avid watcher of this amazing game? Such a good game. Alright, here we go. We got all those. And Talalk? Thank you as well. Thank you for following. Thank you, for, thank you all for following. Thank you so much, everyone. Welcome. It's good to have you here. Conan Exiles is not our most common game that we play on the stream. However, it is a game that constantly comes back. While it might not be the most common game we play, it is a game that doesn't die, that's for sure. That is for sure. You play too? Nice. Two weeks now playing? Excellent! So you've been playing for two weeks now? Great, so then you jumped in with the with the newest update. It's great. Love hearing that. Carpenter bench over here. Bam. Very nice. So what we normally do on this channel, for those that are interested, is Monday and Tuesday we play one game. Wednesday and Thursday we play a different game. We normally don't stream on Saturday, uh, on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, but every now and then we get the opportunity to. And when we do, we often end up playing Code Next Outs. We often end up playing this amazing game. Uh, we're going to swap you over to wood as opposed to branches. Oh, we're actually nearly out of iron to give her to work on. Okay, we'll have to get that worked out. Uh, let's go and dump our inventory here real quick, and then let's go and get her some more work to do. Go do an iron run. Before we do that, though, there it is. And let's bring that truncheon. What? Bring our. There it is. It's, it's filed the way where it's supposed to be. That's where it's supposed to be. That's where we left it. Goodness. Hey, thank you so much for the bits. I really appreciate that, Mr. Perry. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. That's really kind of you to do. Does this mean that it's likely a week between playing sessions? Oftentimes. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll hop on very briefly just to make sure that things don't decay. Is usually what I'll do. A captain's log? We can get a captain's log going. We can do that. Yeah, we're playing on PC. So, Zeldar, based on your lack of a response, I assume you can bankrupt you in a single day. What is this? Oh, with hydrates? <laughs> um, I don't know what the other response was. Let me look at that real quick. No excessive bones requirement in this game. I know, right? It's kind of crazy. Need Glimmer Moon? Oh, Glimmer Moon's really good because that extra lighting. You got playing a team until the day I decided to actually start spending your points? Yes. It's true. I do have an entire banker's box full of tea, though. I have a lot. Then Conan Exiles has been known for taking... Yeah, Conan Exiles has been known to take over the other streams, and there have been times in which we've played for 14 days straight. Not, like... Not with that, like, with that breaks in between. But, I mean, like, a stream every single day, 14 days in a row, all starting at the same start time completely overriding other streams that we're supposed to be doing. That's happened before. It's not supposed to happen. It has happened before, though. <laughs> Is there a cap on hydrates? Not yet. Not yet. Well, there hasn't been a need to. But we'll see. But I really like this game. It's a lot of fun. 
So right now we're doing a playthrough of... So, like, the playthroughs that we've done so far is, like, playing the game and kind of figuring it out. We've done um, an Iron Man playthrough. We've done a learning how the journey system works playthrough. All those are up on YouTube. I think the journey system one actually just... I just finished uploading that last week, I think. Um, and then now we're doing this one, which is learning the changes to the... To the Age of War. And then next time, once we finish this playthrough and we do the next one, I want to do an Iron Man again. I want to do another Iron Man, but for Age of War. I'm glad we're not doing an Iron Man Age of War right now, because we would have been on our third start. Ooh, we've, uh, we've been struggle busting a bit. We've had a couple of deaths, because you die so fast now. You used to be an absolute unit of a tank. That's not the case anymore. Oh my goodness, this stuff's very heavy. Oh, come on, I thought I had that. Um, can I break this... In further. Ninety-nine percent done. Sorted. Back we go. I can empty out the tea box. The stream's true, yeah. I took my point wasting uh, mechanism away. Ah, we'll, we'll get other things. We'll get other things in here. Don't worry, Dexter. We'll get others in here. Can't wait to see your graphics change from your thirty-seventy. Uh, to RT. Oh my goodness, you're, you've got a 7900? Holy! You're gonna play on Ultra Graphics, it's gonna be beautiful. I will say though, if you are playing on Ultra Graphics on this game, there's some really good, like, I play on Ultra and High. The one thing I don't though is foliage, we leave on medium or low. The reason for that is because you can't see a lot of the items that lie on the ground if you do that. You can't see a lot of items lying on the ground. You can't find the puffball mushrooms. You can't find the other mushrooms I don't remember the name of. You can't find grub. It's tough to find to find branches. Um, like random small rocks here and there can be tough to find when you need them to like quickly build something when you're in the middle of combat, right? Like if you have to, if you need to build a cons uh, a construction hammer in the middle of combat, and you need to go ahead and, you know. Actually, that's a bad example. Uh, what needs wood that you need in the middle of combat? Or stone that you need in the middle of combat? I guess not maybe throwing axes to stop them from running from you. But otherwise, like finding these things is really tough to see when you have it on ultra. So I leave it on medium so that I can actually see them all. Or please, thank you. Alright. Alright, lady. Hopefully that'll keep her busy. Perfecto. But yeah, no. It's, I, I love this game. This game's amazing. I have too much fun with it. And that is for sure. Put these in our snack bar. Can't wait until we can do some big builds. Can do some bigger builds. 1100 for it. Holy. Whew. Zombie, that's a lot. But it's going to look gorgeous for sure. Is it a busy server you're on? Yes. Yes, it is a very busy server we're on. I barely managed to get on the server. Barely managed to get on the server when we started today. There was just enough slots for me to be able to squeeze in. Meaning there were 39 people on when I started to, when we started our, uh, our stream today. Very busy. Not been on this game since you upped your CPU? Hey, you never know. Let's go and start thralling. Thrall next. Now that we've got her working on iron, iron is sorted. Let's get some water. Let's get some thralls. And then we'll go and fill up these two front rooms. Hydrate's so cheap for the potential dangers. It is. And it'll it'll be increased in price as need be. <laughs> we increased in price as need be, but um it hasn't been a problem yet. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and get our truncheon. Let's go ahead and get our bindings. Our throat is feeling dry. We should probably go drink first. They can chase us for a hot second. It's fine. Oh, we, don't forget. We need to do a captain's log. Spexer, help remind me. Help remind me. We need, cap we need to do a captain's log for Spexer. We're going to take these guys out real quick, and then we'll do that. Are you the tanner? Nope, you're the exile. Actually... We could just take this exile and train her. Because he lost that dancer. 
Yeah, let's, let's go and grab this exile instead since we lost that dancer. We'll leave the tanner. We, we're not really struggling on tanning right now. Uh, just teleport back. Um, we're not struggling on tanning. We're going to let her get her health back here. But what we're struggling on is uh, having an aid for combat. She's going to be absolutely abysmal as the absolute lowest tier possible fighter that we can get. But, oh, she didn't get as much health as I was hoping to get back. Okay. Oh, wait, we don't have to worry about that anymore because truncheons don't actually do one damage each time you hit her. Truncheons used to do un, um, used to do concussive damage plus one point of actual damage. But it no longer does that one point of actual damage anymore, which is amazing. It's really good. So you can just whack her. You lost the dancer? Yeah, so the dancer when we were in Hanuman's Grotto was hanging out underneath the mesh. And then we were when we were bashing at um, Velar, uh, I don't remember what his name is. It starts to be uh, at the end of Hanuman's Grotto. We managed to knock him by using the shield under the mesh, and so then he murdered her under the mesh. And so then, the, and and thus is what happened. I do dislike that we can't move him around in here, but hey, whatever. Right, let's go get that Fastmaster uh, next. And thus, we lost our dancer. Thus, our dancer is lost. Real bummer. <laughs> you step up, set up a, mic, uh, a macro, do it. Well, there's a cooldown on it, there's Vexer. The, the main thing would be either I would increase the cooldown or I would increase the price. One or the other. And uh, a macro wouldn't be able to go through, which has already got that blocked up. But I like the way you're thinking. You guys are using your noggins. Using your noggins. Right, you're the tanner too. Oh, you're the tanner too. Whoop. Oh, pick it up. Pull one, two, three, and it'll spin. One, and spin, and spin, and one. Bam. Out she goes. And we're out of here. We'll come back for that tanner once uh, we've trained the others. Come back for that tanner later. Yeah, there's already a cooldown. Yeah, yeah, there's already a cooldown because uh, there was someone else that had already had that same idea. All right, we'll get this person working on the upstairs uh, wheel of pain, and we'll do a captain's log. First PC build just ordered and waiting for the last three parts. Oh, is this your first time building a PC? Oh, that's awesome. Building a PC is so much fun. You can fully customize it to whatever you'd like for your specs. Okay, getting her to help out with speeding up the rate at which we train people is going to be really nice. It's good. All right. A hydrate and a cam's lock. Here we go. All right. Captain's Log. Stardate unknown. We began our adventure as we oftentimes do in this exiled land. In the desert. By the broken highway. We moved north to Noob River. And then, quickly as we could, to Skulker's End. Checking to see if there was any loot that we could scavenge from pre-destroyed buildings from some ancient civilization of Noob's. Unfortunately, there was very little we could scavenge, but there was plenty of workbenches for us to use along the riverbank. We did run into a couple of individuals, as poverty-stricken as us, running along the bank as well. We had a couple of kind chats and went our merry way. A rarity in the exiled lands. After arriving at Skulker's End, we quickly went and grabbed a Dathbari weapons training. So we can make slightly better weapons than those made out of stone. With that knowledge in our, uh, with that knowledge in our mind, and new tools in our back pocket, we continued on our journey, acquiring more parts and pieces for armor, gaining some levels, tracking down even more enemies to be found within the exiled lands, and finally setting up base. From there, we had a mission, a mission. To get our kombucha armor, our go-to armor every single time. 
which required us to run to the docks. When we arrived at the docks, we murdered the gorillas that were required for the heavy hide. But a surprise befell us. The mercenaries. They had a massive building. In fact, they had three. And within one of them, a wall was missing. And inside that building, loot beyond measure for a brand new player to the server. We found many furs. We found coins, bars of gold, climbing boots, as well as iron and much thick hide. Life became easy, but with so much loot we could barely walk. And thus, we had to take a couple of trips. Just delete that. We had to take a couple of trips back and forth from Mercs back to our encampment. After dropping them all off, we went up to Hanuman's Grotto to go and pick up Crystal. Both to finish a quest, and also to see if we could defeat the boss at the end. Unfortunately, it was this hubris that caused us to lose our dancer. Didn't even have a name. She was too early in her internship. After her loss, we returned back to base camp, built up more, and now, with a potential new intern, which, oh my goodness, did they train fast. We will have someone to carry our burdens. Now it's time for us to continue to build out our base and see what lies ahead. End log. Is Hydra a five minute cooldown? I believe so. I believe it's a five minute cooldown, yeah. I believe it is. All right, we need to get more stone and more wood. We've got a handful of bricks in here, which is good. Uh, with these bricks, do we have grinder unlocked? I can't remember if we grabbed that. We didn't block the grinder. Um, nope, I don't this, this. Decorations, general crafting, grinder. Yep, just need sticks. Somewhere in here there's sticks, I believe. There just chuck a grinder here for now. Get some bones. Farm, religious. Oh, there's a clan tab. Oh, well, that's cool. So it's a brand new tab in and of itself. That's cool. <laughs> I have no, I have no idea, Snorri Snell. It's not a, it's not a scientific unit of measurement. It's like a dash or a, or a splash of liquid, and when you're making, when you're cooking something, it's like a, it's a dash of salt or a splash of oil. So, from here, how do we want to split these? So we've got the carpenter room here. Oops, carpenter room in here. So we're going to have the carpenter room, and... I guess we'll get the burn... Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and we can get the... We actually unlock it, don't we? Knowledges. We need an artisan table. Or furniture builder. Artisan table. Tree, artisan table, requires wood. Well, let's grab some wood. Grab some more. We've got some that's being used for... Hello? I don't know, I think that guy might be under the mesh. I don't know what that's about. All right. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll grab a whole bunch of wood here. Probably just need some more spare anyway. Doesn't hurt to have more on hand. Perfect. I still think it's hysterical that there's this broken down base across the way that has, uh... I mean, it's it, it's not owned by a player anymore. It's owned by a crocodile. <laughs> the crocodile owns that place. That, that, is, the, that is the crocodile's. No one else's. Don't even think about it. Hydrate, you got it. Okay. Go ahead and we'll get this here, and then we can get some... We'll probably go ahead and put some boxes or something in here instead. Yeah, the crocodile hut? Yeah. So we got this. And then in here, it's much more spacious. And I was thinking of putting the blacksmith thing in here. 
Now I'm thinking maybe putting tanning in here instead. We could move the raw wheels in here if we really wanted to. I think putting tanning in here is better. Tanning. We'll take tanning, tanner's table, and the armor bench is all going to go in here. Actually, no, tanner's table goes up here. I'm so glad we can just pick stuff up and move it. It was such a great addition with the uh, Age of Sorcery update. Actually, no, I think you were able to do that before now that I think about it. Armor bench? Do we want to move the armor bench? No, it should be finished stuff stays in here, right? Render. Move our dump box. There for now. We'll end up getting a couple of dump boxes to put in there. Snacks. Okay, that's fine for now. Here. Here. One on either side. Let's go and get the replacement dump box. Center it a bit. There we go. Take all this. Uh, remove that. Don't do that. Open this up. This is now dump. Whoa, is caps locks on? What? Dump box. Okay. And dump these things in here. We'll take this back. We'll drop these. Almost all of it. This, you take that. This, you take that. Perfect. Dump box. Done. We can get other ones in here later if we want. You haven't played since October? Oh, it's been a while then. Hmm. That was hilarious. You unlocked a grinder in this game until you realized that it was just your brain. Ah. <laughs> wrong, ty wrong type of grinder. This is the one that grinds bones. Short pause. Wait a second. Pick this guy up, and we'll pick this guy up, and we'll go ahead and we'll put these here. Bam. Lock it down. And this is where tools go. So put tools in here. Like so. These. These are all tools. More or less. My name, by weight. Oh, weight's probably fine. We would wait on this one. We can put the glass flask in there. Yeah, so you drop off this iron. Bunk. Yeah, stop what you're doing. And make me 500. <laughs> Done. Stop what you're doing. Make me exactly 500. Done. Go. Take this. Drop this off for more iron. Give me a stack of iron. Keep the rest. I'll have to do another iron run in a moment here. Give me your steel fire. Let's get ourselves some steel rolling. We're three levels off from being able to start using steel, so that's good. Uh, so over here... Let's go. Good, get... We'll just put this like this here. And this is going to be um we'll just use this for armor mats. Actually bones can stay in here. Stay here, that comes out, that can stay, that can stay, it goes, 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 goes. Those off. Okay. There we go. And this way we can we can put stuff we can bash stuff later if we want to. Uh, building materials, that's fine. We'll leave building materials right here for now. Central. 
building materials, building materials, put these in here too. This is our building materials. Let's go back to snacks. 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 Go back to the dump chest. Alright, what do we have in here? Take you, I can take you, I can take you. These are tools, so I can take those. And in the meantime, hold on to the resin, hold on to the skull, crystal. Actually, we should get an armor box too. We'll do that later. Spots, no more space. Yeah, okay. Why do I keep putting that in there? I don't know what I'm doing. Good enough for the moment. Alright, see here. One more hour and then you have DD. Nice. Alright, Spectre. You used to teach people how to get uh, Acer armor on here. Oh, did you? That was pretty cool. What imaginary units of measuring <laughs> of measuring volume do you use? It depends on the application. It's always different. Barely the same. More furs. Uh, let's go ahead and drop off the Arc. Let's see. That's a food. That's a snack. We need that. Uh, we should probably add salt to the snack chest. That makes sense. These. Put these in the cauldron because we're going to need those. That in the cauldron. We need that. Okay. Oh, that's a building material. Thanks, building. Building materials. You take the, the brick. Oh, you also take this brick. That. Uh, you are wood. Is this good? Snacks. What's this? And also get some salt. Put this off in here, because that's all relevant. More tar. That rolling. Perfect. How's it going, Fluid Bro? How are you doing today? That sword looks sick. What is it? And how do you get it? Uh, it's amazing, it's awesome, and you can't get it anymore. It's a. Uh, it was from a battle pass. It was from the last battle pass. It's really cool. I like it a lot. Hey, lots of chaos. Thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate that. Welcome back. How are you doing today? Yeah, so the this sword came from the last battle pass. So you can't get it anymore, unfortunately. But it's really cool, but it's not that strong. It's a it's a basic iron sword. It just looks really cool. There are plenty of other ones coming in, I think, right? There was new things have been unlocked. Cool. We're not gonna we aren't buying the battle pass again until we get to 58. Because then all of our coins are refunded. We can buy the next one. Yes, yeah, so there's There's a spear, a blood crystal spear that's coming in with this one. There's uh, an axe. Can I click on it? We broke it. <laughs> broke it. I, oh, I can't click on it. There we go. There's an axe. Super cool. What else do we have? Hammer. I'm hoping... Like, it looks like a building hammer to me, but I hope this is actual like combat hammer. That'd be cool, because I like maces. There's a lot of spears. I'm not a big spear guy. I like hammers. I like really slamming things. Another piece of weaponry. I like this shield a lot. I think this thing's awesome. Um, got this axe. This is a free one, so you don't even have to buy it. Uh, you don't even have to buy the pass to get this one. That's really nice. I'm a big fan of axes and maces. And so far, we've unlocked the free training one as well as the first set of coins. But again, until we get to 56 or whatever it is, we aren't doing that. We might have to rejoin and play a bit. I mean, it's a really good game. I really like this game. The game is an absolute blast. Let's go ahead and just get some more fiber going. Didn't know Conan's foes liked hammers and he just uh, destroyed them. <laughs> There's many things. 
So we'll make fiber out of this, and we'll make this to wine, so we'll have some spare fiber after we do this round. Let's see. We have more hide lying around somewhere, because we're going to need it's going. Well, that doesn't look like it. So, Alright, at least we managed to drop the... Oh, there's some brimstone in here. Give me that. Yeah, brimstone. Mm, so it's fine. We're gonna need to go and clear out this dump, this dump box all the same, though. It's gonna have to happen at some point. Yeah, we're gonna have to do another brimstone run eventually here. Yeah, we need to keep that bar rolling. Turns going. We got some steel bars rolling in. It's good. It's somewhere. Alright, we got. Uh, Zelda, is this one of those games you just lose yourself in time to? Yes, it is. Or is there another reason you're still streaming this long? No, no, it's a, it's a game I forget about time. You're just not used to seeing you stream this late? Yeah, yeah. It's it's a Friday. Fridays and Saturdays I can stream very late. Um, Though not much later. Uh, actually, we'll need to end soonish here. I've got D&D &D in five hours. <laughs> Didn't think about that. I'm running a D&D &D campaign in five hours, so we'll have to stop soon. It's only three in the morning. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, Saturday, Fridays and Saturdays we tend to stream late. We'll be playing more Conan Exiles tomorrow and more on Sunday as well. I want to just blast out a bunch of Conan Exiles. I really want to play this game. I really want to play this uh, this update as well. It's good. This guy's stuck on the wall. Oh no, he's up above. That's where he's coming from. So let's go get ourselves some more wood. And we need to get ourselves some more these guys real quick. Can we get two for one? <gasps> two for one? Oh, no. I missed. That's such a pain to get. I tried. We tried. We need to go and get our uh, skinning knife if we're going to go and skin these guys. <laughs> I'm working otherwise. Okay, so we need a lot of hide. Are they serious? Wow, training is so fast in Age of War. This is amazing. And now that we have a Ask Master, she's going to make it go even faster. She's going to make it go even faster. Well, you thought you thought that was fast. Just you wait and see. All right, Missy. We'll get you sorted later. For now, you ah, well, we should have you follow us. Um, here. Actually, what is her is her stats? Yeah, she's agility. We'll get her some vitality. We'll just get her some big big health gains. Oh, that cooking. I should really get a bigger stack going. Get this to replenish mine. Full and to top her off. Still have an am, am, uh, am over there, and you just got uh, back from. Oh, nice. Round of golf? I've not played golf in so long. Get over here, Exile. I'm away. I need to go and get wood to dump in here. Alright, we're probably gonna have to tell our Exile to stand still when we're moving around the base. It's not really designed for two people to walk through if the one person decides to always stand dead center. Drop this. Go ahead and drop off this because it's a tool. Drop off the horn. I'll do that with back. One. Go ahead and pick up our skinning knife. Yep. Pop that on there. Go ahead and grab you. I don't know those going. Perfect. All right. It's more wood. You need to get more, uh, more wood going for more, even more of those uh, shaped woods. We're gonna need to go and get more iron soon, as well as some more stone. 
you continue prepping, but Zelda's chat is too distracting. Oh no! Oh no! It's a community of amazing people! Oh, I want your weakness! Ah, oh, don't worry, Story Snow. Don't worry. We'll be we'll be here again later. If you if you have to if you have to leave, you'll only miss some epic conversations. And we'll just have more epic conversations later. So. So. We'll end up talking about the metric system again at some point. Oh my goodness, she has no help. <laughs> I think I hit her with my backhand and I murdered her with my backhand. If I'm being honest. Um but wow, she would have died from that crocodile regardless. If I didn't help with the trying to kill the crocodile faster. I, I don't think she had it. I don't think she stood a chance regardless. Holy, she had no help. Wow, yeah, that was a big oop. Whoopsie daisies. Luckily, now that we have that taskmaster, we can take no time at all to get another one. Hey, you. All right, sit down. Attributes soon. Drop some weight somewhere. Branches. Meat. Oh, so close. Things. Oh, come on. <laughs> Meat. No, oh, come on. Uh, aloe. Hope we're gonna say seeds. I want to drop the seeds if I can help it. Some leather. There we go. Oh man, we're definitely gonna have to up our expertise so we can carry more for sure, for sure. Definitely gonna have to happen. All right. And with this, oh, wrong, wrong rooms. We want these two rooms. You off. We'll keep on going. Put this off. Run that. And we'll drop off more wood. More shape wood. There we go. That bug's still in the game, too. Yet to be fixed. We'll drop off our aloe seeds in there. And then we'll drop off more. And we'll drop off our meats. And we're cleared. Almost level to level 28, though. Almost leveled up. We need three more levels in strength. Some more stones, some more bricks. Or we just need one more level in strength, or three more levels in strength, and then we'll have ten. We can then complete the soldier journey, so we can start getting some better weapons. It won't look as cool as this one. Oh, what we could do is we can go and get sorcery, so we can at least make them look like this, couldn't we? Let me do that. So we can still run around with a super cool looking sword, but it's actually better. Actually, I think we'll go do that. We don't have a dancer anymore, though, so we're going to have to deal the corruption. Well, if we start going down the sorcery route, it doesn't hurt. You know, we I do want to corrupt our points. We don't have as much health as I'd like before starting to corrupt, but... That's fine, I guess. We can always pick up a dancer later. They're real quick to train now. If we find a dancer level one, it'll take an hour, I think. Maybe less with the with the taskmaster that we now have. So that should be two hundred and fifty bricks. More strength. Perfect. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and we'll get combo master for finish. Well, I actually don't know if we want to get combo master now. Can we even get a full combo off? Do we have enough stamina for it? Yeah, we can. We can barely get a full combo off. <laughs> barely have enough stamina for a full combo. Holy. Alright then. We can do that. Stone, it's done. It's done. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Done. Alright. Let's see here. We've got more space now. We do still need to build the upstairs a little bit more. We need to build this. Okay, I was just checking to see where this was. We need to still build the upstairs a little bit more. 
Uh, so we can move this over to this side. So we can go ahead and we can actually build a bedroom. <laughs> so we're not sleeping in the thrall room. That's fine. Leave that there for now. If anyone's going to blow into this building, they'll blow from above. Hopefully they'll just leave that alone. Alright, perfect. And with that, we're going to have to go ahead and... Oh, wrong one. And end the stream here. We have to go ahead and end the stream here today. It's time for us to end it. It was a good long, long stream. Oh, six and a half hours almost. Gosh darn. It was great. We'll be playing more of this tomorrow. Um, I love this game. It's so much fun. So tomorrow, let's see. Tomorrow we have the multiplayer stream with Enigmatic Rose, Pat Adams, and Sky. That we'll be doing at 5 p.m. PST or 8 p.m. EST. And then we'll be back again at 9 p.m. PST or midnight EST for more Conan Nexus. So we'll jump back for more of this. So there'll be a break in between the two streams where I need to go and make dinner. So I can get to have all the energy I need to keep on streaming. But our goal, real quick, is we're level 28, which means we're seven levels off from leveling up to being able to do explosives. If we start playing at nine, that gives us two hours to do raiding. So we're going to run straight to doing some brimstone harvesting and hardcore leveling as fast as we can. We have the steel fire that we need. We have the demon blood that we need. We have the crystal that we need. We have the... Isn't there something else we need for that? Brimstone. We'll be picking up the brimstone, leveling up. Perfect. And that'll be all we need for explosives. And then we can go and hit a couple of locations around us here. And go do some raids. And then after that, then we'll probably start focusing on either moving to a new location, building the base out a little bit more, uh, like fortifying it to tier 2, or moving, uh, with the spoils of war that we end up getting. But I think that's our goal for tomorrow. This is going to be good. It's going to be good. Even if we end up getting raided and we lose our stuff, I think we'll still be fine. It's not too hard to get things. We only really need four bombs per base at most. We'll get get in there. So let's go ahead and see if we can find someone to raid. Who can we go ahead and raid? Who's playing this game? No one that we're following, so let's go ahead and see if we can find someone to raid who's playing this game right now. Is there a small streamer we can go ahead and give some support to? We always want to give small streamers some support. Give them some exposure. Let's see here. Gotta make sure it's in English. <laughs> I do love how... I, I, there's a lot of games out there on Twitch that people play that it's almost exclusively English. Conan Exiles is one where it is an absolute menagerie of languages. It is amazing to see how many different languages uh, are spoken for this, this game. Just how many people around the world are playing. It is so cool. Let's go ahead and give... Let's see... The Avatar of Wind. Let's give him a try. Let's see. Is he follower only chat? What's going on here? Follower only chat? Nope. Not follower only chat. That's a success. He's talking. Excellent. Let's go ahead and give him a raid. Let's give him some support. I'll only hang out for a quick moment. Then I have to run away and go get some sleep. I've got about five hours before I need to be up. and Actually, less than. I've got four and a half hours, so I need to be up and going for... Uh, uh, for D&D, for my D&D game. But thanks for stopping by and saying hi, everyone. I really appreciate that. It's a whole lot of fun having you guys here. Always is. I will see you tomorrow for Nessence with uh, other streamers and more Conan Exiles Age of War. I'm really excited to play more of this game. I'm excited to play more of this game. I'll see you all then. Have a good morning, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. Take care. Bye-bye.